Um, <clears throat> I think we start now. Uh, it's always odd with YouTube live streams. I think we're I think we're good. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. Um, it's ah, the sunlight. It's so bright. Welcome in. We're going to be playing Echoes of Wisdom for the first time. Uh, literally, uh, Echoes of Wisdom. It's the new Zelda game that just came out. Uh, it's promising a lot of uh, really cool mechanics, puzzles, uh, a top-down view, uh, 2D, 2.5D, you know, isometric and everything. Um, really excited. Really excited. Um, in case you're wondering of, like, the, you know, the fun sunlight and everything, oh, we're just going to be vibing with it, you know? Um, because why not? You can see the passage of time as I play it all uh, today. Um, I'm going to be playing it today well, and tomorrow, about 10 hours each day. Um, maybe a third day, depending on how long it takes. Then I really want to, like, drive home the fact that I want to play this game. Um, well, no spoilers or, or anything, but really just kind of, like, um, experience it in the way that you kind of want somebody to experience it. Or just, like, with yourself, right? Uh, so I'm going to be... Uh, taking minimal uh, input from chat and everything and uh, really just diving into the story, theorizing it, just kind of just enjoying it as much as I can because I love Zelda games as much as you guys probably do. So, yeah. Uh, and if you like this, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be also making a full-length um, super cut uh, one giant video like we did for Tears of the Kingdom. That one was six hours long. This one's probably going to be around like two to three um, of just the entire game. Uh, so... Yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy with it. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, uh, do you guys want do you guys want to get into the game? Um, we could just we could just do that, you know. Um, I'm I'm super excited. I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, I can't wait. You know. Um, I'm also multi streaming right now on both uh, Twitch and YouTube. So if you want to see the stream, it's on both. Uh, pick your pick your poison, as it were. And it'll also be available. Like, this VOD will be available immediately on my YouTube channel under the live tab uh, if you guys want to watch it back or anything or watch it tomorrow. Um, here, let me let me actually, like, put the, the light down just a little bit. It's, like, it's actually, like, blinding. Right? Perfect. That's probably, that's probably a little bit better. There we go. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, YouTube, say hi to uh, Twitch, and Twitch, say hi to YouTube. Um... Hello, guys. Uh, just a uh, heads up, by the way, uh, right before we start, no spoilers um, in chat or out of chat, whatever. You know, just don't spoil for people. Don't ruin the game. Uh, make sure that you have fun. Um, don't backseat. So if I'm struggling on a puzzle right now, let me struggle. It's funny. Um, so just, you know, enjoy it as it were. Okay. No spoilers. Let's just all have fun together uh, and everything. All right. Here we go. Let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into uh, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Here we go. The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. What's oh, so cute? I love the art style of this. Oh, it's, I. <laughs> and the music. <laughs> oh, we get to play immediately. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, they just throw you into it. Why to swing sword? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm having too much fun already. Like, this is. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, oh, and then we can move our camera with R right here. Okay. So, uh, Y here, and then, uh, we have an, uh, bombs and an arrow, you know? The music's so hype. Oh, this is so cool. What are we doing right now? Let's see. We will find out in just a second. Um, but it looks like we're scaling castles and everything. Oh, oh the jump! Oh! 
And then I love how they took like Link's Awakening and they're like, let's make our full own like fledged game of this, you know, not just like a like a sort of not not sort of like a a remake. Let's just like do our own style with this. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, you get up here. Imagine. Oh, imagine. Wait a second. One second. You can jump onto the 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 torch here. Oh dear God! Oh, oh I'm burning! Alive. Oh God! Sorry. Um, that's cool. Ready shield to ZL. Cool. Oh, and you can target too. Why for that? Cool. Parkour. Parkour. I love the jump mechanic. All right, you can you can do a jump slash like that. I don't know if that does any more damage or anything, but it's kind of cool. Parkour. Hardcore. Parkour. Call me Michael Scott the way I uh, be jumping like this. Awesome. It's the, the music. <laughs> it's so good. I already love this already. Wait, can I uh, charge attack? I can. Nice. Don't worry that the, I got hit. I, I Sorry, I didn't get hit. I simply avoided a mortal wound by taking a scratch, right? It was all planned. It was all planned. Music goes hard. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering uh, where the, uh, uh, why it's uh, uh, 1080 on, uh, it was uh, 720 on Twitch. Uh, it's still the same bit rate and everything. Um, so, uh, but uh, it, it's just, this lower resolution. It should be the same uh, for you guys. All right, here we go. Wait, so keys here. Target. X. Shoot. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, so where are we going? So why? So so we're in this. We're in this castle. Uh, vibing. I'm trying to figure things out here. Where are we going is the question. <laughs> you can rapid fire. Oh, never mind. Here we go. All right. This is such a cute game already. I love it. Like, I can't wait to see what this world, like, really has to offer, you know? Uh, Kaiser, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate it. Uh, Lynn, thanks for the channel membership on YouTube for 25 months. Uh, Matthew, with the tier one, a sensational assassin for thanks for the 15 months. And Crossbreaker, thanks for the tier one. Here we go. Nice. Boom. Dude, we're too good. I like, I like, locking on the way that I'd be sniping these things. I missed one. Oh, ho, ho, the dodge is crazy. He's great. He's actually sick with it. Dude, call me wave. I, I, I'm wave dashing right now. It's crazy. Never mind. Well, like, imagine. Oh, here we go. This just gives me, like, pure joy. Yo, Twitch! Thanks for uh, the gifted sub. <laughs> like, the Twitch. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Evening Wood, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. And Sparky, thanks for the uh, channel membership for uh, 35 months in a row. Ooh, this dark miasma. Zelda's in a crystal. So. Oh, it's Ganon. It's you again. The classic pig Ganon. Oh, ho, ho. Ever the troublesome one. Only this time, your presence serves me. Now I'll end you both. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, we're just going to beat the game here, guys. Easy.
Nice. Fastest Zelda game in the in the West. They only made the tutorial part. They only made the intro. Whoa! Okay, no, this is fine. It's fine. It's just the, the classic Zelda um uh tennis, you know? Okay. <laughs> you can side hop in too, that's so cool. Uh I can use my bow here. That should be fine. Nice. Ha! <laughs> oh, that, that was poor man on my part. Nice. Okay. Uh, can I? Oh, I can bomb toss. Nice. <laughs> Look at that dodge. Oh, I thought I could like uh, pre-hit him with the bomb there. That would've been insane though. That would've been insane. All right, GG's, we won. <laughs> oh. It's so cool! Uh, <laughs> like, please. <laughs> oh we uh we wiggle the joystick though. there we go <laughs> gotta get out of here yeah that's so cool <laughs> so this like i saw this in the trailer right so so some of these things you know um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've kind of been a little bit, you know, uh, uh privy to, but uh, first off, we're playing Zelda. That's so cool. Second off, uh, this, oh, whoa. Hello. Th this, this crack in the ground really reminds me of, uh, like the distortion world from Pokemon Platinum. And then also the, uh, tunic. Uh, I, I, you know, void regions and everything. It's so cool. And what was that light? Uh, the swordsman cloaked. Uh, this is the hooded cloak that the swordsman in green dropped. It would almost completely cover your face if you wore it. And then there's a little light as well with us. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's growing! Oh, we gotta go! <laughs> oh, it looks so cool. What happens if we just kind of... All right, uh, that was a great game, guys. Sorry, the curiosity. You ever, like, you know, are in, like, a moving car, and you're like, what if I just kind of, like, open the door and just kind of, you know? Or what if I'm, like, driving, and you just kind of, like, you know? It was the same, it, same thing, you know? Same thing. Um, one second chat. One second. Uh, for some reason I have like two streams, uh, on my, on my YouTube. Uh, I don't know why. That's so weird. Uh, let me end one of my streams and then, um, keep the other one going. It's so odd. Um, all right, cool. We should have one stream on YouTube now. Um, and only one stream on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be a glitch. Yeah, I fixed it now. Yeah, 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 all good. All good, all good. Um, is there a separate live thing? No, no, it should be good. Should be fine. All right, we're all good. We're all good, yeah. Awesome. All right, here we go. Sorry, I let the intrusive thoughts win. Here we go. <laughs> we gotta go. This is so cool. Oh, oh. oh we, it, 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 it's we have to go literally through everything we just did. <laughs> it's a cool little touch, but I love it. 
They don't just like send you to the outside. This is so cool. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey, I understand. <laughs> oh, please. Oh. It's all good. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, it's all planned. It's all planned. It's like right on their tail. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It looks so cool. But stop. We already have a lot of questions. First off, what is that? Second off, why did it stop? Why didn't it continue? It looks so pretty. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to say this like, like 50 times during this. Ah, oh, the classic Breath of the Wild opening on the ledge overlooking the rest of the kingdom. Yeah, you see Hyrule here, Elden Volcano. I think there's like some Gorons there. You get the, the cliffs. It's, oh my God. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Hello, soldiers. At ease. The colors are so nice. It's so pretty. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of the Wild. Oh, okay. It's expanding for sure. It's expanding, just not at the same pace. Um, okay, that's a little that's a little creepy. That's fine. Don't worry about it, you know. Oh, hello! Why are you Why are you running away? Me when I see a woman. <laughs> oh! Um Princess Zelda, you're safe. What a relief. Uh, you're not injured, are you? <laughs> we were sick with worry. A whole week long is a long time to be missing. Right, okay, so it looks like the timeline is that Ganon captured Zelda. Took like six days. Link takes that seventh day to go to the uh, A castle, not the Hyrule castle, a different place, uh, to then go and save Zelda. Defeats Ganon, but Ganon's like, I actually have pocket sand in the form of an eternal void that'll encapsulate and swallow everything in the world. Oh no! We save Zelda, but at the cost of Link's life. Um, interesting. Uh, we thought you'd be stolen away like all the others. The soldiers search for you every day. <laughs> Princess, uh, play with me. Play with me. I'm so glad you're back. But now one of those icky rifts opened here too. Yeah. Uh, Princess Zelda, now that we've arrived, please allow me to welcome you back as well. I suggest you probably speak to the king. Oh. Surely be deeply relieved to hear you've returned safe and sound. This is the obligatory, uh, why do they call it Legend of Zelda? <laughs> you know? <laughs> We play a Zelda. Why isn't this the Legend of Link? Hey, I'm just, all I gotta say is that we have proven every single, like this game has proven every single mother correct. Whenever she looks over your shoulder and says, mm, are you playing like Zelda? Like uh, who's that Zelda character you love? Uh, th that's actually Zelda now. It's not Link anymore. So congratulations, we've done it. Uh, one of those creepy rifts open up in the middle of town. It's so dark and scary looking. What if, what if you fall in? What would happen? Uh, it just spawns you back at the top of the stairs. That's already tested it. Already tested it. Uh, hello. Uh, my goodness, Prince Zelda, you've returned to us. What a relief. Uh, we've been searching for you from sunrise to sunset every day. I'm glad you're back. Uh, and by the way, in, in the way that um, I, I normally uh, play these games and everything, I don't like to 100%. That's not kind of my vibe. Um, unless there's like a really good, like cool reward for it. Like something more lore and story narratively driven to do it not the case in a lot of the Zelda games uh, but I do like to uh, complete a good amount of things just to get an overall uh, sense of the story of completeness and everything so if you guys like that then feel free to vibe strap in and everything um no spoilers by the way if there is uh, a reward or anything I don't want to know anything about the game the, the better I go in blind the better it is um also uh, the thing that happened with uh, YouTube chat real quick um we're live on Twitch for some reason on YouTube it was streaming two different streams on my channel um so I uh, deleted one of them uh, so if you were in that stream, that's what happened. Uh, there's another stream currently live also on, uh, on YouTube. So, uh, just heads up. Yep. 
Uh, also, no joke, spo uh, no joke spoilers. It's really not funny. We also can't tell the difference because um, I we haven't played the game. So, for real. <clears throat> Princess Zelda, you're back. Uh, I'm so relieved. I might uh, keel over. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's go check out this rift in town. Oh, wait, puppy. Wait, there's a puppy. Can I, can I pet the dog? Oh, he's so cute. What? Can I, can I pet the, can I pet, I can talk to the, I, worst game ever. Worst game ever. This is the worst, this is little, crap. I, 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 honestly, hey guys, thanks for talking about it. I'm going to end stream now. Um, <laughs> oh my God, Nintendo. Haven't you learned? Ah, it's so wonderful to see you safely home again. Lady Impa has been beside herself with worry ever since you were kidnapped. She's usually in the castle around this time. Please let her uh, know that you're back for her sake. Uh, let's go check here. Uh, Arctic, thanks for the four months. Wash Loop, Wonders of Life, uh, Pomo Arrival, Arik, uh, Pat's Fan, Dizzy Nitrim, uh, Grace uh, Waldo, thanks so much. Also, uh, Crash Crema, thanks for the five gifted subs. Kaiser as well. Thank you guys. Okay. Hey, hello. And now that you're back, I can scratch that worry off my ever-growing li uh, worry list. Although I never forgive the evil creature who took you staying on my resentment list. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Keep him there. Keep him there. Uh, I'm glad you're safe. Uh, except it doesn't feel so safe in general lately, owing to that new rift in town. Heard there's more monsters outside as well. Wonder what we'll see peace again. Yeah, it doesn't seem very safe, you know, with the whole um, pocket void, you know swallowing the universe right now but don't worry about it hopefully this piece again Th these guys are getting complacent you know they're like ah ha, ha. link will come fix it uh, link's not here Hi. princess zelda it's so good to see you safe i'm sure everyone in the castle will be relieved too oh please mind your footing near the rift it just appeared but it isn't growing at least you know how it is with rifts when they show up people get stolen away oh so this is a this is a common thing okay please do be mindful Okay, okay. This this is uh there's a little bit more context to uh where we are in the world and everything. So Zelda was captured a week ago, but these rifts have been happening for quite some time. People get swallowed into the rifts and they don't um reappear outside. Interesting. Okay. Hi. Uh, Princess Zelda, can you believe this? Our sweet, sweet home is well look! We can't get inside. What are we gonna do? Uh we get to stay in a room in the castle since our house is unusable at the moment. So excited to see which room we get. I bet it'll be luxurious. Can you at least try not to sound so excited? I mean, look at the place. Th these guys are like, in like I, I kid you not, these guys probably made the void up here to commit insurance fraud the way that she's excited about this. But okay, you got me. I'm also excited about it. I'm just saying, you know. Orville, thanks for the tier one. Uh, Ivitula, thanks for the five gifted subs. Uh, this is very kind of you. Uh, ever since you were kidnapped a week ago, I've been incapable of getting even a wink of sleep. But now that you're back, I'll bet I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. Welcome back, princess. All right, I can probably go into the well. No. Okay. Not right now, at least. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, and there's, uh, I think this is a little, little church. A little, little training academy, maybe? Okay, thanks for the Prime Gaming. It seems like if, uh, what, what uh, Twitch is doing, like, a special promotion right now where if you gift subs, uh, they'll, like, add more subs on top of it. That's really cool. Percy, thanks for the tier one. Yes. Uh, there's nothing to fear if you train regularly. I tell myself that so I stay motivated. That's awesome. Can I go down here? I can't. Whoa, the bottom of the well. I always love how they include this in Zelda games. Yeah. Ah, Princess Zelda. Me slack off? Uh, never. I'm just hanging out in my favorite break area. <laughs> okay. So your favorite break area is the bottom of the well. That's very interesting. Oh, we can we can swim. I just want to say I was really looking forward to the whole Link's Awakening thing where if you go into water, Link goes boop, 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 and, uh, and it just has the cutest drowning noise. I kid you not, I made that guy drown like at least 15 times just to see, just to hear him. It, it's so cute. So cute. Uh, Well, look at this. Speaking of cute, I love it. Hello. I'm so happy you're back. Uh, we're starting to think we'd never see you again. We search for you every single day, Princess Zelda. Aw, so sweet. And then you wanted to play with me. Okay, that's all you said. And then, uh, please don't ever go away again. Oh, I'll try not to. I'm oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Uh, Abby Bagel. Thanks for the five gifted subs. I'll be taking that out of your paycheck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 
Um, uh, Katan, thanks for the uh, tier one. Also, if you know, you know, but, um, shouts to, um, from software who gave me my, uh, Elden Ring mud. That was, that was the, that was, the <laughs> that was the promotion for playing, uh, the Elden Ring DLC when that released with Shadows of the Earth Tree. They gave me a mug. And honestly, it's growing on me. Uh, I'm just saying, Nintendo, what'd you give me? DMCA takedown. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, whoa, it's Princess Zelda. Long time no see. So where have you been? Uh, out doing princess stuff or something? Oh, uh, enough! Uh, that's no way to speak to Princess Zelda. So sorry, Princess. You know how kids can be. Uh, sorry for being a kid. <laughs> my, uh, uh, my, uh, my YouTube chat. Uh, you look exhausted. I hope you're recovering all right. Uh, come on. Come on. That's funny. That's funny. YouTube chat. Don't deface. Don't. No, oh, you're good, guys. No. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> if it's your first stream here, I always love to poke fun at my chats. Uh, just because it's, uh, it's a fun time. You guys poke fun at me. I poke fun at you. It's a good time. Uh, that monster who kidnapped you has got some nerve. I made it my mission to take him down myself. Uh, I need to get training immediately. Mind and body. I'll start with two whole sit-ups. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm not going to knock you on that because uh, the hardest part is starting. So uh, mad props to you. Some people can't even do one. Uh, and it's awesome that they try. Uh, when I heard you were back, my side of release could have knocked on a house. I'm so grateful you're all right. You should go rest up. Interesting. So I know we're supposed to go to like the castle, but like I'm having too much fun talking to you guys. Ooh. Hey, Princess Zelda, welcome back. Do you see any rifts on the way back here? I'm real shocked to see one crop up here in town. I'm glad nobody got pulled into it. Yeah, it seems like it's a very common thing. I like to get the world building too around this. You know, it's it's something that I really enjoy doing. Really just getting into all of it. Oh, uh, this is the shop. Okay. Uh, feel free to look around. Hang on, princess. Is that you? Oh, wow, what a princess. You got uh, out of a serious situation like it was nothing. Uh, it was all by myself. Uh, I definitely had no man help me at all. I'm an independent woman. Uh, I hear that rifts, uh, just like the one in town, are appearing elsewhere too. Mm. Having you back brings some sense of peace, but there's still plenty to be worried about. All right, so you sell butter, apples. What is this? Um, yeah, uh, uh, like a, a, a bracelet maybe and a potion. Like, like, oh, a cat! Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a. Can I pet the cat? You can't pet the dog. You pet the cat though. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. Oh, my heart. You can't pet it. Worst game ever. But like, oh, my heart. God, that's so cute. You know what? If there's if there's the existence of butter in this, I wonder if there's a similar speed run that you can do in this game. That's like butter, like put butter on the dog percent. Oh, dog. Speaking of which, oh, he's so cute. Can you follow me? You going? Oh, best game ever, actually. You know what? Best game ever. This is actually the best game ever. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually the best game ever. Uh, trapped by a no-gooder for a whole week. If anyone can find a way out, it's you. Uh, I told everyone they don't need to worry. Oh, I'm getting so good at this whole flattery thing. <laughs> Me talking to women. Aha! Easy. Oh, hello. God, they're so cute. Yeah, I wonder if the... the I, I would be interested in speedrunning this game. Me. Like five seconds to do the tutorial. <laughs> All right. Oh, Prince Zella, so worried about you. The king waits for you in the throne room. Which I wear for you. I'm glad to see you saving time. All right, let's go uh, talk to the king who is in the castle looking for us. Yeah. Um, as a loyal servant, I should have been able to find you. I promise to do better in the future. That's right, you're fired. Uh, so good to have you back, Princess Zelda. I'm sure the king will be over the moon when he sees your face. Here we go. Is that Impa? It should be. Yeah, sweet child. Such a relief to see you safe. Welcome home, princess. I must say, your loyal Impa felt so flustered that I could not save you myself. 
On top of your kidnapping, rifts have been uh, appearing all over. Uh, it's a source of much fear. I'm certain your return will be a great comfort to the people during those troubling times. You've always been quite spirited, though I didn't expect you to make it back on your own. Well, I'm so overcome with emotion that I've spoken out of turn. Uh, off you go now. The king awaits you. In the meantime, I'll draw a nice hot bath for you to enjoy while you're ready. Oh, it's so sweet of you. But thank you so much. Yeah. My duty to, my, is my duty to guard the throne room. The king is just inside, awaiting. Yeah. Welcome, Princess Zelda. Are you headed to the throne room? The king is waiting inside. Mm. Well, let's go see the king. Ah! Oh! He do be pacing. Oh. <laughs> this game art style is so cool. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, princess! I'm so relieved you're back. Oh, princess, what an absolute joy to see you safe and well. Despite that joy, I feel ashamed that we were unable to find you. On behalf of Mr. Minister Lefty. Lefty? I'll call it that. Lef Lefty, you know. On behalf of Minister Lefty and me, please accept our apologies, princess. Mm. Ah! Sorry, is, is that King Rome Boss from is Hyrule? The last king of Hyrule? Whoa! The entire time? Unless, like, I don't know when this appears in the canon, you know? This is King Daphnes Nuff Anson Hyrule? There, you get the Wind Waker one. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, oh, it's General Right and Minister Left. Oh my God, how did I get this? Yeah, General Right, Minister Left. That's so funny. <laughs> I appreciate your sentiments. Well, let's not dull this joyous moment with our regret. Uh, Zelda, my dear daughter, you did well to return to us. Come closer so I may look upon you. Oh, I am so relieved. You are healthy and whole and well. Uh, imagine if you were half, like just being like, well, you know, the right half of you doesn't doesn't really exist. It's been voided out. But like, hey, you're left. Some people would say you're <coughs> all right if you're if you if the left half got taken is what the, some people would say you all right. Get to you. so tell us, Zelda, what happened to you? Oh. A swordsman in green saved you from a fell beast. Quite the tale. Hmm. Uh, but after defeating the monster, the swordsman was taken by a rip. Hmm. Okay, so they're not totally aware of Link. Then It's him we have to thank for saving your life. So he was pulled into a rift. Another one stolen away. Very interesting. Oh. I, indeed, I hope he's safe. I love how in these Zelda games, you can, like, you know, piece together what we do know, what we don't know, based on, like, you know... Like, like in different Zelda games, for example, like... King of Hyrule in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, knows Link, their buddies, best swordsman in the world, right? Oh, but in this case, he's just like a regular swordsman who's out to save the princess. Um, the void, the void uh, rifts have been happening for a while, and you know, uh, Ganon's a pig. It's really cool. Hmm. Stolen away, a tidy phrase for a tougher fate being taken by a rift, hmm. an unsettling phenomenon. Our fair Hyrule has continually been plagued with these rifts and disappearances. As you know, rifts have been appearing for a long time, claiming our young ones. Indeed, so many children have been stolen away. We've remained vigilant. So they're specifically targeting children? But despite our best efforts, we've never been able to prevent the rifts from appearing. Ultimately, those who've experienced losses have been left to contend with their grief. Now, I've been receiving reports about people disappearing from every corner of Hyrule. And it isn't just children anymore. Adults now are disappearing too. Hmm. What could be causing such an uptick? Hmm. For now, we should also work on finding the swordsman in the green tunic. And with haste. Uh. Your majesty! Well, we have the tunic uh. itself. What is it, soldier? Huh? Urgent news. The rifts, they're causing serious trouble. <gasps> oh no! Hmm. Please, soldier, what are the details? Huh? Oh, of course, your majesty. My wife! Oh, whoa! That's so cool! Monsters appearing from the void as well. Firstly, we've received word that someone from the southern village. Oh, Southorn. Southern village. 
<laughs> I love this naming scheme in this game. <laughs> Was swallowed up by a rift. <laughs> then we also received news of dark monsters attacking people in Hyrule Field. That is a troubling news indeed. <laughs> Thank you for your report, soldier. Tell the rest of your battalion to prepare for departure immediately. Yes, your majesty. Aye, aye, captain. Nope. General, minister, sire. <laughs> and minister left. Continue your investigations into the rift phenomenon. I'm expecting you to find a way to save any and all who have vanished into the rifts. You can count on me, sire. General Wright, I leave the monsters to you. Prepare your troops and head into battle. M on my honor, sire. This crisis must be dealt with. Continue looking into the rifts and locate those who've been lost. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, poor timing. King! Oh, they turn into stone. Oh, oh, and they've become like void enemies. Hmm. Guards. Lock her up immediately. <laughs> Yeah, evil versions. Lock up the princess? My daughter created the rift you see behind me. You cannot leave such horrible power unchecked. I, I, I also, um, by the way, it's, um, I, why did General Right and Minister Left, like, jump into the void? <laughs> I mean, I know they did it to try to save the king, but, like, my brother and bear, like, you were not, you know? Uh, you were not going to save him. My daughter created the rift you see behind me. But we cannot leave such horrible power unchecked. Disturbing though it may be, General Right and Minister Left bore witness as well. Oh, God. Well, don't just stand there. Lock her up at once. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Oh, that's crazy. I love that. Why did we lock up the princess? What could the king be thinking? You haven't heard? Apparently, she's the one who created the rift in the throne room. What? There's no way. So then she might also be responsible for all the other rifts? Oh, we're going fugitive here. <laughs> yeah, they'll just keep popping up as long as she's around. There's even word the king plans on putting her to death to save the kingdom. Oh, wow. This got a little dark for... Classic uh, Zelda. Wow, okay. Damn, for a little cutesy. Wow. We're going to behead her brutally. It's just, okay. Oh, geez. We're going to go execute her. You know, string her up. And then, uh, you know, like, uh, it's like actually just like cut off her head. Like, okay. Wow, to death. Geez. We're going to use an axe, sharpen it beforehand, you know, and then uh, uh, put her on the guillotine, you know, stretch out her neck and then see if we can actually snap it. In, like, what's capital punishment's crazy in this? Jeez. Oh, there's no public hearing, you know? Where's due process? I'm just saying, you know, you have the right to remain silent. Where's, where's her Miranda rights? We didn't get anything here. I guess that doesn't exist in Hyrule. Uh, I can't believe the princess uh, would be the cause of these things. Oh, we're just in. All right. Well, we're going to wait out our sentence, guys. Oh, well, actually, we are waiting on our sentence. Wait, wait, it went to black. Wait. <laughs> I, I, I thought it just gave us access. Okay. I was making a joke. I didn't know it would actually do that. <laughs> oh, whoa. You can see me? My name's Try. Astute viewers would notice that the tail uh, has three different um, triangles, like the Triforce, and it's named Tri, the embodiment of the Triforce, most likely. Uh, that blue monster, he caught me too. 
I've been watching you since then. Oh, Ganon. I followed you here to this castle. Oh, yeah, I should ask. What's your name? My name's Zelda. Got it. Sorry, I just need to... I, I got you guys. In case you guys can't, like, infer what Zelda was saying there, like, I'll, I'll speak out, you know? <laughs> All right, you're welcome, guys. I, hey, I, I, I'm great at playing games. Zelda, your life is in danger if you stay here. The person who put you here is the king, right? He told, uh, he told someone to hurry and prepare for your execution. Once I heard that, I figured I'd be, I figured I'd be better to tell you. All right, I, I figured I'd be better to tell you. I'd better tell you. I can't read. I figure I'd better tell you. The king and the other two got pulled into that rift. The three that came out seemed weird. Oh, you notice they seemed weird too. You think they're imposters? What an odd word. Anyway, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. I think we can save the people who've been taken into rifts. I think if we could save the people who've been taken into rifts, we could reveal the truth. But none of those people will be able to get out on their own. We have to save them together, Zelda. But first, let's save you. Let's get you out of here. Uh, you can't get through the bars? <laughs> oh, I'm... Uh, yeah, sorry. I can't, like, phase shift. My bad. They didn't teach me how to do that in school. Not really a thing, you know? Now, that's interesting. Uh, let me help. Ah, uh, the why. <gasps> That's so cool. Uh, cool. All right. We're going to wait out our sentence. Because I'm a law abiding sit. All right. No, we're kidding. All right. Uh, you borrowed the tri rod. It's a mysterious rod, the same color as Tri. It's warm to the touch. I can create echoes of things in this world. Oh. Can you make a <laughs> echo of my brain? Maybe echo of wisdom? Mm, I'm not sure what would be the most useful to you, but I'm sure this will come in handy. Go up to something that's shimmering and then press ZR. Ah, uh, like this. Learn. A table! The table echo. Good job. That's how you learn things. Anything you've learned can be echoed with Y. Oh, a table! <laughs> Look at that. A perfect job. What you created is called an echo. Press ZR when you're near an echo to erase it. If you want to erase all of your echoes, hold ZR. Things learned with ZR, uh, depending... The number of things you can echo depends on how much of Tri's power uh, is available. Uh, echoes can be erased with R, ZR to erase all echoes. Hold it. Um, yeah, there's so many different, like, challenge runs you could probably do with this game. Um, I already have a couple ideas just based on what I saw in, like, the first trailer. Um, whoa, you can move the table like this? Oh, cool. Uh, so, if you guys like this game, uh, we're gonna be doing some challenge runs. Maybe even, like, a speedrun or two, some glitch, uh, exhibitions, whatever. Um, just a lot of fun things. Uh, yes. The table. Onto here. We didn't even need to use the echo. But can I create more tables? Uh, it looks like I don't have... Oh, it's with Y. Sorry. Okay, so you can only have three echoes at once, looks like. Okay. Interesting. Can I do this? <laughs> I was like, imagine I can like actually just go over the bars with this. Oh, there's so there's probably some funky stuff you can do over here. Oh, that's that's just so exciting. Oh yeah, there's three different um uh triangles here, and that's how many echoes you can have because it disappears from Tri's tail, right? So if I use this, right, one of the one of the triangles from Tri's tail. Oh yeah, I love that. Okay. I can go to the left here, but what if I go to the right? Can I open this? I can't. Hello? How's that? Oh, oh, I've got you! Oh, they got me. Okay. 
and then put me back. Mm. How'd you manage to get out? Well, whatever. You're on. Uh, you're here on the king's orders. Please stay put and don't cause any trouble. Okay, so we have to just do it again. Okay. Can I? <laughs> Wait. I have the stupidest idea. One second, one second, guys. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Hi, guys. Okay. Okay, one second, one second, one second. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> I have a great idea. I wonder if I can like kite them specifically. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, well, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Okay, okay. Okay, he's fast, he's fast, he's fast, he's fast, he's fast. Okay. No, this is, this is, I think I can do it. So, how, uh, I need to like, okay. There, it, he's really fast. So if I can get him caught behind this table, okay, bring him in here. And then I personally, um, uh, no, I, I want to go here jump up here right then the guard probably can't get me you know okay yeah okay let's do this all right here we go here we go and maybe one more right here okay okay nice thing yeah, yeah, yeah. all right now, now they still see me okay okay oh, oh they can jump Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? No! Oh, it's, 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 it's... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. We can so do that. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think we can... Wait, that was close. That was close. We can so do it. Is This is so worth it. Okay. That was, that was definitely it, though. That was definitely it. We over here. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. I just gotta be a little bit faster, maybe. Okay. This is gonna be this is gonna make me really good at the game. <laughs> what this is so fun. Okay. Uh, I gotta go over here. Uh let's do this. Oh, I already know that like m my creativity in this game is gonna be crazy. Okay. Please, 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 please. Oh, okay. Okay. How do I kite them like better though? Hmm. How do I kite them better? Because the one, the one lost me there. It's so close. Okay. Yeah. What if I put like, I could put like an obstacle... Wait, this is this isn't like walk throughable, right? No, okay, okay. okay. Maybe I go like. I have to do this. Can I? I can't jump on top. Maybe I do this, right? But then I have to walk around. So what if I do like? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This, 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 this is working. Okay. So what if I do it like this, right? So I put the table over here. Okay. So I put the table there. Okay. And then when I jump off, so I, I jump onto here and I go up here and then I'm already closer to the door. Boom. Easy. Right. I think that's the, I think that's the goal. I think it's the goal. Uh, I'm going to put, put one right here. Just, just to, you know, boom. You see me. Okay, cool. Okay. They got caught on the table. One saw me. Oh, but like that, like that though, like that. Okay, okay, okay. Cheap cake, six for the thirteen months. Yep. 
I, I know we have like a full uh, like full game to like discover with this, but like, guys, guys, let me click on this, okay? Let me click on this. This is this is important to me. Okay. This is like really important. If I down here, I got one of them. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's odd. That's odd. That's odd. So he'll keep like trying to chase me like that. Okay. So I think I think the the actual thing that I need to do here is up here. Uh and then we go uh well and then and then he can't jump up really unless we're right here. So let me oops, let me go like this. Well, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do this. All right, so we go back over here. Okay. All right, nice, 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 nice. Here we go. All right, I got both of them. Oh, oh, please, please. Yes! Yeah! That's right! That's right, suckers! Yeah! Stay in that jail cell! Time out! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's that's too fun. Oh, that's too fun. Look at them! Look at them! <laughs> Look at you now! Look at you now! Uh, I can't crouch in this game, otherwise I would teabag right now. But like, oh my god! Now who's in jail? Uh. All right, I can't. Oh, I got wait what I got stuck right here oh wait that's so you can get stuck whoa I wonder if this sorry we haven't even done anything uh over here but like yeah I wonder if there's something here yeah you can there's probably like a, a this is probably like a glitch ish spot because once you get into here you can't move I wonder if you can do something here. Uh, I actually can't leave. Okay, there we go. You have to turn in circles. And I can't go this way. All right, sounds good. That's really funny. Yeah, you can probably maybe get out of the bounds. Maybe? I don't know. That's so funny. Look at them. They're so confused. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. If I go back in there, are they still like locked up? They're not. Okay, never mind. We leave. <laughs> All right, now to play the rest of the game. Okay, so we got a stealth segment here. Oh, I, oh, I go up. Oh, wait, you know what I do? I go up on the, uh, on the shelf there. I go up on the shelf. Like, for sure, like, up here. Yeah, that's how you do it. There you go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's a rat here. Okay, so if you, if you spawn it from a high enough distance. Wait, can I put it on the guard? <laughs> Look at him. All right. So then uh if I want to learn boxes, I can learn boxes. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely do like a table only speedrun it looks like of this or table only challenge. So I might do that later. Azel, you can see the echoes you've learned by holding down um, the D-pad. From there, you can select one with R and then release to swap that selection. Oh, whoa. This is like um, the menu they use in Tears. Yep. Need him. Uh, I'm just too good at this game. I don't need him. I don't need him. I don't need him. I don't need him. I'm literally too good at this game. Oh, there's another rat up there. I wonder if the rat's like have a significance here okay so you can't step oh my god no 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 
Okay, we're, we're still good. <laughs> Saved by the cutscene. So the other day, I, so the other day I broke a pot uh, to test the theory, and General Wright came running. Cool. I'm sure he gave you an earful about it. Ah. Actually, no, I threw the pot kind of far, and he ran to where he heard it break. Oh. General Wright is a simple man. Please, okay. <laughs> I thought I was saved by the cutscene. Okay, so if I want to do something like this, you know, it's just like an option. Oh, and you know what's cool? We don't have to use two tables now to go up. So we've only used two uh, echoes instead of three. So we've actually like saved an echo. Uh, Zephyr's Gaming, thanks for the 31 months. Uh, the Robot Wolf, thanks for the Prime Gaming Sheep Cakes. Uh, thanks for the 13 months. Muse Goose, 15. Uh, Alteria with the Tier 1. Avid Rhyme, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Thanks, guys, for the subs. Very kind of you. Okay. So we uh, break a pot, like up here. Oh, which is another echo we can learn. It'll distract the guards. Okay. Yeah. So if I do this for funsies. Yeah, it distracts them. Cool. Look at all the rats. They're so cute. Uh, okay. So then what I want to do here to distract this guard is probably take this table. Right? So we can go up here. Or something similar. And then go over here, take the pot, throw it over here. So he's distracted. And then jump down. That's so cool. Oh my God. I love how they make you. Whoa. Cool puzzles. Cool puzzles. A lot of different ways to solve things, looks like. I like how they're doing this. Oh, it's Impa. Princess. Uh, I'm so glad they saved. Hey, you're not hurt, are you? Uh, I can't even imagine what His Majesty is thinking. Claiming that you created that rift is preposterous. Uh, what? The king, general, and minister are all imposters? And your friend Tri made you a Tri Rod? Uh, was it? I see. Uh, Zelda can make use of the rod's power. Uh, where might Tri be now? You're here all on your own. Oh, so you can't see Tri. I think you're the only one who can see me, Zelda. Interesting. The world is truly a mysterious place. Hmm. Come what may, I will always support you, princess, no matter what mysteries unfold. Uh, we better not dally. The phony king is speaking of executing you. Jesus. We need to leave and quickly. Uh, yeah, this time it's by fire. He's going to burn you alive in blistering hot madness. Oh, okay. Oh, what's that blue fabric sticking out from your pocket there? Uh, I see it's the cloak the swordsman was wearing. The size seems workable. We'll do a fine job of shrouding you. Quickly now, before we're spotted. Oh, so that's why we have a cloak. <laughs> so they don't know we're Zelda because we're um, uh, an outlaw. <laughs> They'll never know we're Zelda now. <laughs> you got a disguise. It's light and flowy and conceals your identity nicely. It smells like a musty dresser. Okay. Canonically, Link smells. Um, so, you know, just, just putting that out there in case you're ever wondering uh, what Link smells like. He smells like a musty dresser. Uh, spin around by quickly pressing R. Uh, you should be able to uh, head around. Uh, should be able to head along now without worry. Oh, Princess is missing. Find her. Hmm. hmm. Seems like we have company. Leave this to me. And they don't know who we are. <laughs> where's Zelda gone though? Guys, don't, yeah. don't, don't be like, oh, where's Zelda? I know you guys have like the lack of object permanence, but chat, like I know you're, <laughs> that's Zelda with the cloak. <laughs> Lady Impa, who's that over there? Isn't it a princess? If it is, you must stand aside this instant. Oh. 
Uh, stand aside? No, I don't believe I'll be doing that. Ooh, Giga Chad. Whoa! Damn. Here, princess. Take this with you. A log. That's not a log. That's a book. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just terrible jokes. <laughs> this log was given to you by Impa. Uh, there's a folded map inside. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay. A couple things I see here. Um, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll note this in a second. But um, yeah, there's a couple things I see here. Uh, it looks like it vaguely is similar to that of the layout of Breath of the Wild, but they flipped it. Well, Gerudo's still in the bottom left. It looks like there's like a Farin sort of region, bottom right. Maybe Lanaru. Um, And then they flipped the top right and top left. Elden's normally in the top right. Um, Interesting. Uh, I like this. Pretty neat. Uh, it's loosely based on the Breath of the Wild map, looks like. This way. Uh, ahead, you'll find a shortcut that leads out to the castle. Use it to make your escape. Uh, hurry now. We will see each other later. The mysterious rifts. Oh, we can, we can have, we can have a plant. <laughs> you learned the decorative shrub echo. Okay. I don't know what this would be used for, but sure. Also, what was it? Quickly pressing R makes you twirl. Look at us. We're so pretty. Okay. Oh, cool. So it's like a... Okay. So so uh, with the echoes here, right? First off, yeah, we can solve deforestation. Don't worry, ozone layer. Got it covered. Uh, second off, it looks like uh, this is like... Like height of one, height of one and a half, height of two... Uh, this is a breakable pot. So we have like a, a bunch of different um, options for things. Oh, it's a bed. All right. So if you want, like, for example, a height of one, we go right here. And we want a height of one and a half. Uh, we go right here. And then now we can just kind of do this. Never mind. I lied. Okay. So if we want to get up. Okay. Normally you would use the trees here. Oh, and this is our inventory. Okay. Normally, you would use the trees here, but I'm stubborn and stupid. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is not do that. And then... Um, actually, I think you literally have to. Did you have to do a wooden box here. And then another wooden box. But then... Oh, no. No, then you use the table here. Then you get... Come on. There you go. I'm stubborn. All right. Cool. A bed! Yeah, so, 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 okay, so the table's probably half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like it's half. Here, here, here. We got the bed. This is cool. Hell yeah. Um, so we got the, the half. We got a full. And then we got a two, a breakable pot. And then a one, a half by two, it looks like. Interesting. A bed. You can make a, a bed. Bed speed runs when? <laughs> what? How are they? Why are they stacking beds like this, man? That's my question. Oh, and then you can do this. Oh, it's like a ladder. That's so cool. And creative. I say that and then immediately kind of like fuck this up. Okay. I see what they're doing here, though. Let me go up here and then I missed my. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're making bed stairs. Bed stairs. Shoot, 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 shoot. I didn't want this one. Can I do this? No, okay, so I fucked up here. Okay. Interesting. All right, so if you're on uh, an upper level, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm playing around with the beds here. I think it's very fun. 
I'm gonna do this. And then can I jump across? Can't. I just missed it the last time. Then we go over here with beds. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. You can I feel like the, the speedruns for this game are gonna be really funky, and I'm I'm excited for it. Awesome. We're outside the castle. Chat, would you guys be interested in watching a um a speed run of this game? Hard to spin. Oh, oh, and we cut these. Oh. I love that. All right, so so we we don't have a, a sword to cut down uh, grass with, so we just spin. <laughs> we got a rupee. Five rupees, neat. Uh, okay, we can't climb this, can we? No. Uh, we can go into the well here. Can I go into here? <clears throat> you know what they say when you see something like this? <clears throat> well, well, well. Yep. Look what we have here. <laughs> oh, a 2D segment. Royal family shortcut. Oh, we can make a bed underwater. <laughs> you got a rupee. That's nice. We can make a bed underwater. It's a water bed. Yeah. Mmm, cool. Right, and then our echoes will help us in 2D as well. I like that. That's cool. Good vibes. What is this? Is it a rock? A boulder echo. Uh, which uh, I'm assuming sinks to the bottom. Everything else doesn't. Okay. Got some uh, cool things here. So if I wanted to do this in a fun way, then I would spawn a bed here and then just like float the bed up. Like, I know I can push the crate here, but what am I but a creative mind? Wait, wait, okay. Testing this out. Can I put a table here and will, will it sink? No, okay. So maybe table only is not a dream that I can, I, I can dream, you know? Kill me. So we go uh, boulder here. By the way, if you guys are uh, enjoying this uh, stream and this playthrough, feel free to follow uh, on Twitch or you can subscribe on YouTube, whichever one you want. I'll be posting a full um, dedicated uh, edited video of this later. Nice. Oh, we made it out. Cool. Uh, I'll be uh, posting a full edited video of this later um, on YouTube, uh, but I'll be streaming it every single day uh, for at least like 10 to 12 hours until uh, about 10 hours, probably until we, um, you know, beat the whole game. So that'll be really fun. Um, yeah, minimum echoes sounds like a fun idea. Yeah, that sounds good. Minimum echoes, like uh, min caps for Sumo Odyssey. That'd be pretty neat, actually. I like that style. Um, and then on Twitch, um, I'll be streaming this as well. So if you guys want that, uh, either or. Really, really fun. Whoa. What's in here? Whoa! Okay, the void is um, uh, growing. How do we stop another rift? Mm. I'd love to know what's going on behind this. Rifts have been appearing uh, occasionally for a long time, and mending them was our job. Oh, except my power alone isn't enough to take care of a much larger rift like this one. Let's get away from it now. Try's job. So there's there's a whole more there's a whole bunch more of Try that exist, um, whoever they are, and their job was to close the rifts. But something probably happened to them. Which made them not be able to anymore. Okay, all right, we're going. Okay, all righty. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at Zelda. <laughs> oh, so cute. So I was theorizing. I didn't know we were in a life or death situation here, okay? And you're awake. Good, let's go. Link's Awakening. That's how they how they made that game. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry, anyways. Yeah, I love it when uh in Link's Awakening he does. Alright, we got a rock. Cool. <laughs> Don't know what it's used for yet, but uh we will see. Um yep. Okay. I can lift these. Oh, we're so strong. Oh, 
Wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. Here's here's a niche SpongeBob reference for you. <clears throat> it's not a boulder. It's a rock. All right, let's keep going. Uh, where are we? Yeah, where are we? Maybe that map thing that person gave you can help us figure it out. Uh, press my to open the map. Your current location is notated with uh, that mysterious character. It's a disguise. Don't know who it is. Uh, okay. So this is where we're uh, wanting to go. Uh, I love how they did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. So, so they've really taken a lot of inspiration from the previous games. And I love how they're, they're building upon uh, sort of like... Uh, you get the Link's Awakening uh, remake uh, sort of uh, art style and then also the way they did the map and everything um, or just like with the classic classic Zelda games like the, the, the top down ones uh, and then you have the Breath of the Wild um, here's the Kingdom map and then the also uh, adventure log and everything from that too that's really neat I love this oh, that's so cool that's so cool it's, it's, it's great here we go Uh, oh, a monster. He doesn't seem like a monster. They noticed you. Zelda, can you fight monsters? Uh, nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> I put a rock on him. Wait, that's interesting. Wait, I see speedrun potential here. Where you put a rock on the monster, right? Did I trap him? You put a rock on said monster, right? And then it, it increases some, um, like it, it increases the height of the actual thing. Oh, whoa. So if you defeat the enemy, then you can learn the enemy. You learn the Zol echo, the Zol. Okay. Did you learn the, uh, to echo that monster? Defeating new monsters leaves a shimmer, which allows you to learn about them like you did. Uh, and now we have a friend. Summoners, uh, uh, monsters learned with ZR can be echoed with Y. You can direct your echoes to attack specific targets by using ZL. Cool. Yeah, we're like, a, we're playing Summoner class. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I love that. Good vibes, good vibes. We have a new friend. All right, so uh, we have our... Oh, my God. This is going to have the same problem as uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> with the menuing. Ah, I thought we would have something better by now. All right, so I do this. A uh, bud. Uh, okay. Okay. Go team. What? Okay. Um, I don't know how good he is. Okay. Ah, oh, you did so well, buddy. What shall I name you? Oh, we can lift him up. Ah, what do we name him, guys? Yeah, what do we name him? Jerry? I love Jerry. Jerry, short for Jimith J J J Jer Jerothy. Oh, you can throw him. All right, target him. I'll distract him while you do the damage. Jerothy. All right, I'm distracting him. All right, Jerothy, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got to You got to do it, Jerothy. Yeah! Let's go, Jerothy! Yeah! Wait, can Jerothy swim? Oh, oh, I miss you. I'm actually tearing up. Like, I don't know if you see this, <laughs> but the actual real tears from that bit are like, oh, jeez. All right. I don't know why that actually got me. All right. Um, here we go. We got to continue with the game. You'll never be Jerothy. You'll never be Jerothy. Try as you might, you won't be him. 
Whoa, look at these urchins. I wonder if we can... Nah, it's just like Link's Awakening. These urchins are uh, pretty, pretty invasive. Ah. Oh, guys, look, we can't get past... Whoa, there's a chest here. Okay. Never mind, we're getting, we're getting this chest. Okay, I lied. I was like, oh, no, guys, we can't get to the chest. Oh, whatever shall we do? Um, we do this, and then we go over here. And then we use the decorative shrub, right? Uh... Oh, we're rich! 20 rupees. That's so cool. Yeah, I gotta get used to like being like, oh no, we can't get we can't get past somewhere, and then like actually being able to get past the, the spot, you know, by platforming. You have to think a little bit more 3D. So it wants me to look around. All right, there's a heart container over there. All right, so it's like, oh no, how do we defeat this guy? And it's like, okay, there's not much that we can do with. I mean, we can probably just like summon the rock here, right? And then like lift up the rock and throw it. Yeah, it works too. Whoa. Yeah. Right. So then I wonder if I can, because uh, beds float, right? Yeah. So then we can make a bridge of beds across. So then we can access the piece of heart. That's so cool. You got a piece of heart. Collect four and your maximum number of hearts will increase. Ah, oh, this is so creative. I love it. Um, and we can, <laughs> it's a water bed. Ah, Gulagoon. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, okay. So I can do something like this and then I can go here and then up. Okay. No, I can't get up here. Oh, but now that I have this, I wonder if I, a decorative shrub. It's it, well, it sinks rightfully so. I wonder if I can like Well first off let's do let's do something like this. Oh no, oh god! What have I done? And then I wanna put like another decorative shrub. Well no, I wanna mm. Yeah and then, and then we have limited time. Oh that's so cool! Look at this go. Okay. And then we have to do this with beds. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, whoopsies. The, the bed control, I think, is something I have to get used to. Like how to actually spawn beds properly, you know? Yeah. No bridge, we got a bed. Yeah, can I beat urchins? I don't know if I can. You can! Oh, and then I can learn urchins. Whoa! Okay, you learned the sea urchin echo. Cool. So if I take out the sea urchin here, you know, it'd be really helpful for this uh, menu if we had like favorites. So I put out the sea urchin echo. You don't really do much, but I'm assuming I can use you as like, um, if I like drop this from a cliff and then put it down, it could probably damage something. All right. Anyways, we just use rocks now. Yep. Cool. Whoa, beach cave. Hello. So I can't really do much damage to you initially. Unless I throw this while you're in the, the ground. Oh, and then I get a bat. Oh my God. You can learn everything in this game. Yo, Fish Cross, thanks for the five months. Appreciate it. Uh, Crash Grandma, thanks for the gift sub as well. Thank you. Uh, you learned the Keys Echo. Okay. So this is... Uh, if I want to do a Keys... Oh. <laughs> Fly with me, brethren. Fly with me. Okay. Um, so I know exactly what to do here. Because we need to uh, get down there for the piece of heart. Name it. Ooh, what do we name the keys? Don't worry about this. Oh, I need to make more over here. Kevin? Kevin, the keys. 
I love you. More than life. That was too high. I didn't mean to make a bed. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Nice. And then I uh, do a boulder here, right? <laughs> All right, fine. We do that. Echo. Okay. Reset all of them. Put them back down. That's the last one. Reset all of them. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Piece of heart. Like four and your maximum number of hearts will increase. So we got two of them. Oh, we can climb this? Why do simple thing when hard way do trick? All right. Your time to shine, Kevin. Go. Oh, he's actually so much better than uh, uh, Jerothy. He does so much more damage. Jerothy, I still miss you. I'll never forget you. Kevin, you're awesome, but uh, I'll never miss Jerothy. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty this game is. It's just fun. Uh, and people looking for a more classic Zelda adventure, it seems like uh, your prayers were answered, you know? You know? All right, what's in here? Whoa, we're rich! <laughs> yeah, that's right. 50 rupees? Damn, okay. Uh, all right, what's down here? So we're looking to go uh, to the... Whoa. Yeah, okay, so if you want to go up here, this is just entrance to cave, cave. We'll go over here. So we're going to the right here. I was told that this game is around like 20 hours to complete. Just, just for pacing reasons. Um, I'll be real. The way that we're going through, we're about like an hour and a half in. And I just basically, I'm assuming, just made it out of the tutorial. Um, so, we're killing it, gamers. <laughs> Southern Village. We're here. So, 60-hour uh, game. <laughs> I'll be live for 10 hours today. So, we still got another eight and a half. Uh, welcome to Southern Village. It's usually nice and quiet here. But now, it's terrible. If only Link were here. Okay, uh, who's Link? <laughs> Link is a young fellow from this village. Okay, I was wondering why these guys knew who Link was and the king didn't, but it looks like southern villages where Link is uh, born. He's better with a sword than anyone. He needs, uh, he helps us with a lot of problems. Monsters, weeds, you name it. <laughs> oh, uh, he's, he's uh, one of those people. Uh, he's got off on a journey right when we need him. Uh, just saying, you know, whenever he's like mowing the lawn, he's uh, mowing the lawn, you know? Uh, but that's very that's cute. Uh, Link's neighbors. Yeah, I love it. How curious. Link wears a cloak like yours. Uh, Link, I hope you're all right. Uh, uh, well, what happened? A rift appeared north of here and it grew so fast that none of us, uh, that one of us got caught inside. Of course, we can't even run to Hyrule Castle for help. The rift is blocking the way there. Only Link were here. Stay safe out there. Hey, keep yourself safe. It's Jaxie. Thanks for the 18 months. can learn a meat the meat echo i don't know what this does but i love it already meat only rung coming in oh we can lift it and toss it wait genuinely genu genuinely you know how i beat tears of the kingdom with my meat what if i beat echoes of wisdom with my meat it I already have a couple ideas. I don't want to tell you guys all my ideas that I have for videos, but... Uh, is this a different kind of pot? Uh, I, I've already learned the pot echo, though. 
Oh, this is the Hyrule Castle pot. This is a separate kind of pot. Okay. Hey, you know, there's different there's different strains of pot in this game. Hello? Uh, we're pretty upset around here. One of us uh, villagers has been caught in a rift. And we can't escape either. The forest nearby is crawling with monsters. All right, yeah. So it looks like in Southern Village here, uh, the rift uh, separating the Southern Village from... Well, the, the rift is blocking the path from Southern Village to Hyrule Castle. And so Link went out to not only save the uh, princess, but also to uh, get help from Hyrule. A rift swallow up one of my neighbors. Oh, there must be something we can do besides pacing. Hey. Uh, we, I, tra I got a trampoline. What a greatest gift. Uh, you can play with it too. A trampoline. A trampoline. You learned the trampoline echo. Wait, that's actually awesome. Uh, that's awesome. We can do probably so much with it. Okay, that's exciting. Uh, there's a well down here too. Uh, an axe. Cool. All right, what's in this uh, house? Cool. It, it looks like... Oh, this is Link's house. This is Link's house. Whoa. Because you see the little cap on the, on the headboard over there? Wow. Here. For you. You get a couple pots. I know how you like them. Wait. All right, let me... Nice. In remembrance. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, there's another thing over here. Hello. Wait, you can copy a sign? Sorry, wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this first. Yeah. Uh, the rift nearby is huge, and it's terrifying being so close to our village. It could be the southern forest, too. A strange old man lives there. I hope he's okay. All right. Just to recap, in case uh, we need one, right? The, the goal of this right now, of this game, and what we're doing is... There's rifts appearing all over Hyrule, and it's our goal to figure out what is causing these rifts, how to stop them, and how to save the people that are swallowed by the rifts uh, inside. Uh, so right now, we're in Southern Village, which is the sort of area of Hyrule um, where Link was born, uh, or at least hangs out like a lot. And uh, it seems like, yeah, you can see all this on the little map right here. Um, there's a rift that's blocking the pathway north to Hyrule Castle. Uh, it seems like there's a rift over here to the, the, the east as well. Very interesting. Oh, it's a shop. Uh, welcome! Potion sweets. You'll find a tasty selection here at Southern Shop. Uh, come on in. Take a look. I'm going to help you. Uh, I'd like to sell or chat. Chat. Let's chat. What do you think of my stock? Uh, potion sweets. All you need for adventure. Uh, so we can get a piece of heart here if we wanted. Yeah. 80 bucks! Let's do it. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, so that's three of four yeah. hearts. That's for your patronage. Uh, what's here? Yeah. Floral nectar. Sweet nectar with a floral scent. When used to drink, it boosts the effect of other ingredients. Mm. Oh, okay. Cooking. Uh, and yeah. then a red potion for source health. Mm. And then there's a empty slot mm. here. You're out of stock of an item that I don't know what you have. Cool. Uh, all right. Let's go into the well. Whoa. Oh, there's something here. Right. And a little... Why is there a bed and a... Okay. Oh, and we just got free uh, floral nectar. Zion can be used to recover hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into the drink. Oh, okay. We got five floral nectar. For Link. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, look. Oh, my God. There's a cat on the roof. 
Oh my god! Let's go say hi to the cat. Hello. <laughs> You're adorable! And I love you. One second. Aha! <laughs> okay, you know this is about to be cooked when you can do this. <laughs> uh, dude, dude, the speedruns of this game are... I feel like they can be broken. Like... Like this is how you break the this is how you break the game is by doing stuff like this. Like this is obviously meant to exist because there's hitboxes and everything. But like I'm telling you right now, there's some there's some sequence break we could probably make with this, you know? You feel me? Like I wonder if you could like Well, can you jump over the void actually? Now that I think about it. Hey, shout if you can hear me! Uh, who are you? No, no, it doesn't matter. Can you please help? That cloak looks like a lot like Link's. Are those cloaks trendy right now or something? <laughs> uh, they could be. Ah, what am I doing? This is no time for idle banter. My wife got swallowed up by the rift. Oh. We saw that happen in an earlier cutscene. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, wife! Can you hear me? I'm right here. I love how he says the moniker of how she's related to him and not her name. Like, that's just a... The manager! Actually, I do say... I He's like a Twitch streamer. Hear me out. Mods! Hey, chat! Like... <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder if you could. So, let me go like... Okay. Do you think I could? Yep. Yep. Oh, they 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 definitely thought of this. Oh, so there's there's definitely there's like it's like a there's like a wall of where you can't have an echo more. So even though it's like a valid bed spot, you know, it's not technically valid, right? You see that? I'll find a way. I'll find a way later. <laughs> okay. What? I learned a sign. How, how is this important? A simple sign made of wooden planks. These stand all over Hyrule. Good for throwing. Uh, you can move if you really push. Love and great effort. Stand on, lie down, pushy leaves. Uh, it's support pushing. Um, it's big enough for a push to fit inside. Oh, that's the difference between the pots. Okay. Uh, meat. Uh, it's dripping juices entice certain monsters. Can pierce metal as a sea urchin. Uh, if you hold one aloft and step off a ledge, you can glide a bit. Oh. Move slowly and then jump higher. Okay, so... If I... <laughs> oh, I love this! Metal Gear Solid who? What is this? Oh, there's so many things in this game. I'm getting <laughs> collector's anxiety. Hey, Zelda. Uh, have a look at this. What is this? It's like a warp stone. That's uh, a waypoint. 
Okay, yeah. You can now warp here using the map. Awesome. All right. It lit up. That's great. These are waypoints. We use these a lot. Rifts can appear all over the place, so we use these to travel quickly around the world. Once you interact with one, you can travel to it at any time. I'm sure they'll be helpful. That's great. Awesome. Waypoints can be found in different places. If you spawn any, make sure to check them out. All right. So it looks like we're um our it looks like our goal is still to get to the mysterious rifts. We can't go north because there's a giant rift uh, sort of blocking the way. So it looks like we probably have to go south and around um uh, to get to uh, uh where we need to go. Cool. Big rifts. There's one to the south here. Uh, I'm sensing lots of creatures in this area. I think the place marked with uh, is up ahead. I don't know how to denote that as a sound, but sure, we'll take it. Oh. Oh. So cool. It does really remind me of um it does really remind like it really truly does remind me of um uh tunic a lot. Okay, so we can get across here if we wanted to. Oh, there's a treasure chest. That's good. Whee! I, I thought I could do it. <laughs> I thought I could do it. All right, so I can't actually do this, but I can do this. Nice. Chat, how are you guys liking the game so far? Are you guys liking it as much as I am right now? It's very fun. Hey, sure, guys, sir. Thanks for the 33 months. No, my echo. No, Kevin. Dude, this Jareth is crazy. Nice. It's so cute. It's great. Reminds me a lot of Legends of Wicked. Uh, just from the art style alone. All right, what's in here? An apple. Electro apples. This item can be used to recover hearts, but it's more effective when mixing with drink. Right, so there is cooking in this, right? Because we have, um, we go to our inventory, which I'm assuming is with plus. Here it is, yeah. Notebook. Uh, this is our system. You can use amiibo. Okay, there's difficulty system. Hero modes for advanced players in certain justice, like taking twice the damage and no hearts dropping. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, wow. Like a little Nuzlocke mode. All right. So we have, uh, yeah, so electro apples. So you probably can mix these together, make like a drink or something, you know? Um, and then we have a tri rod for a key. Thing, so. Cool. Uh, so in order for me to get back, wait, can I? Isn't there like a, yeah, a dive? I don't know if there's anything here. But, like, imagine. Oh, they, they would hide something. They would. You, you know that. The bed bridge. Nothing stops the bed bridge. Nice. I still know what the amiibos do, but they've got uh, announcing Echo Wisdom runs. Yeah, I mean, we'll figure out what amiibos do and stuff later. We'll figure it out. Can I read this? Watch out for monsters hiding in the grass. There's no monsters hiding in the grass. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, it's so cute. Go, my faithful minions. Attack that snake. Y you could be better at your jobs. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you how to do your jobs, but you could be better at them. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Thank you. Oh, can you not get damn? Okay. Uh, we're just going to do this the easier way. Never oh, now you decide to do your jobs? Oh my god. All right, you got a snake. Uh, we got Noodle, the uh, the rope echo? That's a snake, what? Okay, uh, what can you do? Uh, able to dodge airborne foes attacks with ease. Oh, so I was, you, I was. <laughs> okay, that's why, that's why um, we weren't be able, we weren't, the, 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 the keys weren't. It will do as much damage. Okay, that makes sense. I was just hard countered. Cool. Um, yeah. Snake. 
and I lift you? Hello. Damage! Yeah, it has type advantage. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, Pastry Guys, thanks for the 33 months. Appreciate it. Uh, and Monk Monk's Kojia, thanks for the uh, 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 $10. Appreciate it. My first donation to a streamer, you're going to be the best to donate to as I love your streams. Have a good day, Mr. Crow. Hey, I hope you're having a great day yourself. Very kind of you. Uh, we're having a, we're having great vibes here. Uh, all right, so there's actually a there's so much to uncover here. There's so much to do, so much to see. Because there was there, there was a there was a cave over here that I didn't go into because I was like, oh maybe this isn't the right. It's I'm having the classic RPG moment of like, okay, let's go the main direction. There's a side path. Okay, let's go to the side path and then we go to the main path. But then the side path that you thought was the side path is actually the main path, so you have to backtrack to go to the main path. Or you have to go to the actual side path, and then you it, that that actually is a different side path. So then you just you just get lost. You feel me? What are you? Go go danger noodle. Oh, <laughs> I killed him. Can I not? Huh? Okay. Oh, that did do damage. It just didn't kill him. Yeah, okay. What is this? Uh, it's a fire source. An Ignizol. Uh, any, uh, anything that touches a set of blades. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. We already have so many different things that we can use with this. So if I want to set something ablaze, go! A fire risk. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm on I'm on fire! Oh, okay, alright, 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 I get it. Arson! My favorite felony. Awesome. That's cool. And we just uh, set that on fire to open the door all the way through. Hey! And we go to uh, get a little treasure chest for this. We got a bottle! A fairy bottle! Fairies love these sturdy bottles and we'll jump right inside. Awesome! Alright, that was well worth it. Uh, classic Zelda games and their bottles. You always know a bottle is like the way to go. Alphonse. I love the name. Uh, I would like to procure one heart, please, if possible. Yeah, different versions of the different versions of the jellies. I mean, for sure. You know, I love the music. I also just want to know more about this game. Look at us spin, Nero. Nero. So I wonder. Will this work to regain hearts? <laughs> I love this game! Alright, so you have to go back and sleep. You can't just, like, rest like that. Alright, put that away. No need to litter. That's so cool. Uh, okay, so piece of heart right there, like, uh, which where we can get to. I, I'm assuming from a different side. So let's go down here first. It seems like that's the goal. Hello. The thing is too is that like this game really rewards you for exploring. It looks like. Uh. Yeah, this game uh, really seems to uh, reward you for exploring because. Uh, because it gets you new echoes that you can use for later for whatever reason you want 
This is this is worth it, by the way. Nice, there we go. Yeah, so now we have like an armadillo echo. This is so adorable. Uh, a Caro Madillo. This monster lives in caves or in plains, recklessly charging everything it sees. It holds its tail to roll, bouncing off a wall. Cool. What do we name him, guys? <laughs> I love that. Adorable. Carmen. Carmen San Diego is the name. Okay, that's cool of you. Cool. And we got another piece of heart. Which makes four. And we now have an extra heart. Awesome. Oh, you can see here. This is this is important. So you see here, right? These are the amount of tries it takes to spawn each one. Oh. Okay, so it costs two to spawn the armadillo. Uh, to spawn Carmen. There's a pig. All right, so I, I want you. Oh, that was the... Oh, last learned cost type. Most used. Yeah, so cost here. You can see that these are two versus the one. Okay. Cool. I do like Carmen a lot. What a good pickup. Yeah, because he's just like... Oh, Carmen, please. Oh, he also has more health, too. I'm sorry. Did you just go up the ledge? Crazy. Oh, we can have a pig! Oh, my God. I love this. <laughs> it's just like Pokemon. Learn the Spear Mob with Echo. Oh, and there's a fairy over there. Hello? This game is really just being like, hey, I know you have something important to do, but like, one second. <laughs> All right, we got the fairy in a bottle now. The fairy will automatically restore some hearts if you run out. That's great. Good find, good find. Okay. So this is the, oh, look at the house. Uh, this is where you were supposed to go? Looks like the rift is blocking the door. Yeah. Bella, my role is to mend rifts. I have lots of friends who do the same. We all work together fixing up the rifts. And normally my friends fix them up quickly, so it's weird that this is still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Yeah, so it seems like, you know, uh, my theory about this is true, right? So Try has like a bunch of groups of people that like the rifts appear everywhere for some unknown reason, but regardless they do because maybe there's some sort of fabric of reality tearing or whatever, right? Okay. Um, but these guys are the ones that repair the rips. And so something definitely happened to them, which means that the rips are kind of growing out of control in some way, shape, or form. I don't even know if it's, it, it could be Ganon's doing. Uh, we see that people are... Not only that, the, the, the properties of the rips are very interesting because you have the enemies or people uh, go inside the rips, they turn to stone, and then copies of themselves come out and then become evil versions, probably controlled by whoever is um, making these rips swallow up the world. Uh, so, uh, I'm wondering who, like, imprisoned, destroyed, captured, um, tries friends, preventing the rifts from opening. Uh, or, or causing the rifts to open more, preventing the rifts from being sealed. I'm guessing my friends are in the rift, and we can find them, we can mend this rift easily. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> <coughs> or I could just read more dialogue and not have to theorize, and it'll just tell me immediately. All right. But I like it. I think it's fun. Let's head this way. We'll find an entry point. <laughs> Apologies for me trying to enjoy the game. Can I jump in here? No, it won't allow me. And there's a. I wonder. I wonder if we can get that that um, butterfly. We cannot. So cool. Yep. Yeah, which is your favorite echo so far? Yep. Out of all of these, which one? Personally, either Carmen or the bed. Oh, 
meat. We have a meat. Uh, we can... The music is so good. We can probably get on top of this if we wanted to, actually. Yeah, all right. Oh, and... Yeah, we can't open it until we beat these guys. Right. Can I take this urchin, then? Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. We're going full battle mode. I lied. I lied. I lied. Uh, wait, can I, can I spear moblin? You, you go. You go do things. Go. go. Spear moblin. Ha 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 ha. Go, my Pokemon. Wait, it got stuck? Are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah, so guys, welcome back to Kaizo Ironmon. Um, the uh, uh, extremely hard Pokemon game where we try to beat the, the game with one Pokemon. Everything's randomized. Um, and um, uh, if we die at any point, then we reset the entire uh, seed. <laughs> Whoa. We got a Moblin Monster Fang. High quality tooth was dropped by a monster. You, can, you can't use it in its current form. Okay. Probably what the coach does with it. YouTube doesn't know about Iron Mon. You're scaring them. Oh, sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, shoot. We're low on health. Here, you Moblin, go beat that guy. <laughs> I'm going to passenger princess my way up and girl boss my way out. <laughs> <laughs> Tactical sleep. Easy. Chat, and if you're ever wondering about girl bossing, you know, like, I, I know how to do it. Get simply outplayed. All right, what's in here? What did we earn? Grapes. Ten bunches of refreshing grapes. This is so fun. Hi, Parker. Love the content. Thanks for being here while I watch. Uh, to watch while I do literal rocket time for Z for uni. That's awesome. That's hell. Uh, that's hella cool. I did. Uh, it wasn't exactly rocket science, but uh, close enough. All right, there's something down there. Uh, oh, let's get this warp point first. Railgun science. Whoa, that's a huge rift. Now warp here using the map. Giant. More point crow lore. It's not that uh, rare point. That's that's it's it's common point crow lore. You know, I'll say this. One of my favorite things that I see people do on the internet. I don't know why it's my favorite thing, or one of my favorite things. But I really love it when uh, I'm watching like TikTok and the comments treat it like a trading card game. You're know, like, oh, you know, this this like mythical uh, uh, for you page pull, or like, ah, oh, hey, we just got like another common here, you know? Oh, whoopsies! I don't worry about the fairy being used there. I did it on purpose. I wanted to give the mob a chance. All right. Oh, can I learn? Can I learn this? What? Okay. Uh, braze brazier. I never braze. We ho ho. You know. Here we go. Nice. Brazier, but like you know. All right. Keep going. Uh. Oh, let me uh heal the full really quick. <laughs> I have to say, this is what, like some of my favorite, you know, mythical stream pull. Thanks, guys. 
has to be one of my favorite mechanics that you just go to bed. Whoa, hello. Okay, so I can get, I can block this with you. I'm assuming we probably use something similar to this. Okay, no, we don't. I lied. I need to find a way to defeat you somehow. And that's probably with a Carmadillo. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Um, nope, no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe with the, I mean, probably uh, Ignizol, but we can try like a sea urchin. Oh, oh um, well actually now, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, only, I see how this does. I see how it does. Um, so it's only when it has the stuff out. We need, we need to like, not, we need to like take a break or whatever, right? Okay, no, never mind. Okay. An evil hot pip. Let me try this. Uh, maybe with something that's not on the ground. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, never mind. Well, that was a way to do it. Okay, it's working. If it's timed right, then it works. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Awesome. You learned the pea hat echo. A pea hat. It's our first three try echo. A large plant creature that spins its spiky roots to attack. Like most plants, it's vulnerable to fire. Yeah, I probably should have used fire there. That's like an obvious one, but um, I think it's like really funny. You know what I love a lot about this too? Is that it? so far it seems to reward you a lot for exploring by giving you new tools to adventure with so hey it takes three tries to use it just like how many times it took us to get there so uh p hat let's uh let's try this against another enemy if we have it oh no we can't get up what shall i do scroll three to five business days to get to a trampoline yay <laughs> <laughs> it's so satisfying. It's so cool. Whoa, what's in here? We're going north. It's a giant dwarf. I knew it. I can sense my friends in there. My friends in there. <laughs> Congratulations. But they can't move. It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rift at all. I think we can. Ha uh, I think we'll have to go in there and help them. Then we can deal with this rift properly. We can then save them if we are together, Zelda. Okay, so so we're going into the the void. <laughs> what do you say? Hmm. Whoa. Okay. All right, we can get in there now. Let's go save my friends. All right. So we got to figure out what's happening to Tri's friends and why the rifts are sort of existing in Hyrule. Uh, let's go do that. Uh, let me uh, really quick uh, split my VOD real fast and then upload it so then my editors can start working on this uh, game. Uh, for the video for you guys on YouTube. Uh, give me one second, guys. Um, yeah. Shouts to Simon and Kat, uh, who are uh, editing this literally while I'm streaming it. So then you guys can get a full edited uh, playthrough video of it um, uh, by as soon as early next week. Uh, let me go here. Echoes of Wisdom. Footage there. Um, right here. All right, it's uploading. Should be uh, about eight gigs, so it should be up in a few. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're live editing, yeah. Because, uh, you know, I want to get a YouTube video out there. Um, I, I'm not going to be the first uh, one out uh, to have a Echoes of Wisdom video, but um, 
I can definitely try to be the best. Or at least one that you guys will enjoy particularly. So. My name is also Cat. Am I allowed to accept these things? Yes. If your name is either Cat or Syme, and like literally, if you if that is your name in like just in real life too, uh, then you can also accept my thanks. Everyone else, sorry about that. You know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that's uh, something I uh, I want to do. So uh, we're gonna I'm gonna be live for about ten hours every single day or just you know as, as long as i can having fun not rushing anything just making sure that if i'm not going to be the first one to do an echoes of wisdom uh playthrough or video or anything but i can strive to be the best one that does it so it be very fun um cool oh and by the way last last plug here before we step in um uh last 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 bot here or sorry sorry last last thing uh, check out my uh, Point Crow playthroughs channel if you guys haven't already. If you guys really do like the uh, style of this, like, kind of Let's Play and stuff, I have a whole other dedicated channel right here on YouTube, uh, Point Crow Playthroughs. Um, you know, uh, if you want to see my... It's where we have super long edited Let's Play videos uh, for you guys to watch. Uh, we recently uploaded Twilight Princess one. There might be another one coming up soon. Uh, maybe Subnautica? Um, but, um... Yeah, we have uh, Wind Waker, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, Twilight Princess as well on Point Grove Playthrough. Um, so there you go. Uh, just in case you guys were uh, wanting more. Uh, so yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, you guys ready to go into the, the warp? Let's do it. Let's see what's in the rift. Filled Southern Forest. Oh, that's so cool. It's the exact opposite. Wait, so let me return real quick. Let me look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Where the 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 rift is, it still exists on the map, but as a separate area. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. So you see, you see you see how it's like it's flat here and then dips down here and dips down to the right. Look at this. We're going to go back in. It's just like the complete... It's, it, it's a puzzle piece missing. It's just in a different dimension. Yeah, you see? It dips down here and dips down here. It's flat here. That's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this is the still world. Everything you see floating around here was sucked in through a rift. It's all so weird. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have been end up in rifts, though. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. I still love how we're playing as Zelda. Second off, Distortion World for sure. I mean, look at look at look at this. Look at this. Whee! What happens if I do this? <laughs> okay, I was just curious. Yeah, the music in here rips too. Yeah, this gives me mad Distortion World vibes. Okay, I cannot put a bed here. Uh, only on flat planes, it looks like. I can't. Nice. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. All right. All right, so there's keys here. I want to try on my new pea hat. Go. Oh, this thing actually shreds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, look at the trees here too. Oh, they did such a great job with this. That's so creepy. Oh, it's the wife. When people get pulled in rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move anymore. And if they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. But that won't happen to you, Zelda. You're special. Thanks. My mom told me that all the time. I don't know what that really means, but... Uh, I can't save you, uh, but good luck. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, okay. So if I go across here, 
Dude, I feel like this pea hat is going to be actually like literally. Sh oh, but hi. This pea hat's actually literally going to shred though. Except, except for the flying enemies. I'll let you deal with it. There it is. I, I feel like that's actually one of the biggest pickups we've gotten. This thing is insane. The pea hat love of my life. So we literally just do this. We summon you and then call it a day. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it's literally, it's ripping through the enemies. <laughs> oh my God. We got a move. We got a literal like plant Beyblade here. Oh, we just made this game easy mode. Oh, let her rip. Okay, so we got another thing over here. We just summon this thing and we're good to go. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, so it has to. Why does it have to touch us first before? Oh, okay. Like there's some there's some implication here where it has to, it literally has to touch us like the 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 shadow glob thing before it spawns the enemies. Cool. I never said I was good at 2D platformers. That's a different streamer. Oh wait, that's left. That's Minister left. I can restore her back to normal if we mend this rip. Oh. So if we restore Minister left, uh, General right, and then also the, the uh, King, maybe we can, uh, you know, stop being in hiding. All right. So let me do this. Uh, beds. This, yeah, this totally reminds me of the distortion world. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but the, the distortion world, at least for me, was one of my the best parts of Pokemon Platinum. Like, bar none. Like, quite literally. It was just so cool to explore. I just wish they had it in, like, uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Giratina's here somewhere, man. All right, let's go, let's go save Minister Left. Whoa. Like going to this castle? Somewhere here in this, like, what seems like a dungeon. Oh, this is the dungeon. This is where you were trapped not too long ago. We're getting closer to my friends. They're farther in, but we're getting there. Oh. Southern ruins. Also, if this is where the, we were trapped before, then why is... Yeah, Southern Ruins. Okay, so this is a dungeon. Then why were the, the Tri people trapped there too? Maybe Hyrule Kingdom was experimenting with them? Mm? We'll see. You now warp here using the map. That's cool. All right, our first uh, quote-unquote dungeon of the game. Giant... Giant boulder. Okay. It's a pretty big rock, huh? Uh, you know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. You guide me with your rod. I can move things for you based on your movement. Try facing this boulder, then guide me by pressing X. Guide. Yep. We're bound together? Okay, now try moving. <laughs> try moving, get it? Okay, anyways. Um, also use ZL to target whatever you want to try to bind to. Okay. It's so cool! <laughs> I love the mechanics of this. This is so neat. Let me have the button. Yeah, big Ultra Hand vibes. Big Ultra Hand vibes. In a great way. I love how they implemented this in the 2D space. Here we go. Let me move this to the side. <laughs> and then actually, I could probably move this a little bit. Far. Wait, wait. So, so, so I'm going to release this here. I'm going to walk a little further back. Go over here. Push this forward. Right. And then now 
We actually have a way up as well if we wanted it. Cool. Okay, let's explore the bottom first. Can I go up here? I can. Look at that. Let me go. Um, but I also want this enemy. Seems like uh, with this enemy, we can probably have something cool, unique, fun, explorative. Uh, where we can... Did I beat you? I didn't beat you. I just, like, kind of killed you. I'm not going to lie. I'm so sorry for that. Um, where we can probably summon ropes and stuff. Oh, it's with me. Look at this. Nice. <laughs> that's not a... That's a rock. What do you mean? A strantula. That's funny. All right, so we got Strangela, which I'm assuming if we summon it, let's check it out. Uh, a spidery monster that spins thread to dangle from ceilings. The thread is strong, but quite flammable. Okay. Cool, cool. What if I summon you in here? <laughs> my pea hat, my love. It's so good. All right, here we go. So let's go... Let's try, yeah, so let's try the Strantula. Also, that's really cool. You can just, like, exp you can do it in, in the menu rather than just, like, having to do right and left and everything. That's pretty neat. I'm going to place you right here. Nice. Cool. All right. I love this so much. All right. Open. Oh, we got a dungeon map. Cool. I still love, you know, as much as I love Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, traditional, there's nothing like traditional dungeons in a Zelda game. They're always so fun. That's what I really loved about, like, for example, Tunic. We're going we're gonna to put that on the Point Grow Playthroughs channel sometime. Tunic, what a fun game, you know? Um, I actually, in a uh, non-spoiler way, Don't worry. I have uh, uh, shout outs to the uh, people in, in, in chat who know this game and everything. I have the full uh, the full dungeon manual. Like the full of Tunic in, in physical form. Oh, there it is. Uh, I love the game that much. Um, if you're curious about the game, it's uh it's one that uh, specifically is where you have the instruction manual, but all of them are, uh, well, you have to discover the game by discovering the instruction. It plops you down in a game world that you have no idea what it is, um, but you got to figure it out. Like you literally learn the controls through context clues. It's really cool. So check it out. Anyways, uh, you can see this dungeon layout in this area of the still world. Okay. You open up the dungeon map, uh, and then you can toggle it with uh, left or right. Okay. Is it translated? No, it's not translated. I like it untranslated. All right. So this is the dungeon map. Whoa. And you can zoom in, zoom out. Oh, that's cool. This is a new take on dungeon layouts uh, for first floor, second floor, which is up here. Interesting. Okay, so they went with a little bit more of a red string on board kind of vibe. I kind of like it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. They went kind of vertical. You know, um, um, you, you, you like you um, you guys ever see like Boss Keys? Uh, it's a great series. I forget exactly the creator that makes it, but it's really cool. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like they they took inspiration from that, and they're like, let's make an actual official version of it. Uh, let's go over here. And then if we want to switch maps. Yeah, so this is the map of the, the rift, that, rift that we're currently in. <coughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> choking on my own spit. Cheers. <clears throat> uh, my, that's my streamer right there. 
can barely do uh, regular human functioning things. Uh, all right, so if I want to get through here, honestly, I'll be real with you guys. I feel like most of the platforming in this game so far can just simply be solved with beds. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, look, we've done it. <laughs> we solved this with beds. And I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of with it. I think it's iconic. What's down here? Okay, we got one of you. Go, P-Hat. Okay. You know. Oh, you're on fire. So it's actually a really bad idea to have you out. Oh, and then we can go up here. Oh, the thing is, is like... I... Oh, I did the mistake. Chat, I fucked up. I did, I did the, um, I did the classic RPG thing of going to the main, you go down the main line and there's a sideline and then you go down the sideline, but that, that's actually the, the main line and you have to go back to the, that's right. So I, I accidentally went down the main path. That's my bad guys. This is the side path. Oh, cool. So can I... Wait. To do this part, do I have to... <laughs> yeah, it's like Ultra Hand. I love that. It's so cool. Or like Magnesis. Where you attach to it and then you move. Butter! Shine bright. Butter! Is the playthrough channel re-edited main channel videos or games that never made on the main channel or what? Uh, kind of both, but uh, mainly the latter. So mainly, uh, uh, like, I've never put a Tunic playthrough on my channel, but I love Tunic, and it's the best place to put it. My main channel is mainly for, like, cool Zelda stuff or Pokemon stuff or, um, or Elden Ring or challenges, fun things like that, right? But I was I felt always weird putting, like, a regular playthrough of a, a, just a classic vanilla game. Or IRL stuff, yeah. Um, I was just felt like weird, you know. I was just putting like that onto like my main channel, so I was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna make a new channel just of playthroughs of games. Because I also saw that like I don't know, this could just be me, but I saw I, I was I, I've always been like a big fan of let's plays and stuff. But recently, um, a lot of people that I watch at least uh, they'll play through a game and then not really like put as much care into it and be like, ah, eh, yeah, whatever, you know, chill. And like they'll either like try to get out like super fast by like rushing the game or like um, not really caring about like or just like reading chat getting spoiled or like not caring about like the theorizing and narratives of the game and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I want to like do what I what I love and I want to play through a game in such a way that is like a super satisfying thing for a regular viewer. So if you ever want to see like Wind Waker, for example, my goal is to make a Wind Waker video that is the conclusive and great enough where you can be like, hey person i want to recommend this game to you you don't have 60 hours to play the game but you still want to consume the media to be a fan of it hey here's this playthrough from point crow you know oh. so yeah that's kind of the goal of it so i hope you guys enjoy it uh that's like for example or something like uh shadow of the colossus where i'm like this game is such a beautiful like art form of thing that not many people are playing right nowadays i'd love to give it a little bit more love currently let me play it for you guys and then in such a way where you guys just kind of like love it you know in the way that you would want somebody to love it all right what's up here oh hello <laughs> this guy does not stand up against our p hat <laughs> 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 dude, dude, this thing is ridiculous. I'm telling you right now. All right, we got a uh, Dark Nut Echo. Nice. A, part, a martial monster in sturdy armor. It's slow and plotting, uh, but its armor makes it utterly in, uh, immune to blunt force attacks. That's great. Awesome. Also, immunities in this go kind of crazy. This is the... I'm naming... I. You know what? Wait, can I lift you up? You know what, guys? I'm naming him Beef. That's Beef. 
This is Beef. That's his name. And I will love him and cherish him forever. So we've seen not everything so far yet. Okay. There we go. The return of the king beef. We love him. Okay. Uh so a couple couple things here. <laughs> Let me scroll 15, you know. There it is. I'm just gonna light everything that I see because it seems like it might be important to light, you know? You feel me? It just feels like if you see in a Zelda game. How would I get across here? What destroys rocks? Uh, boulders destroy rocks. Other boulders destroy rocks. Um, I could probably put like a, a bed here. Yep. Bed solve all problems. <laughs> there it is. Then I can like probably throw you. Set these on fire. Dude, I feel like there's so many different ways to, like, actually solve these puzzles, too. God, it's so good. Diflo, thanks for the eight months. Appreciate it. Anthro, thanks for the uh, one year. Nice. We solved it. Some more items, too. In case. Yeah, so we just light all the, the torches here to get past. All right. Anyways, I hope you guys have subscribed to the uh, Poker Playthroughs channel. Uh, put a lot of love into it. Um, the, if you're curious, the playthrough of this video will be on my main channel, not the playthroughs channel. Um, it acts as like a kind of cool thing where it's like, Hey, I don't know. I feel like I've put the, the main channel, uh, Zelda playthroughs on there. You know, like here's the camera stuff. All right. We got a new warp. Uh, so it'll be on my main channel, but it'll advertise the, you know, the channel too. Okay. So there's a shield on this guy. Uh, on this statue. So I wonder if I, <clears throat> once again, use a bed. Don't worry. <clears throat> Don't worry. I. Oh, let me do it like this. So I, I, I may be better. Let me move one back and then do it. Uh, okay. Uh, then let me do this instead then. Uh, we have a Moblin with a spear. And then maybe I can, like, target it. Target, please. Hey, target. Can you throw a spear there? Okay. Useless, I'm telling you. rope you do this uh oh you know what i could probably do actually yeah i move it like this aha we just try Uh, cool. All right. And then you know what uh, else we use? Ah, uh, P-Hat. <laughs> beef! Go Beef! I don't care how inefficient it is. He, he, I, beef are killing it right now. Good job, Beef. All right, we got some Dark Nuts here. <laughs> they just destroy them. Like, actually? <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. And then we can just always just respawn it. Beef supremacy. Beef supremacy. Let's go beef. Let's go beef. Dude, actually OP. Actually insane. Uh, okay, so there's a giant thing. I wonder if I can... Alright, there's nothing over there. 
Uh, but that's probably for later. We'll see. Oh, I love beef so much. All right. This is where... Wait, this is where the... um. This is where we were captured initially at the beginning of the game. This is where we saw earlier uh, the, the throne room. And this is where Link is. Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? Yeah, this is the throne room. Hello! Okay! Woo! <laughs> oh, we just fight Link. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, go Bee Hat! Go Beef! Okay. So far, so far, so good. Oh, he's actually really good at this. Okay, nice. Okay, you, you can jump up too. Come on, Piat. Let's go, Beef! Oh my god, you were too good at this. I mean, we're also like... Really not trying... We're, 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 it's, it's... Okay. Can we distract him while Piat does damage, it looks like? Is kind of the vibe. Yeah, because I can't do damage. Nice. Honest, honestly, Beef is killing it right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's the intended way? Oh, okay, you're a little bit angrier. This is a phase two. Okay. Uh, the thing is, is, like, I don't know what the intended way to do this is. Um, and I don't I don't plan on doing it. Okay, you do a spin attack now. A charged spin attack. Nice. I mean, honestly, this is working. Beef is killing it right now. Like, I know the actual way to do this is probably by using, like, a Dark Nut because it uh, blocks once attacks and all this stuff. But, like, I just love the fact that Beef can solo. <laughs> like, there's a ton of different methods there. But just, like, having Beef do the job is great. Like, if I wanted to do it intended, I would have literally the thing that's immune to Link here. But, like, nah, man. What is that? Also, a sword. You look like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. It was weird. Like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind, which is the sword. <laughs> you got a mysterious sword. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had. The name Link is engraved on it. You feel powerful energy coming from the sword. Even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Ray sword. That's not it. Oopsies. Damn, we're turning into a cold blooded killer right now. My God. <laughs> I love it. Look at us go. Uh, you look strong, like that guy who wears green. Uh, I love how they just, like, avoid calling him Link at all times. It's so fun. Uh, raise the sword, and then once transformed, you can attack with Y. While transformed, defend with your shield by pressing and holding ZL. You can also jump higher than usual with this form with B. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so we can jump higher. Oh, cool! Then we can do Y here. Oh, what is this? With some energy, you feel a mysterious might growing within you. Oh, so in the top left... Okay. Uh, we only have so much time in sword fighter form, it looks like. Then we get more energy by uh, collecting those blue things. Okay. Yeah. While in sword fighter form, the energy gauge in the upper left corner of the screen will decrease. You'll automatically exit sword fighter form after the energy gauge is depleted. You can also exit it manually. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I need to collect more of these uh, if I want to get uh, sword fighter form and for longer. Cool. So it's not like a permanent thing. So it doesn't like discourage you from using echoes or anything. So if I do this, I go to sword fighter. <laughs> cool. I love that. And then I go, I want to go up here. 
So I don't use all of it. All right, let me go uh, down. All right, so what's our way here? Wait, can I use try in... Can. I can use try in... Actually, what if I... I can use try in, a, in such a way that I can do it in 2D platform. There's so many cool mechanics here. You know, uh, you know what? This game feels so much like it was made with just like so much love in the world for just like all Zelda games. I love it. Like it, it feels like this was made with love. Of like, oh, what if we could do this? What if we could do that? You know. Trampoline. Wait, what if we do sword fighter form trampoline? Okay, right, we don't actually actively jump higher with trampoline sword fighter form. Okay. Just good, good to know. Good, good to know. You know. Oh, and then I bet if we were in Sword Fighter, then we can actually jump off this. Okay, so let me go back. Okay. I was going to finish the game the day it came out. No, 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 probably not. This is like the first dungeon. Uh, First dungeon about two and a half hours in. Not too much. But I, I will say this. I'm having a lot of fun. I'll be playing this for another like seven hours on stream. So if you guys are here, hey, you guys are here. Uh, we're in it. Get, grab, grab a seat. You know, grab a seat. Get some, uh, get some snacks. It's gonna be a fun ride. Give me this. Give me this. What, what, give me this. This, wait, please. You're right. Thank you. Okay. All right, and we have basically full. That's all we need. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like someone in chat said uh, recently, this game really Hatsune's Mamiku. You know, if you uh, if you catch my trick. All right here we go. So. I still can't. Okay. So then, if I wanted to actually get up here. This is the, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, I, I was like trying to build up things to like go higher and stuff. So just do that. Yeah, okay, cool. I got it. I just thought I could solve it with that, guys. A heart pin. This hairpin uh, has a distinctive heart design. It makes hearts appear a little more often. Cool. You can wear uh, different items. It's equipment. Cool. So if we wear this, hearts appear more often. Uh, so where can I find this? Uh, here, equipment. Equip. Oh, it's on us. Look at it. It's right there. Dress to impress Zelda edition. And then we go over here, put that up there, and then release. We're all good to go. Pose time. Here's my pose. You can zoom. Yeah, you can always zoom on 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 um uh, on the switch. Uh, if you double tap uh the home button, you can do it with any game. I think you can even do it on the home screen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, we got another warp. Oh, that wasn't even the, that was a mini boss. Oh, fighting against Link was the mini boss. There's so much more. 
What am I doing here? What am I doing? All right, there's a key over here, which we don't have a lock to. Okay. Zooming in the stream to save time on editing, genius. You know me. Oh, we have a boss here, or we have a we have a big enemy. All right, let's go to most used, and then we go to P hat. All right, go beef. <laughs> At this point, like, do we use ever any other echo ever? All right, the Deku Baba echo. Um, aggressive and immobile, this plant reaches for anything that gets near. It's vulnerable to having its head pulled. Okay, cool. All right, so we go sword fighter form here, and then we unlock this here. Uh, exit sword fighter, and then we have P hat attack you. No beef. Thanks, beef. Appreciate you. Killing it like always. At this point, it's a beef only challenge run. We're gonna just go. Um, all right. Oh, there's another one up here. So if I do this, and then can I... B hat, you, you go up there. It can... I love how it ascends too. <laughs> so I don't actually have to get up there. <laughs> God, it's so good. Just favorite. Thanks for the tier three for 22 months. Thanks so much for the resub. Takari Yusha, thanks for the 23 months as well. Tier three. Like... That's so funny. Uh, all right. Oh, I see what we probably have to do here. Okay, so we uh, connect this. We go up here. Bring it over this way. And then we take the uh, statue, put it over the button. Awesome. Nice. Cool puzzle. Ah, uh, 50 rupees. Whoa, he's good at puzzles. No way. We're, we're swimming through this. Can I? I doubt it, but can I summon P-Hat and then... Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> oh, my dear God. This game became too easy with this enemy. Oh, my dear God. Because normally, normally, right? Like, it's like, okay, I'm assuming you're probably going to have to use some sort of like keys or like throw a thing or whatever. You just, just, you just use beef and you're good, man. That thing is way too powerful. Uh, what, hey, is it really a point crow playthrough or stream if we don't just break the game immediately? Okay, so how do we do this? Um, we have a couple things here. Oh, I mean, this one's pretty easy actually. Let's just put this on here, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, there's another thing up there. Uh, but we probably solve it by going down this way. Okay. Why are people chanting beef? Because this, um, this, this P hat just reminds, it's just, its name is beef. Its name is beef. And, uh, this beef actually is carrying the entire run. Oh yeah, Zelda. Uh, there's one more thing you can do when using bind. After binding yourself to something with X, try holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you are bound to. Okay. So let's do. Um, I can X up, okay, and then R to follow. Oh, so it reverses where uh, I actually do this with. Okay. So so the it reverses control. So I control this now, right? Versus if I did this, jump up and then R. It'll it'll like quote unquote ultra hand me, you know. Cool. That's cool. Now you stay over here. Yep. Alright, we're gonna wait a little bit here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're all good. Yeah, if you guys are liking the stream uh, and this playthrough, feel free to follow the stream on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. You know, make big number go bigger. Why not? If you want to see a big number go bigger, then, then you can do that. You know? That's it. 
Fun vibe. Okay, so what's next here? All right, so we probably go across here and then we wait for... Oh, geez. I need to follow that. We go over this way. Is it going to reach? Please, 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 please. <gasps> just, just, just close enough. We're crazy. Awesome. Yeah, you know what they say. Bigger number, better person, right? Uh, okay. So there's a, there's a little secret down there. Let me go grab it. Okay. back okay. okay so we let me go over here and then follow is that enough please are you kidding me imagine oh no no I'm failing. I'm failing. Okay. I'm failing this uh, really badly. It's just like upper. Yeah, I just have to send it once. All right, here we go. Then uh, hold R. Nice, twenty rupees. Uh, okay. Oh, please. That's no, fine. I can just do this. How's the game so far? I'm enjoying the hell out of this. It's so creative. It's so fun. I'm really interested in the story. And the mechanics of it are just beautiful. All right, so we need to get uh, boss key here. Uh, so in order to get the boss key, what I'm assuming I probably have to do, I can go, I can go from a far distance, maybe. Uh, bring it up the slope here, right, and then back this way. I can jump with it. Yeah. So I bring up the slope. And then jump on it and then place it here. What? My brother and bear, what? There it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh. All right, cool. Cool solution, though. You have to, you can jump, you have to jump with it to give it extra height. It's cool. Oh, you got the big key. Now you can open the big door. Cool. It's the boss key. Cool solution though, but uh, uh, hilarious that it didn't let me do it. <laughs> hilarious that I was like, ah, actually, you know what? Maybe that's not the solution. I used the bed approach. I used a box for that one. I actually, the funny thing is that like, I have no idea how you would solve this otherwise. That's really cool. Very fun. All right. Here we go. First boss of the game. What's behind the southern ruins? Nobody's here? I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Hello? <laughs> Seismic Dallas! Ah, oh, I love it! Uh... My friends, they're in that creature. They're powering the creature. We've got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. All right, there's only one way to do this, guys. And you know how it is. Go, P-Hat! Okay, P-Hat seems to not be able to... Okay. <gasps> P-Hat! No, Beef! Can it, can it even do, it can do damage? <laughs> Wait, it's actually doing damage. <laughs> that's, 
That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah! Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, we probably have to use Sword Fighter form for this, I'm assuming. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think we do, actually. We don't have to use Sword Fighter form at all. I think we just literally... Okay, so P-Hat... Okay. So, so Beef needs to now attack... I mean, pro okay. Now, I'm assuming uh, one of those things we can probably... Oh, we can go up here, jump on him, and then use the Sword Fighter form if we want to. Yeah, or we can uh, we can um, just uh, have beef solo it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Alright, I guess that didn't go through the entire like uh thing here. As in like we didn't we didn't get to correctly phase this. This is so fun. I can't believe like this one. Dude, I, I swear to God, I'm about to create a BuzzFeed article. This this one Echo is so OP in Echoes of Wisdom, you'll never believe what it does next. MVP, most valuable plant. You're so right. All right, so phase three now. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's in its head. Okay, I don't know if Beef can do this one, guys. I'll, I'll be real with you. I'll try. I'll, 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 I'll try to give Beef a, a home here, but I don't know if Beef can do it. It can. <laughs> but only when it's... Um, it looks like Beef can only do it when he's done the, uh, the, the the hand attack like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm just doing this so it's a little bit faster, you know? All right, what's, let, let's do the intended mechanic here, which I'm assuming is sword fighter form, and then... No? I actually... What, what is the... What is the... Like, <laughs> like actually? <laughs> That's a great question. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, guys. Well, <laughs> all right. Yeah, what, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking the actual quote unquote intended solution is, right? So we do this, and then we, uh, yeah, bind it with this, and then we, oh. Wait, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, we can beat it with beef if we want to. Well, let me find the actual solution. Yeah, we pull it out like this. I'm assuming. Or not? I'm just curious. I like. I actually want to know the actual solution. All right, we have to be faster with it, I guess. So we just gotta nice okay so that is like the the solution cool is that so you take it out by uh like ultra handing him basically right <laughs> or you just use b that's cool that's cool that's cool Oh, 
Come back here, beef. Really? Okay. <laughs> it's so fun. This man's got, yeah, hella HP. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not anymore. Let's go, Beef! That's my plant right there! And we got a full heart. Dude, Echoes of Wisdom, more like Beyblade. Oh, what the? There's so many more tries. Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. But now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our Echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. So something bound them together. Which stop them from repairing said rifts. But what? That's something we have to find out. Also, really cool boss fight now that we think about it, you know? Wow. And now we have access. Oh, that's so cool. Because now we have access to this part of the game. Oh, almost forgot that tree right there. <laughs> Imagine they're like, oh, I just forgot to give you like half your arm. Whoopsies. Uh, my friend shared some of their power with me. Level two. Whoa. Wait. Okay, if we get two more of them, we can have two beefs. This is a really good development. I feel like I can do even more now. Yeah, we got another uh, force. A try force. <laughs> do you, you guys, do you get it? Do you get it? It's it's because in Zelda, there's, there's a try... Uh, sorry, I was going to make another joke, but I didn't want to try and force it. <laughs> Do you get it? Um, don't minus four. <laughs> the minus four because it's two minus twos and one is crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Also, they told me something while we were fixing the rift. Uh, they said that big rock monsters showed up and captured them. They weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. Oh, okay. So they, yeah. So they weren't like trapped specifically and everything. So instead of being like, okay, instead of like this evil entity, whatever it is, going across Hyrule and then like capturing all these like tri people, right? Um, tri forces or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, what happened is they're causing the rifts and then once the tries came to fix the rift they captured them there that's it's smart and one other thing there are crystals that show up when we fix rifts they're neat so i'll give them to you zelda whoa uh five unusual crystals from try i'm all finished up here so we can head out now if you're ready unusual crystals okay interesting uh i think we can leave from that spot Uh, okay. Nice. New heart. Yeah, we got Bismuth. Uh, the unusual crystal. It's really cool. Uh, I used to make Bismuth crystals in my free time. Literally, like, during a summer. Um, yeah, it does look like Bismuth crystals, by the way. Uh, it's really cool because Bismuth crystals uh, has a very, like, a cubicle structure. So if you uh, cool it very slowly, like Bismuth metal, um, it'll create um, these really cool... Um, uh, these really cool uh, crystals, uh, crystalline structures, right? The color that you see here uh, is actually because of the way that it oxidizes. Um, so, yeah, I made rocks for a summer for fun, okay? Yeah, sue me. It was fun. It was really cool. Yeah, I took over my mom's uh, uh, grill and everything because it had... Because uh, business 
Uh, bismuth has a very, uh, a very bismuth has a very low melting temperature of 550 degrees Fahrenheit, and so you can do it with a grill outside. Um, so what I would do is I would uh, take a, a pot, put bismuth metal into it, and then uh, put the um, put it into the grill, heat it up for 550 degrees Fahrenheit until it melted. And then what I would slowly do over the course of the next several hours is I would lower the temperature very, very slowly to cool it very slowly. So then crystals would form at the top uh, and then uh, slowly melt and create that cubicle form. I'll, I'll stream it one day for you guys. It'd be really cool. Anyways, there's some nerd stuff for you. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Tri. Uh, I'm a chem I did chemistry for a living before this. Uh, we can travel between the still world and your world here. Uh, do you want to return to your world now? Yes. Uh, all right, let's go. Sorry, really quick. There's a guy in my chat called Nerd Shit, which is really funny. Or, wait, sorry. I, I don't mean to assume your gender here. Um, <laughs> your name is literally Nerd Shit. I love that. Uh, the rift that was here is gone now. Which means you can reach the place you were trying to go earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to say. Oh, sorry. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rips. We'll be able to save your father. Yeah. Uh, you there. A moment of your time. Oh, it's Minister Left. We saved her. Huh? I'm Left, Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Oh, I love how she introduces herself because she doesn't recognize Zelda. First off, you need glasses, clearly, because obviously that's Zelda. But second off, cool little, uh, uh, little thing about it. Never mind. Okay. Wow, Princess Zelda? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Puts the cloak back on. Who are you? Uh, so he failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here uh, facing what's danger. <laughs> it's like, where'd Zelda go? <laughs> I must confess, I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Try accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Mr. Left can see Try. Yeah. Uh, who could miss you? You're floating right there. Aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. So Lady Impa couldn't see you. How odd. Whoa. Okay, maybe it's because you have to be... Maybe you have to be trapped with the void? I don't know. That's interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, oddities aside, I'm worried that he, about his majesty and the general. We'll need to make a plan. There's so much to consider. But for now, let's head out to the uh, location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? Sure. Uh, if I recall correctly. Uh, yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brothers live. Make sure... Sorry. Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you there. Hi. I'll lead the way. Follow me. So I think it's really funny to read the symbols. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, now instead of following you, we can go up. Okay, fine. I'll follow you. I'm bad. Jeez. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So Impa sent us over to her brother for safekeeping. Can I beat you? I can. Oh, look at this. You can't beat me in a foot rate. I got here first. Yeah, right in here, princess. Ah, uh, hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... Oh, who's that? I'm a very busy man. <laughs> no time for chatter. Now, get! Uh, I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, we will only be a moment. This is Impa's brother, Luberry. No, no, I'm about to leave. Come back later. You can just hear us out. I said no! Uh, I've got to go save Link. Hmm? Hang on here. Uh, that's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well. What? All right, tell me everything. Tell me about this rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Well, you see here, you know, uh, while I was out, I was... Okay, that was a little bit faster than that. Okay, I tried my best. Uh, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. 
We finally got through to him. <laughs> He's a very funny character. Uh, all right. This has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? <laughs> you can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you guys can as well? Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, so you're telling me we're the only ones who can see you. That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating, uh, such a fascinating and, might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. But back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. That's probably it. Yeah, I was right. Seems like the rifts change people. Yeah, so if you uh, end up in the rifts, you can see the tri people. Interesting. Okay. Guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lewberry. Uh, I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you, Link. Uh... Sorry, and the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. So Lewberry, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big, bad, nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rips. Yeah, so it's been happening for some time now. For ages now, they... I need to stop theorizing while the text box are going because they just answer it immediately. Very funny. For ages now, rips have appeared, and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanished without a trace, after which townsfolk would say they've been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing. I've been helping out as I've been able to, uh, which is why I've made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. Uh, the sword of might Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Uh, plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. Okay, so Ganon, the, the, the pig that we know as Ganon, came out of the rift. Okay, so he's not just like some character in Hyrule that exists that opens these rifts. He's spawned from them. Interesting. I got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Mm. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. And yet the rifts, uh, the rifts keep coming. Mm. Clearly we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. Uh, I may have something useful. Uh, when I was taken out by the rift in Hyrule Castle, uh, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in the rift in the forest. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Because, like, we found the rift in the forest, but somehow we were in... Like, because cause this was, like, the castle that we found Zelda in because the blue guy, like, led us there. Like... We found Minister Left there, but Minister Left disappeared in Hyrule Castle. So how did I end up over there? There's two different castles here, you know? Uh, rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far-off rifts. So it seems like we're probably going to... What what's most likely is... I'm going to guess here, there's four dungeons, right? Where we find Minister Left, uh, General Right, the king, and Link. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey, Zelda. Uh, I'm going to fly up high to look for some of the other big rifts. Traditionally, there's about four uh, dungeons in Zelda. Okay. That was fast. Uh, I think I found some. All right. There's no way... Uh, there's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Uh, two others. Okay. Uh, one by the Gerudo spot, looks like. And then one by... I'm not too sure where that is. Uh, but upper right. Cool. Uh, if we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your fathers and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Cool. Uh, Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. Uh, that's up to our side minister. I, sh I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. So far, we have... that's what we've done. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we have been able to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You made a salient point, Mr. Lewberry. Uh, Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people you've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play as support for the princess. Hi. Yeah. Hey, everyone needs a pocket mercy, you know? Uh, of course, investigations are my specialty. A princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul Waters. Jabul Waters. Okay, so the Zora's you know, kind of area here. Okay. 
uh, please let me know if you require further information. All right, princess. I leave it to you to find the king, general right, and link. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. That sword you've got there, pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it, though. So talk to me later if you're interested. That's probably what the unusual material is that we got from the dungeon in the first place. Yeah. Uh, the mysterious rifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we if we open our inventory here, yeah, that's probably what the unusual crystals can do. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, we have uncovered uh, sort of a little bit more of what we need to do here, right? Searching for everyone. Uh, Minister Left was missing, but we found Minister Left. We also have General Right, the King, and Link to look for. Now we've been instructed here uh, that there's two different places that we probably have to go to in order to sort of find the people that we're looking for in order to stop the rifts and save everyone, right? Uh, I mean, literally searching for everyone is the uh, sort of goal here, right? And uh, we've been set out to task to find uh, and uh, sort of uh, mend these rifts, uh, the one in up the right, upper right and the one in the upper left or bottom left, sorry. Uh, the one in the desert, uh, the Gerudo Desert and Jabul Waters. Um, and that's what we're currently doing. Uh, trying to mend all the rifts and save everybody. Uh, and then also in a little bit of some curiosities, uh, officially find out why some people can see try and when some people can't. We already think, I'm pretty sure this is probably the answer, that it's because if you are trapped in the rifts that you can actually see the try people. Um, that's probably what we found. But the other thing is what is causing these rifts to open? What trapped them and who that blue guy really is? Um, he came out of the rifts. Now he might be the king of the rifts and everything, Ganon and all that stuff. But like, you know, we'll have to see what it is. Cool. So that's a general summary of what we're doing right now. Uh, you want to chat about the sword? Yeah, because we have unusual material that we got from the um, uh, dungeon. Uh, for a while, I've been researching a type of crystal that's sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I discovered that's highly effective against rift monsters. And it appears you have some of that blue crystal with you. We got it. I ended up calling it the might crystal. It's what I forged the sword of might from, in, in fact. Uh, during my investigations into the rifts, I met Link, who's from Southern Village. I made the sword for him, and the rest is history. Link made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I've continued forging things with my crystals. See that machine in the corner? I designed it to enhance the sword. Ah, I'm looking for that sword. It seems like it's lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. Uh, you should give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some my crystals. Uh, cool. Uh, so I have some right now. Uh, I can enhance my energy or my sword. Uh, let's do energy. Let's see what that does. I'll take five mic crystals. Let's do it. Uh, leave it to me. So I'm assuming the energy is the duration that we are in sword form. And then the uh, sword enhancement is probably the damage that we do to enemies. Yeah, energy gauge is now level two. Awesome. A little bit longer. More satisfying, as they say. Uh, what do you want to enhance? Uh, okay, so I don't actually have any more crystals, um, but that's great. All right, and then what do you know? I'll be helping Mr. Lubeberry investigate the rifts so we can better support you. Princess, how can I help? Um, tell me about the rifts. There's large rifts in Jabu Waters, Grudu Desert. Okay, cool. All right, and then you can share things about the area if you want. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's learn a little bit. Sure. Uh, let's share about Gerudo Desert. Gerudo Desert is west of us. It's harsh land with high temperatures and sandstorms. Skilled warriors known as the Gerudo live in a town far in the desert. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, they're all women, not a man among them. They're often on patrol near the desert entrance, so you may want to talk to them yeah. now. I'm happy to share anything else. Okay. Uh, Jabu Waters is home to the Zora. Okay, cool. So we're going to the Gerudo with the Gerudo women and then the Zora, the remarkable swimmers. The residents are divided into the Sea Zora and the River Zora. On the coast, soon after entering Jabu Waters, there is a small Hylian fishing village. I'm sure that the villagers there will have interesting morsels to share with you about the local yeah. area. Happy to share anything else. All right, cool. Uh... What's down here? Whoa! Bombs. Cool. Uh, oh, look at the little cow. The little... Oh, look at this. Look at the little moo moo cow. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Uh, and then some of these, like, look, look at the references, right? So this is the uh, Sheikah eye that you shoot with arrows, um, I, you know, all across Zelda games. But this one is specifically designed as that of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. That's really neat. 
Um, let's see what else do we got here. We got steamed buns. Uh, whoopsies. Uh, we have uh, the bombs here, and then also swords and bows uh, that Link was using. That's really cool. All right, let's check this. Blueberry's diary. Uh, all right, let's. Hey, what's an invasion of privacy if not just for a lore dump, you know, when you think about it? Um, all right, entry level one. The crystal I unearthed at the rift site, what I'm now calling a mite crystal, has a strange power. The monsters that sprang from the rift seem to be repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights of research, I've developed a technology that can refine the crystals. From there, I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals as well enhance that weapon. Uh, now, uh, I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. Folks in Southern Village will tell me that Link was among a group of kids who were stolen away. Oh. These kids made it back somehow, though. Remarkable. So Link was actually stolen away by a rift initially and then made it back. All of the kids who were taken by rifts have lost something. For Link, he lost the ability to speak. Whoa. Canon lore for why Link can't speak. Despite all he's been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. Then it hit me. This young man would be the best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him in his efforts. Tomorrow, I'll visit Southern Village again. Whoa. The Sword of Might I entrusted to Link packs a wall up against those rift monsters, as I hoped. But it doesn't seem to be enough for the blue monster, who we believe is creating the rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more might crystals. So we've learned two important, incredibly important canonical things about Link during this game. One, it's it's cool. He's actually mute in this game, and it's because when you are spirited away, you know, perhaps, uh, you always lose something, and he lost his ability to speak. But then also he smells, according to Zelda. <laughs> Like a, <laughs> like a musty dresser. Uh, Link, stopped on, uh, Link stopped by on his way home from his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings come through as clear as day. I decided to make him a new weapon. I must do what I can to continue help to Link. Link stopped by. He's off to defeat that blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The Sword of Might has been forged as best as I am able to. I gave him some other weapons too. Yet I cannot help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link. I love how they did that of, like, they have... You can just keep reading all the pages instead of, instead of like, kicking you back to the menu. Wow, that's really cool to learn. I love that. Yeah, apparently he lost his ability to speak and the shower. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've already been up here, and now we can go to the left. Oh, uh, and then we get this little warp thing. I love that. Uh, I wonder if we can uh, talk to the husband and see about his wife. What the? Is that us? Wanted Princess Zelda. If sighted, send word to the King of Hyrule. <laughs> oh my God, that picture is beautiful. No what? No wonder they don't know what we look like. They did us dirty. You know what? Here's a small reference for you guys. This is what Sanji looks like uh, during one of his wanted posters um, uh, in uh, 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 Post Water 7. That's so funny. Is it Post Water 7? Or no, no, no. It's, um, ah, whatever. Anyways, it's beautiful. God. Hey, guys, look, 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 look. Hardly a difference, right? You know? <laughs> you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Or girl she tells you not to worry about. Alright, I wanna I wanna talk to the guy. Did you get your wife back? Is he in here? He is. I think this is him, right? Hello? Yeah. You believe it? My wife is back home safe and sound. I didn't know what to do when I saw her swept up in that rift. 
So anyway, it's that cloak of yours. It's just like Link's. Is that what's in style right now? Yay. Okay, and is the wife in here? Wife! Uh, oh, wait, sorry. It's, that's Link's house. I also choose that guy's wife. That's uh, not you, right? We already oh. talked to you? Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh, it's probably in here. Uh, you have a quest for me? Hello there, traveler. Mind if I bend your ear? Things have been a mess lately with the rifts and monsters and whatnot. I've got my wife worried sick. Another wife. Wow, there's two of them. I was thinking I'd cheer her up by bringing home something rare. So I go on a little walk, and what do I find? A giant plant that fly! He found beef! Uh, but once you know, near those caves deep in the forest, I lose sight of the thing. I'm half convinced I imagined it. I have no idea if I'll ever see that plant again. Ah-ha! Uh... I, I already I already found it. Here it is. It's right there. Uh, I guess we already com completed it. Hello. I've been told my husband kept calling to me when I was trapped in the rift. Wife! If he'd been the one to get stuck, I'd been too scared to approach it. That's made me fall in love with him all over again. I'd be embarrassed to tell him that. That's cute. Uh, so I guess we already com 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 completed it. Um... Here, the giant plant's right here. Oh, it just didn't move close enough to him. Okay. No. What? That's it. That's the plant I saw. Oh. It took me, uh, you took the time to go find it for me. Well, thanks, traveler. I should go grab my wife. She'll want to take a look at the, huh? No. That thing's not a plant at all. It's a monster. No. Help. Oh. Whew. Really had no idea what I was dealing with. I'm sorry you went out of your way to bring it to me. That's so mean. That's not a monster. That's my friend. Well, there's no way that would have cheered up my wife. Honey, you went to all the trouble just to make me feel better? Aww. Uh, Otheria. Uh, is... Otheria, yeah. Did you hear all that? Well, your voice does carry. You know, there was no need to do that for all my sake. I'm perfectly happy as long as I have my darling husband with me. Aw, shucks. You've always been good at making me blush. Once things settle down, Otheria, what do you say the two of us do some traveling? <laughs> that sounds nice. Together, tonight, let's think of a place to go. You got it. Thanks for bringing me what I asked for. Here's something for you. Whoa! Okay, so you get mite crystals for not only completing the dungeons, but looks like you get them from side quests as well. That's really cool! You can use it for enhancements at Blueberry's home. Uh, Honey, what about the seaside village? I hear Lake Hylia is lovely too. Uh, Dear, there's no need to decide now. We've got all the time in the world to mull it over. Aw, that's so cute. Not to put a timer on that, but that gray hair says otherwise. Anyways. Um, uh, <clears throat> all right. We got it. Cool side quest. Me and who? Me and who? All right, let's keep going. Onwards! Onwards and upwards. All right, so we, it seems like we probably have a couple different things to go to, right? So we have a couple different choices. So we can either probably see if we can head upper right to uh, uh, Jabu Waters with the Zora, or we can go bottom left to the Gerudo. Um, and you know what, chat? I'll let you guys choose. Do we attempt to go uh, uh, upper right, or do we go bottom left? Up to you guys. Wow, okay. It looks like a lot of you guys are saying Gerudo. I don't think I need to pull it, but uh it looks it looks like a lot of you guys are saying Gerudo. Oh look, there's a um Octorok. I wonder if uh, we can get an Octorok. Uh, oh, looks like we can. Let's do it. That's what I love uh, about this so far is that you see something and you're like, oh, I can get that. You got the Octorok Echo. Uh, I found in and around water, this octopus-like creature spits small rocks at its enemies with impressive brain. Cool. Oh, right. And then I want to get this item down here. And surface with beef. Dude, beef is just killing things without 
it, he's, it's just doing it. <laughs> like, beef. I'll just send out beef. All right, go. Uh, all right, so I want to get up here. So, well, the question is, how do we get up here, right? Um, and I think if we want to correctly do this... Um, dude, beef is killing it right now. Literally. Okay. Yeah, when they said to beat the game, I don't think they meant beef the game, you know? All right, so let me go... What's our best way to get height here? I, w I wonder how the spiders work in 3D. Not really too much. Okay. Oh, I just killed him. Whoopsies. Um, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's let's maybe put like a trampoline. Wait, I wonder if we do tramp trampoline onto a decorative shrub. Oh, whoopsies. Did you get the chance? Eh, didn't need one. Okay. So you can't onto a decorative shrub, but you can onto a wooden box, okay? Which means that then I can put a wooden box here. Nice, and then we got it. What is this? Rock salt, cool. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love rock salt. You know, just pink rock salt or just salt in general. What I'll do like a lot of the times, I'll just like, like have like large chunks of salt and just kind of eat them. It's just really good. Like, what can I say, you know? Like, I'll just, like, eat salt because it's, like, just good. Tastes great. No getting past that. Oh, hello? Uh, is the shortcut back to the ranch? Who's the prankster that blocked it all up? The ranch. Hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. Might consider taking another route, but it feels like admitting defeat. Uh, the block road. Okay, well, this seems, like, pretty easy um, to get past, like, honestly. Um, it, it's just a more vertical stuff, you know? I mean, we can probably, like, in a, in a very fun way, we probably just do this, you know? Uh, set you on fire. Okay. And then also set this thing on fire. Nice, got it. And then what breaks rocks? Um, it was, was it Octa rocks? I mean, r regular rocks break rocks, but... I mean, honestly, you're probably just, like, trampling over this. Not gonna lie. Yeah, so we do this. We set trampoline like right here. Uh, and then we're good. Haha! Look at us go. <laughs> it's so fun! It's so fun to figure out stuff like that. It's like a neat little cool small puzzle. It's a top-down, like 2D side scroller kind of open world thing. But then it also in like a really awesome, cool way, it's like it's like a 3D puzzle. Ah, oh, it's so I love how they did this. You can now warp here using the map. Oh, and you know what? You can also see where your last... Uh... Oh, the blocked road. Oh, I guess I have to like... I went over the road, but like I didn't clear the road. So uh, I didn't get the activation of the side quest, it looks like. So what can destroy a boulder pretty easily here? Um, a Deku Baba, maybe? You're useless. Uh, I don't need bombs or anything. Um... Anything that can explode it. Can I like... Oh, I can just move it like this. Okay. Can I... Oh, I, I, I messed this up. I messed this up. I messed this up. I messed this up. There we go. Cool. All right. I did it. Uh, not sure how much longer I can wait here. It, my brother and bear, there's a path moving forward. It's clear! And with the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. Oh, look at us go. Uh, oh, we got rupees. Dude, should I not call it? It's called bind, right? Not ultrans. It's just like, it just, it, it, in my head, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, you know, it's what it is. Money! The way he spun, like this, you know? Whoa, cool. All right, so we're aiming to go down and to the left over here. Uh, wow, I didn't really discover much over here. Wow, there's so much to discover. Oh my God, I have collector's anxiety. Let me go. Uh, there's a ranch over here somewhere. Oh my God, there's an encampment. Oh, we're going to be playing this for a hot second, aren't we? Aren't we gamers?
Oh, uh, Canvas, thanks for the 41 months. Appreciate it. All right, let's just beat this encampment real quick. Oh, is this a new one? Oh, it's a new guy, right? Because he has a sword. Moblin with sword is different than Moblin with spear. Cool. All right, cool. Uh, and I want you to get that guy up there. Can. Nice. <laughs> it's too good. It's simply too. He's running away. He's scared. <laughs> uh, one second, chat. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I got a call from uh, someone being like, ah, oh, you know, healthcare, is this uh, patient blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, nope, that's not my name. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems like a... the fact that you got the wrong number is crazy <laughs> for like, like, they seem to not be giving great news. So I hope, I hope they're having a good day, you know? Uh, anyways. Go, Beef. Beat that guy. Beef, I need your help. Oh, Beef! He's getting hard countered. There we go. We got it. All right, nice. Whoa, we got some fresh milk. Cool. Uh, we haven't figured out exactly how to combine things yet or cook, but uh, one of these days we will. All right. Over here. Ooh, big forest. Big forest. Big forest area. It was blocking a way to... Oh! Oh, beef versus beef! Excuse me? Haha! -ha! Beef versus beef! All right, apparently the, the that beef is better than my beef. Never mind. My beef's better. Uh, all right, so then we just need this uh, piece of heart. Cool. Okay. Uh, nice. That's a little cool, like, area. Uh, we should be, quote, unquote, should be going this way. But there's, like, a ranch, it looks like, over here. Let's, let's check out. The, all right. Before we go get this rift over here, which seems like, you know, the place that we probably should go. Uh, I want to explore just a little bit here. Uh, the guy uh, at this outer pass over here mentioned that this is blocking the way to the ranch. And it seems like the ranch is over here. So while we're here, we might as well go to do it, you know, and we'll have fun. Uh, and that's kind of like, it seems like this is the beauty of this game where it's like, honestly, Hell, this oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Hello? Oh, that's not beef. That's a trampoline. Go beef. Can I get this bird? It seems like a better keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, go on, go on. These all looks cute as heck. Oh, it's awesome. It's 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 a fun game too. Yeah, I can! Okay, what is this? It's a uh, gooey. Uh, soaring impeccably above high rules field. The swing monster dives to attack prey with its sharp beak. It's great. It's awesome. That's a that's a really great pickup. Uh, cool. All right, what else is over here? Uh, the ranch is right here. It looks like. It's guac. Yeah. Uh, Hyrule Ranch ahead. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a really cool, like, I, I really like this so far because it seems like a really awesome way to do, like, a 2D top-down kind of view, but also open world, but also having the dungeons. It's still, I don't, I don't, it doesn't look like me. I, I you know, it doesn't look like me. Okay. 
Uh, Debish, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Uh, you can warp here using the map. Uh, here's a here's a great thing, uh, real quick. Uh, chat, uh, if you guys want to watch uh, Echoes of Wisdom and you're enjoying it, follow it and all this stuff, uh, do me a favor. Uh, I, YouTube doesn't have this. I'm sorry, YouTube chat. I apologize. But Twitch, you do. Um, and YouTube, you can check if you want. If you want to watch this playthrough ad-free uh, while we're doing this, and you're like, oh, whoa, cool big moment. I missed it because of an ad. Um then uh, what you can do is you can actually subscribe on my Twitch channel for free uh, with Twitch Prime. All you need to do is press the subscribe button and then go to a little tab that says uh, elevate your subscription. And that elevate subscription, scroll all the way down, says subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. Uh, check to see if you have it available because uh, you have to manually renew it every single month. Um, just giving you guys a little bit of an FYI. It gets you ad-free viewing, emotes you can use anywhere on Twitch, and then also a little badge by your name saying how long you've been subscribed for. Uh, so I know, for example, that Eond uh, Eondar uh, has been subscribed for 17 months uh, because of the badge by their name now, you know? Um, so just do me a favor. Go check to see if you have it available. It gives a little kickback to me. It's free. Um, and if you don't have it available after going to the Elevate Your Subscription and scrolling all the way down, um, then... Uh, all you need to do is connect your Amazon Prime to uh, Twitch. Uh, and that's uh, the best way you can do it. So, uh, stay like, uh, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. I just implore that you do uh, take this time um, uh, real quick to uh, do it. Uh, just because, uh, well, hell, it's a kickback to the stream. You get a better uh, watch time experience, and it is free. Starlight Serpent, thanks for the Prime Gaming. And Farron, thanks so much for the Prime Gaming as well. Uh, it's very appreciated. Thank you, guys. Uh, hello, hello. Ooh. Uh, yeah, might as well do it now, so then if a really important moment comes up later, then, you know, you're not scrambling uh, to see if you can subscribe real fast with uh, with Prime. Jeshi, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Can we get uh, all of the um, uh, all of the Picro Prime emotes uh, in, in chat for the Primes? Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, had you not opened the road, I never had reached Hyrule Rants. Also, never feel bad for not subscribing to the channel um, or, you know, paying money or anything. It's all free. I try to do my best. Um, you will have to see a couple hours, but, like, I, all my content is free. So, just enjoying it is all I can ask. The only thing is, I ask two things of you. If you enjoy my content, uh, watch it. Why not? Uh, and if you don't enjoy it, then you don't have to watch. And that's it. <laughs> Win, thanks for the Prime for three months. Um, now that I'm here, I can ride the horses and fill up my belly with fresh milk. Mm, nice. That's so cool, man. I'm so proud of you, I think. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's check to see what the ranch is. What's, 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 what's this? Uh, it's a little stamp. Uh, hey! So this is the Hyrule Ranch. That we were told about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Excuse me? Who are you? Hello, I'm the stamp guy. Oh, it is a stamp. Okay. Uh, I've loved stamps since I was a tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's hugest stamp fan. <laughs> Bet you're curious about this stand. Uh, this is a stamp stand. A stand for stamping stamps. Tongue twister. My God. Is a stand? Menacingly, menacingly approaches. Is that a JoJo reference? Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press them down uh, to leave a stamp behind? Plunktacular from start to finish. <laughs> that's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. That sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. <laughs> Ready to rally? I bet you're rally, rally, rally excited. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I totally am. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right. Here's your stamp card. Okay, you got the first stamp card. The stamp card is for Stamp Rally Beginners. It was handmade by the stamp guy, and it looks like it. <laughs> I know you'll have fun, because I had fun making it. Uh, now, get a stamping like you've never stamped before. God, I love this. <laughs> what is that image? <laughs> it's a stand. Great work. What a stamp. Look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamp. But hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. Okay. So it's, they're just on the overworld. They're not in caves either. It'd be way too dangerous for my taste. That's really cool that they told you that. Because then you're not looking in like weird spots for them. Cool. Uh, push yourself to find them. 
Okay. All right. All together now. Ready, set, go. Stamp rally. That's awesome. I love this guy. Uh, can I check out what the stamp looks like? They just gave us. Like, really inspect that. Uh, examine. Yeah. I love how he drew. This is the stamp guy. He 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 drew himself in like a super realistic anime form. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> like Giga Chad. Like, bro's actually shredded. Like, he's like, yeah, stamps. Like, it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Calm down, man. Like, geez, okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> when in reality, he looks like this. I love that's so funny. Uh, hello. Oh my God! Look at the look at the oh look at the look at the cows. It's so cute. We've all been real sad since one of our horses went missing. You can go talk to my grandpa about it. He's the wrinkly guy over there. That's so funny. Uh, over there, one of our oh my God! Look at the horses. <gasps> I love this. I actually love this game so much. <laughs> it's such a great game. Okay. One of our horses went missing. We looked all over, but we couldn't just find him. Okay, let's go and see. Let's see what's in here. Oh, the cat. Oh, my heart. Uh, the other cat. I love how there's different sounds for them. The chicken. Uh, can I check this? What is this? Oh, notice our music box, did you? Uh, it plays really pretty music. Let me tell you, it's a prize for our flag races. Oh, flag races is a little contest we hold here at the ranch. To try them sometime, you'll need to bring your own horse, though. A customer, they interest you in some milk. Uh, not right. Not right now, no. Uh, our milk is special stuff. You won't find anything like it anywhere else. In our household, we drink it with every meal, and we're as fit as fiddles. I'm becoming lactose intolerant, and that was actually the basis of one of my recent Tears of the Kingdom videos, where I ate, uh, where I drank uh, uh, heavy milk uh, coffee and uh, Taco Bell, and then said, see if I could uh, make pizza in Tears of the Kingdom before I gave <laughs> birth live on stream. So that was a fun one. Uh, anyways, um... Uh, Greg Zio, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Yumi Bean, thanks for the Tier 1 subscription. Tom with the Prime Gaming. Golden Liar, thanks for the 5 months uh, of Prime. That Zach Bacon, thanks for the Tier 1 for 16 months. Kiwi Charm with the 2 months. Quinn with the 3. Thank you guys so much for using your subs and your Prime Gaming. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. Um, that's really cool of you guys. Uh, Alright. Oh, you're so cute. I love this. Uh, all right, where should, could she be? So there's a horse missing at the ranch. Welcome to Hyrule Ranch. I'm afraid we're not loaning out mounts at the moment. We're a bit distraught. See, one of her horses went and ran off. Hardly out of the usual for her to gallop out west. What's odd is she hasn't come back. The whole family went looking, but we didn't find her. If you see our horse, I don't suppose you'd mind bringing her back here. Oh, okay, runaway horse. We got to go find the horse somewhere. Uh, Let's read exactly... Uh, what this says. Apparently, she normally gallops around the west of the ranch. Okay, so let's go to the west of the ranch and see if we can find the missing horse. So here's here's our current goal as it stands, right? Um, our current goal is, well, obviously, we need to go to the giant rifts and uh, save our friend and discover what's causing them. The the, the blue guy is kind of, you know, the, the blue monster is what, what we think is causing them. And then also how to fix them, mend them, etc. Right? Um, and so our goal is to go uh, to the Gerudo Rift and do that. But uh, before we do that, we're going to see if we can find a, this runaway horse. I love this rendition of the uh, Lon Lon Ranch theme, by the way. Uh, just small small touches uh, that they did with the music. That is very nice. Really cool. Whoa. All right. So there's some things up here that we could probably get to if we wanted to. Uh... Yeah. Oh, let's see. So the they said the the runaway horse is probably somewhere left of the ranch. Um. Yeah. Oh, here's another warp stone. Great. This game is so goddamn cute. Ironmon is in about uh, six and a half hours. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Ironmon will be doing uh, some Pokemon Kaizo Ironmon. Um, because I have to do it ever since 
uh the beginning of september i was like i'm playing kaiser wire on this pokemon challenge shout out to youtube guys if you, you guys don't know what it is because i haven't posted anything about it because i still haven't been the challenge about a year later um and then uh i'm gonna stream this for about 10 hours and then i'm gonna go exclusively live on twitch and stream that for about an hour because i have to do it every single day uh, for the rest of my life starting september 1st until i beat the challenge so we're streaming not only uh zelda but we're also going to be doing that later uh kakariko village to the left and hyrule castle to the right there's kakariko village in this what are you oh my god there's so many cool things what, what is this thing uh well let's beat you so i can add you to my uh, uh collection of monsters what is this thing uh the tectite echo okay uh, let's go to our notebook. Uh, Tektite. Uh, resembling a pond skater in action, this creature hops along the surface of the water, hump, jumping, jumping higher every third hop. Okay, so if we need a monster that doesn't fly, but can specifically be on water, because there's maybe a lot of water around, <clears throat> Zora's Domain, probably, the Jabu Waters, uh, then that's probably something important. Cool. What's down over here? Uh, the horse! Oh, we found the horse! Hello! Hi there! Oh, we can ride him! That's so cute! While well, next to a horse, press A to mount the horse and use L to move. Tilt the opposite from the direction in which you're moving to stop. Dismount with B at any time. We can dash. Oh, horses. Okay, so I can't get off of here. Um, but, you know what can fix this? A trampoline. Okay, I thought I, just, I, I was just hopeful that would. Oh, oh! Sorry, I almost killed him. Um, I thought I, I was like, I, like obviously that we can build a bed. I was just hoping that the trampoline would work and it'd be really cute. That's actually probably enough with the bed. Uh, this is... I don't know if the horse has a name. We'll see. Oh! This is amazing! This is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. Look at our horse! Say, hey, that's our horse! She's finally back home where she belongs. I can't thank you enough. Who'd have thought it? The poor girl ending up in a place like that. She and I are both in your debt. Tell you what, Sprout. If you have any steed, I'll lend them to you free of charge. Horses are great for getting places quickly. Go ahead and saddle up on whichever one you'd like. Well, we gotta saddle up. We gotta saddle up on the horse that we want. That we got. Like this is the white horse, uh, the black horse, the the tan horse. But like we saved, we saved you. Uh, also, uh, oh, I guess like we, yeah, okay. So who do we want? Uh, what do we name our horse? Saddle up. Oh, wait, wait, we can, we can probably do the, um, the little, real quick. Cow. Is <laughs> cow the horse? A customer, can I interest you? Uh, maybe later. Oh, let's let's do the um, the the rally. I think, right? Oh. Our music box, right? Uh, really pretty music. Our flag races. Let's do it. Okay. Try them sometime. I bring your own horse. Uh, okay. I want to do a flag race. Uh, what do you know about that? Uh, do you know anything about flag races? Uh, do you want me to teach you about how to ride a horse? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, maybe later then. Okay, cool. So we can go probably up for over here and everything and all this stuff. Or we can go back down. So I think we've discovered... We'll probably, like, uncover more over this way. And all this, uh, things to do. But let's go around and, uh, go to the Gerudo. Let's go to Gerudo uh, and discover what's going on with that rift over there. Look at us. We're so cute. Oh, 
We're adorable. Uh, we have to go through here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, Nihil Sonic, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. The Prime Method works. I'm glad I can tell you about it. That's awesome. All right, let me open this here. We haven't gone to the upper right here. Let me check. Let's check over here. This game, man, too cute. I know, right? Uh, spiders. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Oh, a heart. How the hell do we get it? Oh, what are you? Okay. Link, are you there? There's so many monsters here. Fight them off for me, please. Uh, Don't you worry. I won't fight them off for you. But beef will. All right, so he's looking for Link. I mean, he's dressed like him. He's probably one of Link's friends. Uh, uh, one, maybe one of Link's friends and maybe uh, one of the children uh, that were spirited away, uh, took away from the, the stuff earlier. Oh. Saving the day as always, the heroic. Oh, you're not Link. Oh. Sorry about that. The hood had me thinking you were someone else. Please forgive the confusion. My name is Verly, and I'm a resident of Southern Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way to Southern Prairie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, while I was here, I figured I make I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared, and well, you know the rest. Uh, there's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. Me, who was streaming. Um, I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you'll take it. Nice. We're rich. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for, he's a brave swordsman in the Southern Village. Uh, he's been a light to all of us, but right now he's off fighting monsters. Rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. Aw. Hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. He went to a swordsman wearing a hood and a green tunic. Can you pass him a message? His friends in Southern Village would be there for him when he comes home. It's not like you can't your PTO for work. That's true. I was actually supposed to, literally today, like actually today, is when I would uh, fly out to go to Africa <laughs> to go on fun safaris um, because that was my... Family vacation. <laughs> um, and uh, new Zelda game was um, released uh, and everything. And I was like, okay, uh, that's cool. Uh, and so I tried to figure out a way where I would stream the Zelda game and then um, uh, where I'd stream the Zelda game and then I would fly out to Africa <laughs> after being done with the Zelda game. Uh, and unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. So I had to uh, unfortunately drop out. So um good news though good news i know crazy um wish i could have gone but uh you know i'm, I'm here for you guys and i it, it was hey it was good news i got to choose i didn't really get to choose but, but like i got it was the the best the best of both worlds i got to choose two really awesome things um and so i lucked out uh on on being able to you know it wasn't like a bad decision either one i chose I feel bad? No, 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 no. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. That's not a story for you to feel bad. That's a story for, uh, uh just, uh, just uh, fun. It's like, hey, that happened, and it's, it's, it's cool that I get to, uh, do, uh, either two things. All right, this is a new, new thing. Um, hello. You are a spider. Uh, Crawlchula. Um, it walks on walls and ceilings as easily as flat ground. Cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, just like a, it's like, it's supposed to be a funny story. It's not supposed to be like a, or like an interesting story. It's not supposed to be like a, hey, feel bad for me, please. Uh, we're planning, we're already planning on another vacation to, I believe, maybe Greece. Uh, or New Zealand next year. So. Uh, okay. So how do I get to this art container is the question. There's nothing that currently makes like takes me this high. I'm trying to think here. I mean, there is the spider. I wonder if I can summon the spider and the spider can get it for me. You know? Okay, well, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> not yet, at least. Uh, let me summon... Well, no, it has three here. Beds uh, cost one, right? 
We're gonna do that. And then summon the spider here. And then can you grab the piece of heart for me? Oh, it just died. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. So let me do this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is uh. The way to go. Yeah, it just goes right through it. Okay, so so I don't think. I wonder if I do this. Wait, one second. Can I? I can. Oh! Oh! Whoa! I can bind to the spider and it brings me up. That's so sick. What? That's so cool. Wait, I have another idea. All right, let's go, P hat. Bring me anywhere. Wow, what a cool puzzle. What a really cool puzzle that was. I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, uh, wait, 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 uh, uh, cow. Sorry, I, for, I, I need to go grab cow real quick. Sorry, guys. All right, let's go, cow. Moo. Wait, yeah, 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 wait. Idea, idea, idea. Summon. Okay. One sec, it'll work. They had him move immediately out of the way, so you can't do that. Kind of funny. Oh, I can move my horse. Yeah, that's funny though. All right. Oh, it's a wait. No way. There's a crow here. All right, let's go to the Gerudo. All right, let's go beef. Maybe. Oh my god, beef is beef is not doing well here. There we go. Let's go beef. All right, nice, nice. Oh, we got a lot of. That. Uh, you learned the crow echo. Oh, roosting in high up spots, this bird a monster swoops down to steal people's rupees. <laughs> I love it. Be careful, guys. Your wallets are not safe with me. Cool. Um, I gotta use it at least once, guys. Dude, we get so many rupees from that. Dude, we have a full. M <laughs> hey, group of crows, right? Hey, call that a murder. I mean, literally, that's what a group of crows is called. Oh, I'm low on health. One second, guys. <laughs> I'm low on health. One second. Good night. All right, so we're headed towards Gerudo.
The nap strat's so funny. It's amazing. I love it so much. All right. Let's go, cow. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's a mystery here. All right. I see what we have to do. Aha! Uh -huh. Little secret we got. Yahaha! Yeah, -ha -ha! You found me! Oh, sorry. Different game. Different game. Oh, okay. So if we just find a mic crystal, it also just increases our energy. Whoa. Good to know. Good to know. Cool. Okay. New waypoint. And this looks like it's the Gerudo Desert. stuff up here for sure oh god there's so many things that i want to uncover oh okay oh let's grab cow all right let's go cow oh let's go oh oh cow whoa the Gerudo Desert. I'm sorry. Did the cutscene just kill Cal? The Oasis. Whoa. The Gerudo looks so cool. Uh, I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. Uh, but this desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. Because for now, we should check around the area with the biggest rift. Oh, Cal's still here. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. All right. We're all good. I didn't mean to. I meant the pea hat. The scorpion. New scorpion echo? We're just collecting all the echoes at this point, you know? You learned the Aru Aruroda echo. Uh, from the out the vast and trackless desert comes this one eyed menace. It tries to get behind foes to sting them. Cool. Oh, my dear God. Why are there so many things here that I have to explore and discover? Okay. Grab. Oh, we already have one of you, don't we? Yeah, the uh, armadillo. Go, crow! Wait, isn't this thing particularly effective against uh, flying enemies? Eh, it's whatever. Look at those dodges. Dude, look at those sick dodges we had. Actually insane with it. Oh, this thing does a lot of damage, though. Nice. It hits. Game over. I, I think it's our first game over, isn't it? See, that's why we use P-Hat, guys. This thing does so much damage, though. We can probably just stay from the high ground and we're good. L literally, it it's exactly why we use P-Hat. It does so much damage. You have two crows? Yeah, it's a whole murder. It's just, it, guys, it's just too good. All right, this is a new armadillo, though. It's a different one. Uh, one second, guys. My sister is calling me. She's, I think, about to be on the flight to Africa, so I want to say, uh, I want to say goodbye to her.
Awesome. Uh, she wanted to uh, uh, say bye and everything um, uh, before she gets onto like a bajillion hour flight. I think it's like an 18 hour flight. Um, so, you know, chill with that. But then the other thing is, um, um, uh, she also wanted to ask if the game was worth it to, um, <laughs> to download and play. She's like, should I download it before the flight? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> She's like, how much? 60 bucks? It's oof. And I was like, yeah, I think it's pretty worth it though. I'm not gonna lie, I like it a lot. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, I want to say bye to my sister. Uh, tell your mom you love her right now. Go go text her or your dad or your sibling. Uh, always a good thing. Um, okay, you learned uh, Cairo Medillo level two. Oh, so there's a different level? The powerful monster that hurls itself with different momentum flying over holes with ease. This is the regular one, and this is level two. Okay, so there's like an upgraded version of it. Interesting. Also, sorry if you guys uh, are, uh, you know, asking for more echoes and stuff. I'll be real. I do want to learn. I do want to use more echoes in my gameplay. Beef is literally just too good. Like I, I'm sorry, but beef is crazy with it. Oh. Wait, yeah, does that mean there's a different color beef? We found a shiny armadillo. Yeah, maybe we can. Anyways, thanks for thanks for uh waiting, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh so we have beef here, and then I need to heal. So while beef's dealing with that. Oh, wait, there's a it's sand dunes. Okay. So while Beef's dealing with that, can I step into here or what's going on? Oh, I can rest. There's an area there. <laughs> oh, I broke! There we go. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. Uh, what is this? Uh, chili cactus. I just uh, can be used to recover hearts and more effective when you the We still haven't figured out how to do that yet. Can, can I do that from like, I can eat it regularly. Okay. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but we'll figure it out later. Fine. All right. So that's what I love about finding these caves and stuff is that we find like leveled up in new echoes. I mean, that's how we found uh, beef in the first place, you know? So. All right. Let's go. Um. Let's go. Let's go cow. Or scorpion. Oh. oh. Wait, wait. We can dash through and that does damage? Alright. It's, it, it's not an effective way of dealing damage, though. Cow is cracked, though. Oh, I didn't mean to place the bed. Whoopsies. Dude, yeah. I, I can't imagine there's a level 2 beef. I think there's probably a world in which that exists, you know? Are you kidding me? There we go. That goes menu does seem a bit clunky. Eh, I, I just struggle with menus in general, you know? So I wouldn't worry too much about it. So far, at least. Nice. Uh, the thing I'm enjoying, like, honestly... Oh, there's the, 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 oh, there's a new thing there. The thing I'm enjoying the most about this right now, personally at least, is uh, the fact that I can really like explore so much. And it's just fun that like, I, I feel rewarded whenever I do. It's not like an empty kind of world. It's, it, I feel rewarded whenever I do this. Oh, hello. We're tired. The monsters keep coming. I'm completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. Is that how that works? We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum. Oh. Yep. Towns west of here. You should check it out. Everyone's on edge there due to the rifts. Or there's a lot of trouble outside the desert too, but we got our hands full here. All right. So the, uh, yeah, Gerudo's to the west of here. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's a tumbleweed. I love it. What is that? That's a fish. 
A land shark? Nice. What? You learned the sand piranha echo. Uh, vigorous and quick, this fish-like creature swims through the sand with ease. It cannot survive in water, however. Oh, cool. I want to try this thing out. Oh, what's up here, though? This isn't Gerudo Town or anything. This is just an area that was... Whoa. There's some ruins and everything over here. What are those? Huh. And the rift has taken one of them. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Uh, we'll probably find this out whenever we uh, uh, get rid of all the... We'll probably, we'll probably find it out when we get rid of all the uh, rifts in this area. Uh, we'll see about that. We'll see about it. Sorry, guys. We're just going to, like, rest up real quick. This is a neat reference. Uh, what is this a reference to, chat? If it is a reference. It's a, yep, guys, this is a reference to Dune. You got it. Yep. Dune your mom. Okay. Oh. Okay, so the rift. Yeah, whoa. Okay. So the rift is all here. Oh, is it, this is Gerudo Town. This seems to be the oasis. Seems to be the where the majority of the rift is, too. Okay. Let's check out this uh, chest, though, and this cave before we go to Gerudo Town. Oh, what are you? Brother. Brother, what are you? San Piranha, go. Oh, it's it's a redead. Oh, that's so... Oh, I hate him. Oh, I hate him so much. I can create two of these San Piranhas. No, I can only... Yeah, I can create two of them. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. I want to get one of them for my uh, collection, though. All right. They are doing damage. Oh, my God. This thing does so much damage. Maybe Saiyan Piranhas are the real way to go with this, then. Yeah. It, it, it like, one-shots these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like it, it's the way to go, because it, it, like, gets them by surprise a little bit. If it can. We'll see. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. This thing scares me, man. Yeah, okay, it's doing... Okay. I gotta take this in my own hands, looks like. All right, there we go. We got him. <laughs> and that's what the Sword Fighters form is for. All right. Let's nab this. The Redead Echo. God, I hate it. Ugh. Endlessly wandering in the Gerudo Desert, this unsettling creature's screams can freeze enemies in their tracks. Let's use it. Okay. Yeah! Okay, so it does that. It freezes them, and then... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, they're just very slow moving. And so whatever it is... Also... <laughs> he's... <laughs> he's just vibing. <laughs> I think I found a bug. Hey, is it a point crow stream? If uh, 
uh, if I haven't found uh, something wrong with the game, a glitch or anything. Well, I found my first, uh, found my first Echoes of Wisdom glitch. Uh, the Echoes of Wisdom glitch is the, is the stuck, stuck piranha. That's really funny. All right, now it's back. Uh, guys, I just found a bug. I just found a glitch. Literally unplayable. Uh, they, they need to get a new game. It's literally it's a it's a game breaking unplayable glitch. I can't believe it. My immersion has now been shattered. I'm not. I am no longer a part of Hyrule. This is the worst thing to ever happen since. That one thing happened to JFK's head, you know? All right. Let's go into... Uh, dude, it happened again. Wait, what? Did you guys see the... Dude, it happened again. The the piranha was there. That's so weird. I don't know. Maybe it just did that, you know? Okay, how do we block this? Uh, well, uh, I think we know the answer already. This is a really unique, really interesting way to do this. I love it. Never mind. That's a terrible way to do it. Uh, boulders, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. But it, I love how each thing has different properties for it. Jeez. That's cool. Oh, and there's a new kind of pot. <laughs> okay. More bots. The Gerudo pot. Uh, it's typical in Gerudo culture and has been for ages. Right. I think if you want to go like stealth mode, using pots in and certain, I think I, I, if you want to go stealth mode, using pots from from the associated villages is the way to go. These are really cool. What's this? I can have a blower. The wind cannon. Oh, oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, it continually blows a strong wind against the and can disperse their flames. What? So if I do the blower, the wind cannon here. Oh, uh, this is neat. This this is uh this is like the same uh same thing as that one skyward sword. Uh that one skyward sword uh key item. Cool. Yeah, the gust bellows. There it is. The warm pepper. Yeah, the gust bellows. The the thing I love particularly about Zelda games, just personally, is that a lot of the time it feels like like the new games that they come out with, they not only Can I get down here? I can't, I'm small enough. And not only does it feel like the new games that they come out with are like iterating on the old games, but they're like learning from like what was really fun. And then they just like implement those and like keep changing it. It's just really, it's really cool. I love it a lot. It makes for unique gameplay. Ah, two mighty crystals. Finding them everywhere. Yeah, it feels refreshing and then also new at the same time. Because like you obviously get like the ultra hand part with uh, bind. Like you get the gust bellows part. You get the summoning mechanics uh, from like Mario Odyssey. It's so uh, it's awesome. Whoa, new people here. Hello. Whoa. Okay. So you you spin me right round, right round, like a record, baby. Uh, but it doesn't seem like you can do much damage. Let's dark net you. Yeah. Okay. You don't do much damage to me, but uh, oh, you do a lot of damage to other people though. Or at least like our, the Dark Knight does a lot of damage like single hit, so I should probably be using that a little bit more. Great. All right. Uh, the Tornado Echo. Uh, then this mischievous uh, monster cloaks itself in a miniature tornado and bursts out from the sandstorms to knock the foes back. I love it. Uh, you got three rock tatoes. <laughs> yeah! 
Yeah, why not? Why didn't they name it Toadnado instead of Tornado? Like, come on. It's right there. It's right there. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, there was a way to get out of there really fast, but I didn't do it. So we're just going to use the boulders again. No worries. Easy. All the way through. How are you guys liking uh, Echoes of Wisdom so far? Everything you've ever hoped for? Actually, let me do it like this. It, do you do you think Echoes of Wisdom is more fun than you thought or less? I don't know what your expectations were going into it, but mine were... I, I wouldn't say high. I, I think they were like just mid, mid-size, mid-size expectations. And so far, they have exceeded them greatly. More fun? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Yeah, so this is where the giant uh, rift is. Huh? My friends are nearby. Oh, you found it. I can create a rift entrance beneath here. Come on, Zilla. Oh. Oh, you can't come with me, can you? What should we do? Oh, we could try talking to her. Maybe she knows the way you can get through the sand. Oh. So it's like, so, so basically we need to get to, okay, hello. Uh, we need to get underneath the sand in order for us to get to the rift entrance. Uh, and then the Gerudo know a way to get underneath the sand. Interesting. Cool. Also, what is this thing? New item? Uh, Monster Stone. Cool. Uh, okay. So, uh, what I want to do before this, though, is I want to see about the Oasis. We're going to go back. We're going to go uh, check out the Oasis because I don't want to miss that. It seems like a lot of fun and a cool, cool area. And so, I, I want to explore that a little bit more if I can. Oh, there's a Warp Stone right here. Go grab that. That did all of my all of my health. Wow. This chief, thanks for the continuing your gift sub. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Uh, where? Thanks for the five dollars. Thanks for that resub. I just want to get the warp really quick. Don't mind me. Oh, good. Got it. Nice. Yeah, the redoubts are really creepy. All right. I just want to get the warp stone right there. Uh, and then let's go to the oasis. God, I had the redoubts are... God, they're so creepy, man. They scream way too much. They're like me at Halloween Horror Nights. Actually, they're not even like me. Um, I feel like also it's faster to do this, heal, and then do this. Like, just to continuously wake up. Then, like, just lay down in the bed and keep in the bed. I think this is actually kind of a speedrun strat. Yeah, you, you gain... You gain health better, faster, you know? Little speed run strat there. Oh, I can't get across right here. Oh no, please no. Oh god. Yo, basic white guy. By the way, love the name. Uh, thanks for the 10 gifted subs on Twitch. I appreciate it. Thank you. Can we get some Pico gifts in chat for that? If you have uh, the emote. Nice. Uh, we're up here using the map. All right, so we, this is the Zelda. This is the Oasis, the Gerudo Oasis. Yeah. Uh, that's that, that cloak. Oh, apologies for my intensity. You remind me of someone else. I uh, see. I nearly got pulled into a rift a long time ago. At the, the time, a swordsman wearing a very similar cloak rescued me. He took out wave after wave of monsters as they swarmed from the rift. It was quite a sight. He actually was the reason I decided to become a soldier. 
Oh, so Link inspired uh, you. Wow. Yeah. If you ever get lost in the desert, make sure to check your map. Though a uh, map won't do you much good in the middle of a sandstorm. Uh, hello. Oh, it's a Decker scrub. <laughs> ah, hello, hello there. Uh, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your very own freezing taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients and I blend them together. Okay, this is where you cook, it looks like. So now come on, uh, ready to make a smoothie? Let's, sure, let's do it. Why not? Uh, what's, what, hey, what's a good smoothie except fresh milk and butter? Yep. Uh, you got it. Uh, some of this, some of that, mix it all up with a teeny pinch of. All righty. Your smoothie. Wow, uh, wow. A milky radiant smoothie. Beautiful. Oh, there's so many. Wow. A ton of different drinks here, man. Whoa. Uh, the smoothie is delectably creamy and packed with nutri uh, nutrients. Uh, we get glow for a minute. Okay. Hope you like it. Added that recipe to the menu so you'll be able to order the same thing next if you like. Oh, that's cool. So you, you, if you have the ingredients, you can just order it immediately. That's a great uh, quality of life. Uh, my siblings and I are new to the smoothie game. <laughs> Yeah, you really want to break into that smoothie market. It's pretty saturated, so we're trying out some new things. <laughs> That's so funny. And to keep hold over the market, uh, we're opening branches all over Hyrule, you know? Um, That's been so much work. We haven't had time to cover up with new smoothie concepts. So what do you say uh, to a joint venture? Business partners. You make recipes, we handle the business side. Come up with 10 recipes out of ingredients from travels, and we should be in shape. We'll even throw in a word. Uh, we'll even throw in a reward. Sounds great, huh? Thanks for the help. Okay, before you go, uh, my siblings are running smoothie shops in other places too. We're sending ingredients from our local regions back to the main shop uh, at home. If you run into any siblings, give them my best. Uh, okay. Ryan, thanks for the $20 uh, super chat, by the way. Uh, you'll explain what's happened so far? Right, okay, cool. Let me, let me read out what's happened so far in case you guys are curious and come in for the first time. This is Echoes of Wisdom. There's Rifts. We have a hoppip named Beef that's too OP, a horse named Cow, and we found a blower for Zelda. I hope that covers it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's uh, smoothie, please. Let's do uh, grapes and electro apples. Sure. Yeah, what I, what I think we really need here is like a smoothie stock market. Yeah. <laughs> so that looks good. I'm I'm getting hungry for some, some some of that. Cool, sweet and sour fruit pulp. Uh, let's go. Maybe a warm pepper. Ooh, and a chili cactus. Sounds interesting. Uh, I just wanted to make a couple new smooth. Oh, new smoothies. A warm mixed smoothie. Interesting. Okay. While many flavors make up this blending smoothie, the spice is a leading taste. Okay. It's a chili smoothie. Get it? Uh, let's go maybe like a monster fang and a rock potato. That sounds delectable. A warm smoothie. Yeah, you know, that doesn't sound like amazing, but it does exist. Your smoothie. A climbing potion. Whoa. Uh, drinking this subtly bitter potion helps you climb rock walls and ladders more quickly. Okay. Um, you and God, thanks for the prime gaming. Thanks so much for that. Um, okay, let's try out um, rock salt and butter as a smoothie. <laughs> These sound great, don't they, guys? I really know how to cook. If any of my videos have shown you guys, I'm a chef. Uh, salted radiant smoothie. Okay. Uh, glow. Awesome. Uh, it's not even liquid. Well, you know, not, not with that attitude. Uh, let's try floral nectar and butter. Have these sound like they make you throw up? Well, you know, throw up with love. Um, sweet radiant smoothie. With glow. Okay, cool. Please stop cooking. No, let him cook. Let him... That Ain't that right, chat? Let him cook. Right? Please get him out of the kitchen. I'm making beautiful things. I don't know what you guys are talking about. 
The stove is on and it's a mixed apple smoothie. Doesn't that sound good? Here's a video idea that I'm probably not going to do that somebody should. Um, is making all of the smoothies in uh, Echoes of Wisdom. All of them. Seems like there's a ton of different combos though. A uh, milky sweet smoothie. Cool. Uh, let's go grape and monster fang. I keep thinking this game is called Echoes of Hylia, but no, that's a League of Legends item. Sucrose, you're cooked, and I think you should know that. More than these, uh, more than these smoothies. What the hell? An unfortunate smoothie. <laughs> Oh, interesting. <laughs> it's a bit chunky and smells kind of weird, but it's technically still a smoothie. Mm, beautiful. I love how it's censored. What's on the bottle? <laughs> uh, Maybe rock salt and rock tato. Like a rocky smoothie, you know? I really like that crunch. Uh, your smoothie. Uh, a salted climbing smoothie. Cool. Uh, and that's 10, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've made 10 of these. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Come back soon. I've made 10 of them like you wanted, by the way. Let's chat. Eat the fruits. They made fine smoothie. I wish somebody warned me about the rifts and monsters and whatnot before I moved here. Oh, okay. What's in here? Ah, more cat guy. Ah, that's so rude. I'm gonna heal real quick. Dude, I, I feel like the resting strat, like that, like getting up and resting is actually the strat to, to do this faster. All right, where could they be? Uh, Facet doesn't know and she's the chief's aide. So where are they? What are you looking for? Just minding myself, sorry about that. I'm a Tormali, an Oasis guard. Guarding the Oasis is my main priority, but I've been tasked with another mission recently. I take you're not from here, are you? In which case, you might be able to help me. Oh. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? No. One of my boss's research, ancient Gruder used them to chase off unwelcome guests. Mm. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far nothing. Oh. Okay. Um, I love, I love these. Uh, these are cool. Uh, these quests are awesome because it really rewards you for finding uh, new echoes. Uh, and then it shows you to them. Uh, like, it, it's 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 cool. It's like a cool fetch quest that uh, of something that you already love. I uh, wasn't here. Uh, tough mango plant lap. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, new beds! Oh! Is this like a level two bed? The soft bed. I think it is. Uh, I think it literally. I think it's literally a better bed. I think we got like a level two bed. That's awesome. Cool. New bed just dropped. Yeah. Uh, Gruta soldiers and dancers used to rest here, but now it's uh, Torma's base for mango research. Yeah. Torma trusts the chief, Sira, will figure out what to do about the rifts here in the desert. So she's keeping our focus on plant research, knowing it'll benefit everyone's future. So the chief of Gerudo is uh, Chief Sira. Good to know for later. Oh, there's a cat. There's a cats everywhere, and I love them. Oh, there has to be a cat speed run, or at least a dog speed run. Uh. Hello there, Wanderer. Welcome to the Tough Mango Plant Lab. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation and preparation for potential food crises. Uh. My current field is focused on tough mangoes. Uh. After much research, I've devil after much after much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. Solved world hunger. Let's go. But there's one problem: the mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest fast enough. Oh, this is like the that beach that um makes you old. Um, what's that movie called again? <laughs> I can't compile data if I harvest properly. At this rate, I'll run out of funding for my project. In response, I've begun enlisting folks to help with a little game of Mango Rush. Uh, you can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force, like from a spin. Uh, there's a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Yeah, sure. It's a little cool mini game. Let's do it. Let's harvest some mangoes. Uh, I have to say it's odd how the shadows of the four triangles are circles and not lines. Yo, why did you... 
Why'd you have to mention that? The shadows are circles, but the actual ones are lines. I can't unsee it anymore. All right. Mangoes can be harvested with a bit of force, but too much and they'll burn up. I'd like for you to harvest 40 or more mangoes. You do, you get to take some home. All right, cool. Let's do it. Here we go. Actually unplayable, by the way. Okay, right, how do I harvest these? Harvest. How do I harvest? Huh? Oh, I harvest like that. Okay. I can spin. I'm too good at this. Easy. I'm too good at this. Oh, no, no, don't miss. Don't miss. Oh, no. Oh, I got him. Let's go. Okay. All right, all right, we go again. We go again. Exquisite. I got one more mango than 40. <laughs> Here you are. Please take these top mangoes with you as things. Oh, got three of them. Uh, let's get 50. She's real good. Maybe she can even handle the extra dangerous seeds. I have some vibrant seeds that yield even larger harvests. I have them shelled, but I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. Oh, oh, we do that. I'm not shying away from a challenge. Uh, let's do the vibrant seeds. Uh, 10 rupees. Let's do it. All right, watch this, guys. Watch this. The sharp thorns. All right, here we go. Maybe they get thorns? I don't know what the difference is yet. Oh, some of them are thorns sometimes. Okay. Oh, no, I missed one. You have to be, like, really accurate then with your spin. What? Oh, that's crazy that they put them up there. Oh, my God. That's actually insane that they do. That's actually messed up. Oh, that's so difficult. What? Fortunate thing again. Uh, expectations like this. I have to get, dude. I was like too, too uh -huh. shy. All right, we do it again. We do it again. Washed? Don't call me washed. Are you kidding me? Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, we got this. Okay. All right. I'll just do it when I have time. And you get like you get like you can predict where they are because they cause they're always going to be on the same spot. It looks like like that, right? Oh no! All right, that's fine. I got 54 of them. I, could, I couldn't do the top ones. Okay. Uh. Exquisite. Uh. Anything think you'd be able to harvest so many. We got them. Uh, gold, I'll, to thank you, I'll give you my golden fan. I got it a long time ago from a dancing tournament. Oh. You got a golden fan. Just holding this glimmering fan makes uh, made with glor golden feathers makes you feel glamorous. Please take the tough mangoes you harvest with you as well. Nice. I bet she's capable of harvesting the special ones, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nowhere near the true potential of tough mangoes. Uh, I'm going to develop something even more amazing. Uh, oh, it's going to take some little time, though. Okay. All right, we come back for it. We come back for it. We come back for it. That's funny. That's awesome. All right, so I got a golden fan. Um, Just holding it makes you feel glamorous. Okay, so it's just like a, hey, you did it kind of thing. Awesome. Even, even further beyond where no mango has gone before. Yep. 
Wow, I feel deluxe. Cool. All I can think about is Lenmola. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, it's a type of monster that lives here in the desert. Ever found yourself caught in a sandstorm while walking in the desert? Well, the Lenmola is the one creating the sandstorms. Oh, I'm pretty sure defeating it would put an end to the sandstorms. Um, although I've heard some people say there's more than one Lenmola. Regardless, I wonder in the desert where such a monster would be. Yeah. Uh, it's time for a day. I see another highland in the Gruta Desert. Uh, if you're wondering about that tent, there's a Gruta researching something over there. Cool. Uh, all right. Let's go, cow. Uh, I'm glad that we just uncovered more of the oasis. Let's go check out more of Gerudo before we do the rip. I'm enjoying this spot. This is really cool. Oh, oh stamp guy! Stamp guy, stamp! Yeah! That's so cool. Okay, so the stamp guy is a really cool reward for um, exploring more. Oh, I'm zoomed in more because of the sandstorm. I think. Uh, whoa. There's a sandstorm here. All right. New enemies too? Oh my god. Are you a landmola? Uh, a club Borblin. Okay. A brute of the northern Gruta Desert. This creature bounds directly at foes and lays into them with its club. Okay. So far, so good. Nice. Doing a lot of damage. Dude, it's it's uh Borblin time. Well, if I can take a, a three hour nap and beef is still our best boy. I mean, beef is just ridiculous. Oh, this one costs two. Okay. Um, we gotta go back here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a drink, don't I? Nice, we're good, okay. It's just like Breath of the Wild. Uh, where you eat a full uh, course meal halfway through a battle and then you're all good to go. All right, this is like a boomerang, right? Yeah, a boomerang Borblin. Trained in the use of boomerangs as Borblin warriors dangerous both coming and going. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fun, that's, uh, that's fun, I like that. All right, we got spicy pepper for that. Uh, basically, Mind Monkey, thanks for the 31 months. Uh, Droid Daster, thanks for the eight month resub. And The Last Crafted, thanks for the seven months. Seven warm peppers, awesome. Cool. It's over here. Ooh, cool. Fancy. Um, okay, then can I, oh, you know what I could probably do here? Not that, though. Not that. <laughs> yeah, that works. Uh, okay. So I got up here. I don't know what's special about up here, though. Um, I do see that there's some growing things on the side of the wall, but I don't know what I can do with that, so... Oh, you know what? There's a. First off, there's this. This is quicksand. Okay. Second off, we need to figure a way to get that piece of heart in the middle. Cow! No. Okay, you're good. Jeez, dude. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose it the way this is happening. Honestly, I feel like we can do the same thing with the culture. I was such a good strat the, the time before, you know. Okay. Thanks for that. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to... Oh, oh, it can't run. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I wonder if I can, like, sand shark my way there, actually. You know? All right, let me follow you. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work.
Uh, for now, let's do this. Trampoline. Classic. Okay. How do I get across is the next thing. The next puzzle I have to solve here. Because yep. everything sinks into this quicksand. Everything sinks. I mean, ideally, I would use something like the Crawltula, right? But it just also sinks, you know? Yeah. Which is unfortunate, so. But I can probably... You know what? I could probably do this. The Crawltula on the bed while it's going. Yeah, I think I do that. I think I do that, actually. I think that's actually... Th I think that's one of the strats that I can use. So I'm going to do this. Uh, bed. And then... Not, not that. Not that, not that. Right. And then here, Crawlchula. And then... Oh, come on. There. Oh, no. It was right there. No, I think that's actually a strat. All right. Let me cook, guys. Let me cook. Let me cook. All these Crawlchulas that I've killed. These innocent Crawlchulas. Okay. That's not what I mean. Okay. I am having issues with the camera here. I need the, I need you to crawl up. Okay. okay up here, Crawlchula. Why? Okay. Okay. And then we do this. Oh, sorry. Chat. Pause. Champ. Pause. Champ. Pause. Champ. Watch me do this. Watch me do this. This is actually going to be insanely big brain when I figure this out. Go up, gamer! Maybe if I'm just fast enough. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that also works. Sometimes the easiest solution is the simplest one. Oh, cool. Oh, and there's a, a chest up there too. One second, cow. I'll go do this uh, cave real fast. Uh, no fire. thanks for the Prime Gaming. Whoa. New thing. The beetle echo. Okay. Uh, this small monster isn't very strong, but can overwhelm the unwary in great numbers. Or one large beep. Oh, whoa. They spawn from here? Uh, the beetle mound echo. A strange pillar of soil that produces beetles endlessly or until it's destroyed. That's crazy. That's cool. Oh, and then up here is where the uh, chest is. That's cool. Awesome. We have the mic crystal. Endless beetles is crazy. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like Gerudo Town is over this way. Let's go ahead there. All right, let's go, cow. To Gerudo Town! Beetle strat seems fun. Yeah, I'll try the beetle strat. Oh, what the? Huh? Oh, God. Oh, God. What the? Oh, is that? Giant centipede thing? Uh, all right. Let's try beetle strat, actually. Oh, wait. I think I know what to do with this. Yeah, because it has this little thing here, right? What if I control it? Bring it out of the ground! Yeah, nice! And then all these beetles kill it, maybe. You're doing no damage, okay. Uh, oh, oh, it's it's the head that needs to do it. Oh, it's the head! Okay. Uh, I actually don't even think I need any echoes for this. I think the only thing I really need are good vibes. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go around here. Alright, Peep is fighting too. Oh, yeah, 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 look at that. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Alright, we'll keep Peep up then. Okay. Bring him out. Awesome. Short fight. I think it's just it's the head, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So far, so good. Can I, can I even do this? I can't. I, you have to be turned over, so it has to be the tail. Although, I can pull the tail whenever I want, it looks like. It doesn't have to be, like, in the ground. Oh, my God. Beef is killing this thing. Straight up. Nice. Okay. I, I feel like I'm really getting the hang of the mechanics. Uh, of this? Okay, here we go. Easy! Uh, okay. Cool. Good job, Beef. Ian Sun Thor, thanks for the 23 months. Yeah, a beef kill once again. And then warp spot. We've already discovered so much of the... I mean, look at this. We've already discovered so much of this game. Here we go. Whoa. And I want to know what's in here. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Dear God. Okay, I'm on fire. We go in. Ancestor's Cave of Rock. Okay, well, we do this. Uh, and then in here is where we need to go. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. Got a passenger princess this. Oh, we killed. Oh, so, right. oh, how you guys doing? Ah. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm Passenger Princess. Oh, nice. We got it. Okay, cool, cool. Passenger Princessing uh, too close to the sun. <laughs> All right, a whole mill echo. Uh, this monster digs holes in soft earth. Sometimes these holes can be entrances to hard to reach places. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Interesting. Um... Cool. I'll keep that note for later. Okay. Ah, we'd probably use it here. Yeah, we'd probably use it here. And then, can I go up? So, if we want to use this echo, hole mill. Yeah, it creates a hole down to the through the 2D section. Oh, and there's a... Okay, of course there's like a special... Yeah, yeah. Okay, we go through here. All right. Note it for later. All right, we've already gotten you. Can I leave? Okay. Oh, we've already gotten this pot as well. Where are these things? All right, this is the try again. Okay, awesome. We want to go through here. Then I want to go through this one over here. Nice. And then this will give me two a, spe there we go. a special uh, chest. Awesome. A golden egg. This item can be used to recover heart. Oh, okay. 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 Interesting. 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 Steph Rula, thanks for the 25 months. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to make an egg and butter, <laughs> egg and butter smoothie. You guys excited? You guys love my smoothies, right? Whoa, a crypt. Uh, well, we know what to do with this. Especially since the game gave us a kind of hint here. 
Okay, don't mind me. Uh, is to light these things on fire. Whoopsies. Rest in peace, brave warriors. I want to lift you. Put you here. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to put you, I, I meant to put you right here. Awesome. I'm on fire. Um, now check. Do I have to light this on fire too? Hmm, let me think here. Let me think, let me think. Uh, maybe it has to do with the mole mans. Yeah, you can't dig deeper. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, huh. I'm trying to think here. Let me think here. Let me think. Yeah, okay, this wow, this cures uh one full heart. That's great. Um, let me think. Let me think. I don't know. Maybe I have to come back later. Yeah, maybe I don't have everything I need for this. Okay. I'll figure it out. All right, no worries. Uh, we'll uh, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. There we go. All right. Uh, Jet. Uh, by the way, I'm not looking for uh, advice or help. Um, I'm just wondering myself. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Um, uh, just just heads up on that. Um, I uh, I want to figure. I, I I'm just trying to think aloud. Right. I appreciate you trying to help and uh, involving yourselves. I appreciate it. Uh, just want to make sure that I, it's, I, I find it a little bit more fun when I can uh, struggle a little bit and find things. All right, so there's things to the left here. Oh, another. Uh, this is the warp stone already. All right, let's go to. Let's go to Gruda real quick. Um, okay. Wow. All right, Gerudo. Let's go check out Gerudo Town. Yeah, here we go. All right. Let's check out Gerudo Town. We got a little, uh, warp stone right here. Ah, uh, we've discovered the, uh, entire bottom half of this, uh, uh, this map. That's great. That's great. All right. Uh, let me go, let me go check out Gerudo. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, all right, I'm going to do a real quick uh, VOD split, real quick. Awesome. For our live editing real fast. I think that works. Yeah, it should. Awesome. All right. And now we've begun a new one. The reference to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, yeah, Gerudo Town is a reference to Breath of the Wild. Yep. It's crazy how they're referencing Breath of the Wild with Gerudos, you know? Is that awesome? All right, here we go.
All right, let's check out Greater Town. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's actually so funny. We can just walk into Gerudo Town, unlike Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Because we're a girl. <laughs> like, we're not... It's not Link, you know? Like, we're like, oh, men, right? Like, no, like, we're actually just... We're Zelda, so we can actually just walk into Gerudo Town. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, this might sound a little odd, but you believe in tornado ghosts. Yeah, I caught in a sandstorm recently when a tornado comes whirling at me. It's hard to see clearly. Uh, but I can swear I see a, a soft face in the tornado. I must have been a ghost. Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Um, ah, I wonder. Do we have anything? Uh, maybe we do. A ghost! Uh, it's not a ghost or a tornado. It's a monster. It's called a torn... Oh, Tornado. Tornado. Uh, actually, now that I get a closer look at it, it doesn't even look like a ghost, does it? It's like a frog. This chased me because uh, it wanted to send me flying across the desert. It didn't anger any spirits. Uh, I've been really overthinking things. Uh, well, that clears it up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go. Nice. Milk. Uh... How can I call myself a Gerudo when I'm so spooked by something I wasn't even a ghost? If the chief finds out how easily spooked I am, uh, I'll get a real talking to. I mean, we're all scared of something. I can't really fault the person for having fears. There we go. All right, what else is in here? Hey, hello. Yeah. Uh, the weather sure is nice today, isn't it? On days like this, I feel like I could sleep forever. Um, let me see here. Can I ignite this? Yep. Cool. I don't know if it does anything, but we'll take it. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's check out all of uh, Grievertown. See the woman sitting over there? Uh, she was stolen away a long time ago. She hasn't spoken a word since. So is it everybody? That gets stolen away gets their um, uh, speech taken away from them. Or that she was really lively, a real chatterbox. She was an excellent dancer. She's changed a lot since those days. Riffs are really disturbing things. Wow. Uh, she was stolen away. Oh, she, yeah. All right. Wow. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, by the way, if you guys are coming in for the first time and don't know anything about this game or anything, I just want to say a couple things. First off, um, uh, no spoilers, no backseating. Don't tell me what to do. Don't don't spoil the game or anything like that. Just heads up. Uh, second off, uh, let me uh, sort of like uh, recap everything about this um, um, about this thing. A lot of people are also asking, um, hey, how's the game? How are you liking it? I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I really do uh, love putting my uh, heart into this, and I, I it's great, you know? Um, so it's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, what's happened so far in the story? Let me catch you up real quick. Um, basically, uh, oh God, how do I put it? There's rifts happening. Uh, there's rifts happening all over uh, Hyrule. Um, uh, rifts happening all over Hyrule, and what's uh, interesting about that is uh, they're bringing it into a different dimension called the Still World, and anything that happens to go into the Still World eventually gets um, broken up. Uh, and uh, destroyed. And so we're trying to find out the cause of what's, uh, you know, it, making all these rifts appear. So far, we've found out that it's the, the blue monster that captured Link and captured us before. Shout out to Link for helping us um, out of that crystal uh, to, to save us, you know, everything. Um, and then we're trying to uh, see if we can um, exit it, you know, I, I, I fix it all together, you know. Uh, and uh, also save our friends, uh, General Wright. Uh, Minister Left, who we've already saved, uh, Link himself, and also King Hyrule. Uh, so hopefully that is um, what it is. You know, hopefully you guys uh, do enjoy it. Oh, Queen, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, the the whole thing. Basically, there's rifts happening around the world, and we're trying to uh, make them go away. And in order to do that, uh, first off, uh, we've we've done one of them. Another one of them is in Gerudo Town. So we're gonna try out Gerudo Town. Uh, see see what's in it. Uh, explore a little bit before going to uh, the Rift and Gerudo Desert, which is the main uh, sort of part of the quest. You know? Yeah. 
Uh, hello, hello. You are also mute, maybe? Yeah. Is one of the children? No, you're not. Okay. Well, look at you, lovely thing, aren't you? Um, uh, uh, lovely though you may be, you might want to build some muscle if you be here long. All right, here we go. Blue Monsters Ganon, did you not look at who we were talking to in the beginning? No, I did. Um, but I'd like to say Blue Monster because that's what they refer to here. It's not been name dropped or anything. But I was I was there. I've been playing. Um, all right. A little cat. Oh, so cute. Meow. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. So I wonder if there... Yeah, there might be like a, a fun little thing that happens if we light up all of the torches around Gruda Town. Oh, there's so many things. Whoa, this place is big. This place is pretty big. It's pretty large. And there's a couple things here too. Uh, here we go. Uh, no, it just seems to be those two, so maybe not. I like this little oasis. Oh, look, there's a cat up there, too. Oh, it's so cute. That's so cute. All right, let's explore some more spots here. I do really want to, like, go into, like, everything. It just seems fun to me, you know? Because what, what can we discover? Uh, okay, so we can buy a couple things here. Uh, the chili, uh, potions, um, everything else. What's this slipper? Gerudo sandals. They prevent the wear from sinking in quicksand. Wow, okay. Uh, let's sell. I can the golden egg's worth 150? Oh, let's do it. Uh, tough mangoes, butter. All right, so we need 400, right? So we need 50 more. So let's sell one, two, three, four, five here of eight. So we still have some. Uh, and then let's sell, um, one electro apple. Look at that math. Mm. Uh, All right, here we go. I, or what are you looking for? Uh, I just explained it, but uh, what we're trying to do right now is we're exploring around Gerudo Town, and um, we're going to then visit one of the rifts in Gerudo Desert and see if we can close it. All right, let's buy these sandals. Uh, nice. Okay, so now we uh, can't sink in quicksand anymore. That's, that's awesome. All right, cool, cool, cool. So equipment here, and then I can also. Oh, it's either it's one or the other. Oh, okay. So I remove this and equip this. You can only have one accessory at a time. Looks like. All right, let's do the heart appearance up for right now because we're not in quicksand. But if we need to do it, then we can go back. That might be helpful for anything else. <gasps> oh my God! There's so many cats. As the rest appeared, but we warriors have been fighting nonstop, resting shifts. I'm off duty today, but I might do a quick patrol on my walk. Pitch in a little more. Yeah. So, low one, who do you think will be the next chief? Uh, do you think it'll be Doha? Don't you? No. Uh, can I help you? It's rude to stare, you know. Aww. Look at all the cats. They're so cute. Meow. 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 Oh, it's so cute. They're adorable. Okay. Oh, a little storage container here. Cool. A little storage container. All right, well, let's see what quest you give me. Uh, Hylian, I'm impressed you made it all the way here through the desert. You must be quite the explorer to come all this way, which reminds me, I'm looking for these uh, elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them on travels? Yes. You find them blowing across the sand in Gruta Desert. The pesky things roll out of reach. If you try to grab one, they fall apart. The more I think about how loose they are, the more obsessed I get. All I want to do is spend my time observing one of those tumbleweeds closely. Uh, I've managed to destroy everyone I found. My dream is to observe them out of, is so uh, out of reach. If you bring me my heart's desire, you'll be well rewarded. A tumbleweed. So you can get the tumbleweeds. I just don't know how to yet. Okay, interesting. I train every day. Hello there, Hylian. Curious about me? I'm one of many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stack, uh, slack on my training. My confidence comes from my agility and grace. Behold my skill! Uh, what's with the blank expression? I'm almost, it's almost as if you don't find me impressive. Well, then I'll prove my skill to you in a hand-to-hand -hand tag. Oh, we're playing tag? Sure. Let's do it. All right, here we go. 
Hand to hand tag. Whoopa! Whoopa! Uh, if you take me, then you win. If, if you can even block the path if you want. Come on, let's get going. Uh, okay, that's probably a hint to just immediately being like, okay, just block the path, you know? Uh, so let me do old dog here. All right, so it looks like I have to block the said path to get you. Or at least get a drop on you. It seems to be the best place to do it. Okay. So I'm going to put a bed here. I can't push this. All right. I'll put a bed here. And then I'm going to put... Here we go. We'll put a bed... Nope. Oh, right there. Put a bed here. And then I'm going to wrangle you. Okay. Yeah! Tag! Who was so fast? You were faster than me. Impossible. We did it! Yes! My uh. my! You are indeed very capable. Uh. Your legs carry you like the ones who travel across many reasons. Get tagged! Get absolutely tagged upon. Uh, you have inspired me. Here you are, as promised. Silly, uh, six pieces of chili cactus. Nice. Awesome. It's a much easier solution. Great. I don't care. Um, I like the solution I did. Is no, is, uh, how has nobody noticed he's a male Greer? Yeah, that's a woman. Uh, maybe uh, more um, mass presenting or just uh, the style. Uh, that's a woman. That's a Gerudo. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, I, dude, I love I loved the bed strat of like just stacking beds is good. And another cat up there. You're so cute. All right, there's another area here. Ah, there we go. All right, into here. What is here? What is this? Textiles and factories? That's cool. All right, let's go into here. Uh, finally, to the Gerudo Chief. The rifts in Gerudo Desert don't seem to be getting any smaller. No, that's concerning to hear. Do you need something? Outsiders aren't allowed to enter here. Uh, go on, scram. Hmm, okay. I'm wondering if there's a way to get in there regardless, though. Uh, Everyone in town is super tense because a rift appeared in Greater Sanctum. Have you been there? It's just southeast of town. Okay. Maybe if I go up here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I can get up. If not, though, I don't know. I mean, there might there might be some verticality, you know. But it seems like it's it's heavily implied. Hey, you should go over to the rift right now. There's a stamp up there. How do we get up there, man? All right, we're getting the stamp, guys. That's current goal: stamp. I see stamp. I get stamp. Also, tumbleweed. Wait, I can do it. Wait, this is how you do the tumbleweed. Oh, but you have to be... Are you Are you serious? Okay, I see how to do the tumbleweed. I hate how to do the tumbleweed. Okay, so I want to release this. Are you... Okay, no, 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 no. We got this, we got this. Okay, tumbleweeds, tumbleweeds, tumbleweeds. Is this gonna break? It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it's just wide enough for tumbleweeds. Okay. We did it! Yes! Oh, you brought me one. Thank you so, so much. Uh, seeing the delicate dried foliage explains why they tend to break so easily. Oh, it's not dried. This is just a particular type of plant matter. What are those pokey bits? Ah, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is. All right, nice. So you can't like actually summon a tumbleweed, but you can like actually bind it. That's really cool. Cool, two mighty crystals. Great. 
That's a, that's an awesome. I love that puzzle. That's so cool. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, let's go. I don't know where Cal went. Cal? Oh, but he's probably fine. Okay. So, yeah. So, I wonder... We found out um, that we have a wind cannon. Is this actually like... <laughs> God, I love the... This puzzle is great. All right, let's go get the stamp, and then uh, let's go close that rift. Um, bed. Up. Bed. Up. <laughs> uh, wind cannon. A oh, piece of heart! What the hell? Okay! Sure, I just got... I have now six hearts. Uh, out of nowhere. Alright. My mom's on a plane too? Oh my god. Everyone's on planes these days. Everyone's on planes these days. Here. Oh, I need a bed. Get you first and then bed. Okay. Yeah, there's a stamp up here. Miss Kenny Kins, thanks for the gifted sub to Gibbles. Appreciate it. Okay. I love this stamp so much. They're so cool. All right, neat. So we got the stamp over there. Uh, now I guess we go to the... Oh, I never went up into the left here. We can go do that. All right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it after this. Let's do it after this. All right, uh, chat. I'm going to be right back. I got to go to the bathroom. Um, I've been streaming for about five hours. And... Um, I have not, so uh, I'm gonna do that really quick, and then I'm also gonna grab um, a little uh, piece of food that I have in my uh, fridge. So I'm gonna be right back. Um, in the meantime, uh, chat. What's your favorite Zelda game? What's your favorite Zelda game? So I'll be back in like two, three minutes. All right. And actually, Tim. All right, real quick. If you guys want uh, a giant Doodle plushie, they started shipping uh recently so if you bought it uh like a little bit ago uh they should be arriving soon i've seen some pictures of you guys showing your vacuum sealed doodle plushies and they're really funny um collectorsanxiety.com is where you can get him if you are watching the uh youtube live stream um right now on youtube uh go over to the store tab um of my channel and you should be able to do it or just collectorsanxiety.com if you're on twitch right now you just have to go to collectorsanxiety.com um but it'll be there and then if you're watching the vod back um uh, if one of the mods could write down the timestamp real quick, that'd be awesome. Uh, just so it can appear in the bottom left corner. If you're watching the VOD, um, uh, he'll be there. Um, you know, if you want the giant doodle. We also have a regular doodle plush. Uh, I don't have one in this room. But I'll come back with one. Um, so uh, go buy him at collectorsanxiety.com. All right, I'll be right back for about two to three minutes.
Hi, I'm back. Um, I'm going to grab some water as well while I'm out. Um, so just heads up. Uh, I do plan on streaming for about 10 hours today. So we're about the halfway mark um, of uh, of today's live stream. Um, uh, so I'm going to just make sure that um, I'm going to, you know, uh, uh, be good with it. So I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water. Uh, I also have some uh, soup cooking right now. Uh, so I'm going to uh grab that too so uh we're gonna yeah i know i drink water it's crazy guys of ironmon we're gonna do kaizo ironmon in about uh six hours so i'm doing about 10 hours of this which is fun uh and i'm really excited for it and then i'm gonna do another hour of kaizo ironmon just on twitch uh, i'm live streaming on both youtube and twitch right now for this which is really cool shouts to, hi youtube chat hello uh and then also hi twitch chat hello um so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Oop. Silence. All right, back. Thanks for waiting, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for enjoying, by the way. I also appreciate that. That's super cool of you. What's the helmet? Soup is water with extra steps. I mean, it is. You're not wrong. Well, again, email once doodles underway. Yep. Uh, CollectorsAnxiety.com. Go grab it. Ooh, that's a hot. All right. Let's uh, let's go warp to the rift and let's go do the rift. <laughs> My sister texts me, Echoes of Wisdom. It looks like Pokemon. Is that the right one? Yes. I don't understand where the connection of that it looks like Pokemon comes from. But, sure. Cute art style. Uh, to catch you guys up, in case you guys are uh, coming into the stream and you don't know what this is. 
I know it probably looks like BDSP. Um, uh, it, it, but it's also hilarious because it, you're casting Pokemon technically. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, in a funny, in, in a fun way, uh, my sister is on a flight and about to be on like an 18-hour flight, and so she wants to download a new game. And I was like, hey, do you recommend to download Echoes of Wisdom? And I was like, yeah, I really like it so far. She says different than what I expected. Um. Let me ask her if she's played Breath of the Wild, actually. Wait, have you played Breath of the Wild? Would you recommend chat about, um, would you recommend Breath of the Wild for a newcomer uh, to a Zelda franchise? No, I wouldn't recommend Tears of the Kingdom. I would recommend Breath of the Wild over Tears of the Kingdom, just personally. Yeah. No. They loved it if uh, for the first one. First Zelda game. I feel like it's most of your first Zelda games too. It was a really big entry point for the series. Okay. It can definitely be overwhelming. So. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go to the rift. Oh my god, not you though. God damn it. Bunny Banana, thanks for the 53 months. Thanks guys so much for um for stopping by. Thanks for enjoying uh the streams as you guys have. Alright, here we go. I'll let you know what she says. Okay, so last where we left off. Sorry, we went on a, a whole Oh, she says no. Okay. Right. Um uh, check out the trailers for both. Um, oh, it's like, I don't know. Do I recommend Breath of the Wild or do I recommend Echoes of Wisdom? Ah, uh, just to play. Has she played Stardew Valley? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, she really liked, uh, Animal Crossing. I got her one of the Animal Crossing switches, like the nice, like blue uh, ones. All right, I'd try that or both. Whichever one looks better to you. I've met her echoes, true. If you want more of a linear experience, uh, Echoes of Wisdom. Classic Zelda. If you want a beautiful open world definitive game of the decade, <laughs> but a little overwhelming. Breath of the Wild. She says she doesn't know what to pick. Hmm. It's not a very Zelda ish Zelda game, yeah. Sorry, I know this is important to me. That's why we're doing this. Because I love my sister and I want her to have a great time. Um, she sounds like Breath of the Wild sounds like a better investment. Yeah. Um. Uh. You know what? I'll say Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I'd say I'm going to have her do Breath of the Wild, I think. Uh, we'll see what she thinks about it. Um, I'll, um, what's really funny is that she's going to be on this plane flight until after tomorrow's stream. Bloomfield, thanks for the prime. Well, no, mid, sorry. 
if she leaves now or ish now and it's like 18 hours then yeah yeah it'll be about the end of tomorrow's stream that's the plane flight yeah so uh so uh, I, about this time tomorrow if not later later i'll let you know what she thinks all right cool so um we did a couple things um we went over here to the rift and everything oh whoa what's 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 in the rift like everything else um checked it out but turns out i wanted to explore a little bit more of the oasis so i did <laughs> So we explored a little bit more of the Oasis and also grew to town and they led us back to the Rift. And uh, basically, in order to get to the Rift, um, uh, Try says, hey, go here. This is where my friends are, right over here. Um, but we can't really get underneath the sand. So Try mentioned to talk to this Gerudo soldier for maybe some help. You're not Gerudo, what do you want? Get through the sand? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> right, one second. Get through the sand? Oh no, you aren't getting past me. Oh, I almost uh, died. Uh, only those authorized by our chief are allowed to entry. Now, go home. I don't think she's going to move. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. What was that? Is someone hurt? I have to stay at my post. Otherwise, I'd go see what's going on. Uh, all right, something's happening over here. Oh, is that, is that the chief? Is she okay? Oh no, oh no. All right, hello. Hi there. All right, Beef, take care of them. Beef, take off their toenails. Actually insane. Nice. Uh, what happened? The monsters, they're gone? Did you defeat them? For me? Uh, it seems they posed no threat to you, and yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you. You saved my life. I suppose I should introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dona, the captain of the Gerudo Warriors. What's your name? I'm Zelda. Oh, nice to meet you, Zelda. <laughs> I sounded exactly like her. So, what brings you out this way? Uh, so much for a disguise, by the way, you know? I see, I see. You're traveling around fixing rifts. Uh-huh. You're fixing rifts? Pardon my shock. It's just that the rifts have been causing us serious trouble lately. Uh, we heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. Uh, the rifts haven't gotten any smaller. It seems that the monsters keep coming without end, it seems. Uh, if we can rid ourselves of these cursed rifts, then no one else would end up getting hurt. Hey, Zelda. You think she might know how to get you under the sand? Uh, is everything all right, Zelda? Uh, you want to burrow under the sand? Well, the sanctum is beneath us. Oh, I understand now. You think you can get rid of the rift if you get into the sanctum? Oh. Normally, the entrance to the sanctum is where we're standing. But as you probably know, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. Oh. But first, we need to clear out the entrance. Well, why is it blocked up oh. in the first place? Oh, it was pulled into a large rift, and then tons of monsters became swarming out. Oh, and then blocked up the entrance. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That, that makes sense. Uh, how do we clear it, though? Oh. Uh, a soldier is guarding the back entrance. If we go through there, we can clear the sand out. Uh, of course, doing that would release the monsters as well. Our chief gave orders to keep it blocked for safety, so I'm not sure how to proceed. <coughs> if you want to get into the sanctum, we need climbing. All right. Uh, cool. Understood. All right. Sounds like we need to discuss things with the chief then. Save my life. I'll do. I'll do all I can to help you. Uh, let's meet up at the palace in Gruda Town. All right. Uh, I'll be waiting for you there. All right. So let's go to Gruda Town. Uh, and uh, talk to the chief. Good news uh, about all this is that we actually just already have the warp because we're that good at the game. <laughs> I like to explore everything first and then we go do the important stuff. My bad, okay? I understand, I get it. I like exploring the game, so sue me. Oh, my bad. All right. Uh, so, uh, let me in. Nice. This is Gruda Palace. Uh, all right. This is uh, where you guys are training. And I'm assuming this is where the other girl was blocking the entrance for. Yeah. And you're now gone. Okay, that's great. This Gruda town's great. Um, I personally like it a lot, uh, more than, like, 
Um, um, I personally like it a lot more than um, uh, Breath of the Wild Greater Town. I don't know. It just gives me better vibes, you know? Give me better vibes. Uh, all right. Hello. Ooh. Oh, you're not the chief. Okay. So you're fast set. Chief Sira, I have a report. Or oh, that's fast. This is fast set over here. And this is Chief Sira. Okay. I have a report coming in the blocked entrance. As predicted, the number of monsters is dwindling. Yes. Uh, Zelda, I've been waiting for you. Uh, Chief, this is the Hylian I was telling you about. Uh, with her help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift here in our desert. Uh, but in order to do that, she'll need to get into the Sanctum. Uh, if she can get rid of the rift, as she claims, we'll finally be able to be done with this long battle. Uh, to this end, will you please restore the entrance to the Sanctum? Uh, Captain Jonah, do you comprehend what you were asking? Uh, if you recall, after the Sanctum was consumed by the rift, the surge in monsters began. For the town safety, we blocked the sanctum entrance to prevent monsters from pouring out. Ah, uh, it's different. Not the monsters that are doing the... It's, it's like it's just treating the symptom, not the cause, you know? Since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters, which will fix into the rift. After that, we'll reclaim the sanctum. That was the plan. Or have you forgotten? Of course not. Uh, Facet, maybe uh, many of my warriors have been injured and the monsters keep coming. To top it off, we've defeated countless monsters, yet the rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. We should be acting with urgency to be rid of the rift as soon as possible, and Zelda can help. You can't expect us to trust this total stranger. We don't even know where she comes from. Ah, yes, it's the hood again. Mysterious. <laughs> You'll never know. Zelda, who? Ah, uh, you're the chief's daughter. I'm shocked by your severe lack of judgment. Boy. Peace, set. Oh. Pardon my words, she's Sierra, but I... Hmm. I don't... Uh, uh, I understand my concern you feel for the warriors. Also, yeah, Zelda, super common name, right, guys? Uh, like, everyone knows this. You guys all know a Zelda, right? I know a Zelda. You know a Zelda. We all know Zelda. I feel each injury to our warrior as though it were my own. That said, have you seen this Hylian eradicate a rift? I, uh, you only have just met the stranger yourself. How can you tell us to trust her? Well, I, Sarah, it seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now's not the time to be entertaining strangers and their claims. I mean, this is like totally valid, right? Like a random stranger comes in saying, hey, I can solve all of your problems, right? Like imagine like somebody comes into the, the, the United States of America and says like, hey, I can solve everything that's going on. I can't pick an issue. There's so many, um, but everything. And then you're like, yeah, we should trust them. It's like, what is going on? I don't know about this, you know? Uh, that's why you, that's why you, you go back. You're like, all right, what have you done in the past? Um, you should be wasting your time. This Hylian is clearly deceiving you. Uh, she saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda, and I will prove uh, that you can get rid of the rifts. No matter how many monsters they fight, the rift isn't going away on its own. Dona is correct about this. So why won't they trust us? I wonder. So we need to figure a way out to get them to trust us. Uh, so that they can open the sanctum. Interesting. I mean, that makes sense, you know? Uh, you there, Hylian. Uh, Captain Dona left a message for you on her way out. She mentioned that she's heading to the Oasis, and she'd like you to, to join her there. To get to the Oasis, head due east when you leave town. You can't miss it. All right. So we head to the Oasis, and maybe we can find a way for uh, the Gerudo can trust us, so then we can actually go to the Sanctum and uh, clear and fix the rift. Uh, all right. Yep. Hey, do you guys wanna? Do you guys wanna tumbleweed? I brought one for you. Okay, never mind. For the shot, you know. None of the rifts are shrinking yet. I see. Uh, thank you for your report. Get some rest before you return to pull the rifts. Also, uh, bye, wallet guy. Good to see you here. Ooh. I just still have your wallet. Uh, thanks for coming, Zelda. Let's talk over here. All right, the water here is so beautiful, don't you think? This place holds many memories for me. The chief, my mother. Oh, wow. Okay, this is more than just like a, a warrior chief dispute. This is actually like mother daughter. Wow. Okay. Uh, used to play here with me when I was little. She would tell me to look at the severe, the serene water, to keep my mind and heart calm like the water. Basset took up training my, uh, Basset took up my training rather than my mother, because my mother was busy as chief. Basset trained the others too. 
Thanks to her and mother, we are the Gerudo you see today. I have so much respect for both of them, but I can't stand by and watch things get worse. Ooh. I believe you can fix the rift, Zelda. And so I wonder how we can prove to my mother and Facet that you're being so honest. Aside from the big rift at the Sanctum, there are also three small rifts elsewhere in the desert. I'd like uh, for you to see if you can get rid of any of them. They're in the Southern Oasis Ruins, Ancestor Cave of Rest, and Southern Gruden Desert. Aww. Want to know more about the rifts? Uh, actually, we, we've seen all of them. Yeah. Uh, I trust you, Zelda. And if you get rid of the rift, I'm sure the chief will trust you too. Come talk to me again if you need more info on the rifts, okay? Yeah, nobody nobody in Gerudo has clearly heard of Zelda. Um, or they must just, like, think that Zelda's, like, a totally different person. I mean, it's a very common name, after all. Like, super common name. Yeah, there's a couple of big rifts here. So let's try... Chat, I'll let you guys choose. Do we go uh, middle, left, or right? What do you guys think? I see a lot of middles. Okay. All right, let's go to the middle. Uh, Miss Toots McFoots, thanks for the Prime Gaming earlier, by the way. And thanks for all the follows, dude. If you guys are enjoying the stream, uh, either on YouTube or on Twitch, um, feel free to subscribe on YouTube or follow on Twitch as well. It's free. Let's you know when I stream this next, which will be on um, uh, tomorrow, uh, probably around 10 a.m. as well. Or 9 a.m. We'll figure it out. I think I'm, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, but, uh, particularly that's, that's where it is. Okay. So we've been through here before. This is the, something that we were uh, checking earlier. Yeah. So I've been over here, but I couldn't check it out. We're just here. I'll all gone out. What am I going to do? All right. So we have completed this part, but I wasn't able to actually do it because, um, well, I didn't get the main quest. It looks like so. Oh, machine. Thanks for the prime gaming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we've already literally completed all of this, which is really funny. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to like, <laughs> we're going to walk our way through this because we've quite literally actually have already done the, the solution to this. All right. Nice. Uh, okay, so then if we just set these on fire, we should be good now. Right? I think so. Okay, that's one. And two. Okay, so now it works. <laughs> oh, oh, it works now because... Okay, you know what? I like this. I like this. Rather than just randomly working anymore, right? Um, uh, It seems like the Gerudo lady had to be there, right? So that she could open the coffin or anything, right? <laughs> We can rest peacefully now. Yeah. Please go tell my descendant that all is well. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there they are. The torch is lit again. Uh, so you lit them, but how? Uh, I'm special. I'm really oh. cool. Uh, you found a secret passageway to the grave? I didn't know one existed. And the Gerudo over there wanted you to talk to me? Uh, so weird. I thought I was the only one here. Anyways, thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. I'm sure the ancestors are happy too. Thank you. Weird. I'm not seeing anywhere I can create an opening uh, into the rift. Uh, we won't be able to get in here. Okay. All right, so we got this one. Uh, so we have left and right next uh, to figure out with the, these rifts. All right, so let's try left or right, guys. Chat left or right. Interesting, though. We weren't able to actually fix this part of the rift. So, hmm. Left? Okay. I see a lot of lefts.
Okay. Yeah. So we weren't able to get into the rift. Interesting. I wonder why. Ugh. Water. Well, do I have the smoothies for you? What's wrong? We've been keeping post here at the rift without any rest. We ran out of water while fighting the monsters. We're about ready to collapse. I'm so thirsty, I can't even move anymore. You gotta drink something right away. Water won't be enough. You need a drink that can both hydrate you and provide nutrients. Um. <sighs> okay. Can you go to the oasis and buy a cactus smoothie? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can make smoothies. Uh, I have a, I have a couple different smoothies I've made before. Uh, do you want this one, the unfortunate smoothie? It looks appetizing. Uh, so what I'm hearing right now is that we're like a DoorDash, Uber Eats, kind of like delivery driver. I think that's hype. I think it's hype. All right. Uh, so a double chili smoothie coming right up. Uh, yep. Yeah. Double chili cactus. Let's try it. Guys, have you ever had cactus before? Like to eat? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, cactus smoothie. Got it. Nice. Now, if I'm not mistaken, two, four, six, ten. That's it. You've made all the recipes we asked for. Oh, I have made enough smoothies here that you're going to give me a reward. With that many items on the menu, every customer will find something to like. Here's a reward for helping expand the shop's menu. A survey scope. The special spyglass makes smoothie ingredients and monster stones appear a little more often when you break objects or defeat monsters. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. We've got playing the menu uh, right now. Or that's what I'd like to say, but now that we've experienced the cool mouthful of success, I want to expand our menu again. 20 more new recipes? Oh my God. We're going to be here all day making new recipes. All right. We got to come back and do that for sure. 1000%. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that might be actually a better item than our heart appearance up. Because we can always uh, just do heart appearance. You know? Like, by just sleeping in a bed. You know? Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Right? So we go, oh, look. We're going to gain new hearts. Um, nice. Um, so, really fast to do that. Um, which is just better than that of just finding hearts randomly. So I think if we just find more materials. We can actually just make more smoothies to find more materials to make more smoothies. And then we just like good to go. And it's just like cyclical from there. All right, let's go give the cactus smoothie to this girl. I can't go on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah. So thirsty. I, I have the cactus smoothie. Oh, I give it to you. All right. Everyone drink up. I feel rejuvenated. Oh, I feel so much better already. Thank you. Now we can get back to patrolling. Uh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all feeling refreshed. Huh? I better get back to the Oasis. See you, Zelda. Great. Uh, I still didn't do the rift, though. There's nowhere for me to create an entrance to the rift, though. Still. We haven't been able to uh, clear any of these small rifts, which is a little bit unfortunate. That's kind of like our goal right now. But we are helping people around uh, Gerudo, uh, which is a uh, consolation in itself. And then we'll, and then I don't know. Do you guys want me to make more smoothies? We could do that. All right. Hi, guys. Uh, uh, hey, are you hanging in there? Yeah, sort of. Actually, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> We're defeating wave after wave of these things, but they keep coming. But this is the right rift. Uh, the last rift of the three that we were asked uh, or, or thought that we could close. Uh, did you get here? It's not safe here. Monsters keep coming after us. Oh, I, I love the design of these like shadow monsters too. They're so good. Just like that. 
I'm oh, sorry. Just like that. Oh, my muscles are locking up at this point. All right, let's beat these guys. And do you know what? Let's try. Let's try a new person here. Um, let's go with the dark nut. Uh, a dark nut and. Oh, I don't know. What's a what's a what's a good one? What's a good one cost? I guess a keys. Yeah. Oh, with the Redeads. Okay. Yeah, we gotta. The only way I know how to actually beat Redeads is uh, with beef. So. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, I love the arc that the Dark Nut makes because he hits multiple at once. Also, he's super tanky. I mean, look at him. Wait, the Dark Nut, I think, is actually the way to beat the, the Redeads. Uh, at least over beef. He's got, one big, he's got one big old swing, but it works really well. And they can't, like, uh, it's a blunt attack, right? So it can't really, like, hit him. Nice. Can't believe we're the ones being saved. Uh, well, at least the monsters seem to have mopped up for the time being. All right. Now, if the rift would go away, uh, maybe we can find an entrance to the rift here. Uh, we haven't been able to for the, uh, for the other two rifts. Ah, can't do it. We won't be able to get into this one either. All right, what do you think, Dona? How's it gone so far? Were you able to get rid of any of the rifts? Uh, you couldn't get rid of them, which means getting you into the sanctum is the only way we'll solve things. But we don't have a way, any way to do that right now. Oh. Huh. Captain Dona! We received a message from Lady Facet. She wants to know whether or not you've been able to see evidence of Zelda's powers yet. Uh, she commands that you bring the high lane and provide her a status update. Uh. We're screwed. <laughs> so be it. We haven't found a way to prove your ability yet, but we better go check in regardless. I'll go ahead to the palace. Come and meet me there later. All right. So we, we've done a, a whole bunch of uh, attempts, but we haven't been able to like find an entrance to rifts to close them. Probably because it's part of one giant rift and we wouldn't be able to like actually piece them together. It happens, you know, but... All right. Let's uh let's go talk to the Gerudo chief and like plead our innocence slash like hey can you like please like actually let us do it I'd really like to close this rift that'd be awesome thank you uh tell us Captain Dona have you managed to find proof that she can fix the rifts no not yet but if you would listen to what she has to say then you'll you've returned to us with nothing I hate Facet Facet you suck. I mean, like, it's valid that you're saying this. I totally understand, but, like, I hate you. Um, <laughs> you return to us with... It, I hate you because you inconvenience me. Not because you're a bad person. Um, do you return us with nothing? After swearing, you would find proof of her capabilities. Clearly, this is some sort of joke. The stranger has you entirely deceived. Yeah. No, she doesn't. For what reasons should you be... Uh, would she be deceiving me? To what end? Ah. You've been working with me to prove that she can get rid of the rifts since we last spoke. Would she be running all over the desert like that simply to have a laugh at my expense? Yeah? Anyways. Um, I know she's telling the truth. And I'm willing to give her the opportunity to prove it to you too. I can't stand by while my warriors, my friends, are being wounded on the battlefield. I trust Zelda and I know she can get rid of the rips. We just have to give her the chance. I'll just take full responsibility for what happens. Please, Chief Sira. Let us enter the sanctum. Donut, you are willing to risk your honor as a warrior and to place your trust in this person. Huh? I am. Hmm. You've grown so strong, my daughter. I, too, can no longer stand by while my people suffer. Seeing you put your honor on the line inspires me to place my own trust in this person. Oh. Chief Sira, you cannot be serious. Fast set, can you kindly I, like take your whatever garb that you are wearing and like bundle up and like shove it down your throat. Thank you. Very much. If we remove the sand from the sanctum, we'll once again be overrun by monsters. Huh. Do you forget that I'm a warrior, Facet? I will hold the monsters at bay. Huh. You're being ridiculous. Are you really think you can hold back waves of monsters on your own? Bye. She won't be on her own. <laughs> huh? It's all the warriors that we saved and helped out. That's awesome. Why are you here? We overheard your discussion. Chief Sierra, Lady Facet, 
this young lady has helped all of us. Through the power of smoothies and... Honestly, that's really it. Um, we have helped out all of these warriors in the Gerudo village. We're girl bossing right now, yeah. This young lady has helped all of us. She helped me at the cave of our ancestors. She aided us as well. She's able to rid us of these horrible rifts, and we'll do all we can to support her. Captain Donna, we stand at your side. Take, this joke's taking way too long. One second. <laughs> this joke is taking way too long for the bit. It's not even as funny as I want it to be anymore. Um, so, like, could you rate me five stars or something? I, I was really good at my job. <laughs> or, uh, no, I mean, entrance to the Sanctum also works too, you know? Hmm. Uh, Facet, you heard our warriors. Are you now willing to hear this Zelda out? Uh -huh. Of course not. What are you saying? What a wretched excuse for a chief. He's trying to deceive you. Take advantage of you. Can you not see her true character? <laughs> Guards! This girl has ill intentions. Is here to see us, Gerudo. Throw her in jail at once. <laughs> Been there, done that. You should have seen what happened to the soldiers. It was crazy. <laughs> Chusira, we've got trouble. What is it? A rift at the ruins in the eastern desert grew. And a bunch of our warriors were taken by it. No. Take me there at once, soldier. Yes, Chief Sierra. Yo. Onward, warriors! Oh. Of course, Chief Sierra. Oh. Chief Sierra, please, you must wait! Girl. <laughs> All right, the rift expanded. I might be able to create an entrance there, man. Okay, let's follow them. All right, we can save them all. Okay. Wow. Uh oh, over here. Oh, what? Okay, so maybe we can make an yeah, maybe we can have an entrance in this part of the rift to close this one. Ooh, good point, good point. And that's the exact spot that we saw before, uh, where I was like wondering where like all the statues and stuff were, and why it was just like an empty square. Hello. We're just going to walk through here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. All right. We're good. Yeah. Over here. Our warriors are inside this rift. Yeah. Don't get too close. We've got to save them. But how? I said, following your counsel, we have tirelessly worked to defeat the monsters. Mm -hmm. Tell me then, why has this rift gotten bigger? Mm -hmm. Perhaps we have yet to defeat enough monsters. I said, I swear to God, you are a, like... Speaking of, like, faucets, you were a goddamn faucet of lies, right? This is a faucet of deceptions. You were a cowardly, a bitch ass motherfucker. Like, it was. I swear to God, I would have. <clears throat> That's it. You could be doing better as a, as an advisor. I understand that, like, you want to go safety, but, like, at this point, it's kind of like deaf content, you know? Yeah. Uh, don't be absurd. Our soldiers have been taken. Do you really think I'd leave them behind? Uh, will I? Hey, anyone else in chat? Um, <laughs> hey, hey, that's right. 
Do I have a smoothie for you? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, uh, any facet haters in chat? I sat bowling or cancel. We've tirelessly worked to defeat the monster. Mm -hmm. I swear, come back. All right, we're in the city. Okay. All right. With the power of smoothies at my side, let's jump into the rift. Came back, Zelda. With beef and smoothies, I think we can clear and fix this rift. Zelda, is that... You can enter the rift here and get rid of it? And you'll be able to get my friends out too? Oh, thank goodness. Please. Whatever you need to do. Let's do it, guys. Second dungeon. This is the still world. I, st I still love how, like, the actual rift itself is, like, mirrored here. It's literally just a different dimension of where all this is. Ah, oh, it's so cool. And so I can sense my friends here. They're not moving at all. I get the feeling they're trapped or something. Yeah, just like the last time. If we rescue them, we'll be able to mend the rift. And sense my friends in five different areas. They're somehow in this area here. Let's find them and rescue them. Okay. The top right has a little area uh, indicating how many we've gotten. Oh, whoa. You can see the, the Grudo girl uh, who's falling into the rift. It's so creepy. Ooh, what is this? Speaking of creepiness, oh my god. This thing's crazy. Yeah, this thing's also multi-layered. What the hell? Okay. Can we go across here? <laughs> I'm so surprised. Wait, I kind of love that. That's kind of funny. Yeah. That's cool. All right, let's go down. Yeah, the still world's pretty cool here. Oh, wait. Are these one of the floating blocks? Wait, if I can, like, deal damage to this and, like, summon this. Oh, uh, that's that's actually, like, a quest. Yeah, it is! Ho-ho! Yeah! We can do it! Uh, of, uh, a plot boom. Unusual monster that tries to crush anything that approaches. The brave uh, can ride it up to high places, however. Oh, that's that's so awesome. So I can like do this, right? Place this down and then ride it up. Awesome. We be Oh god, I'm going to make this reference and I'm so sorry in advance. We bring the plot boom to you. I'm sorry. All right, I got one. Hey, chat, yeah, is Echoes of Wisdom a boom or a doom? You choose your decision. There's a, I, I love how that's also just like a reference that like will not stand the test of time for this playthrough. Don't include it in the... <laughs> All right, let's check this. Nice. Okay, so this is... All right, so that's one of the five uh, different uh, tries that have been corrupted, it looks like. Uh, which is great. That's awesome. So we got one of the five. Editors include it? No. They don't have to. Don't include it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head over, see what else we got here. I can make reality whatever I want. Mm. Whoa, okay, so the next one is up here. Interesting. I wonder I wonder what a plot boom looks like. It does go 
Wait, that's actually awesome. Can I do this? And then be brought up. Oh, wait, one second, one second. Let me do it like this. I can bring a platform here, right? And then... Um, wait, let me, let me do it like this. And then X. Oh, I want to release it. But in such a way where I can, like, be on here. Okay. So it's going to go up. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that's so creative. I love that. All right, that's the second one. Yeah, that's a really awesome way to get up now. And now I can just go up here. That's, that's great. So if I ever want to get back up here, then I can do the same thing. I wish I don't have to. I can just go up here now. But now we have, like, a really awesome uh, vertical ability. So if I ever want to, like, truly get vertical, right, I can just do this. Um, well, I guess I still have to make, like, a entrance or thing, right? So, like, not a soft bed, but, like, a regular bed would work, right? Uh, so I'd, I'd go like this, and then I'd have to jump up to there. Right? So we go up here, and then now we're good. Okay. But that's still, like, a really good option to have just for later. All right. Let's find the other ones. Uh, whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa. The sand shark's on the side. This is so trippy. Okay, so then I have to build like a... We don't have to, like... Oh, I think a better way to do this is like this. Double bed up here. And then bed to the side. Okay. Bed bridge. Oh, I can make... Wait. I forgot. I can do four beds now. Oh, geez. <laughs> wait. If I do this, I can damage him. That's so funny. Okay. The old bed strat. And I can get up here and I don't have to worry about anything else. Ah, creative platforming. Okay. Yeah, I think we get another try power if we... Yeah, we get another try power if we actually complete this dungeon. Which means we can get more beds for a bigger bed bridge. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Watch this, watch this, guys. Watch this. I don't actually have to complete the rest of this. I can just do like a... Oh, really? Uh, then let me do uh, the table here. Nice. Get up here. Awesome. And then I just go down here. And then we're good. <laughs> you can... I love how you can like... It's not like a wrong answer, but you can kind of skip the puzzle by going around it. Oh, this is such a satisfying like... Such a satisfying puzzle game. That's what I'm liking so far. Uh, like the most about it, personally. Does it, all the breads break if I do that? It does. Just, just one. Get a little bit of an idea. Unintended proper solution. Not even unintended. That is the proper solution. Thank you very much. Okay, so... What do I want to do? Honestly, we can just do these beds, you know? Oh, come on. Right. The side path solution, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wait, it made the, the enemy fall outside the map. That's funny. But it's flying, so it doesn't really matter. God, that's so cool. Oh, I gotta I gotta heal. Yeah, guys, I can do these puzzles in my sleep. Look at this. Easy. Nap time. Good night, chat. Uh, oh, I can't sleep again because this is the way. Sorry, beef. 
Yeah, the fastest way to sleep is actually by resting and then getting back up. Oopsies. Oh, because I have to do this. Okay. Okay, so if I do this and this, that's not nearly enough to get up here. Ah, but, 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 but. What I currently have is this plat boom. I can summon. Oh, that didn't work very well. Uh, I can just, honestly. I feel like this is just like an insane combo. <laughs> just doing this. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, I gotta release this. You don't go higher? Why don't you higher? Oh, now you go higher. Okay, so the original one can only go as high as you initially have it go. Okay. Cool. Whoa. Who are you? Uh, isn't this Facet? But she was just outside. Serves your right, girl! Serves your... Wait. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! It's an evil Facet! It's exactly what happened to General Right and, and Minister Left and everything. Where, where, where uh, Facet originally fell into one of the rifts and then an evil version came out and was like, oh, you don't actually need to get rid of the rifts, you know? Ha! Right into the uh, chief's ear. Oh, an imposter! I wonder why she's in here. That's awesome. Uh, I feel as if uh, this uh, this platform uh, monster is going to be like my most used monster now. <laughs> Aside from beef and beds. All right, that's another third one. Or that's the fourth one. There's one more to find. Um, and let's see where... We're, where have we not discovered yet? Hmm... I mean, I guess we, uh, I need to find, okay. Be somewhere. Oh, I checked out the bottom. Yeah, I checked out the bottom there. Where is left? <laughs> so not down there. Um, in case you guys are curious, I don't think, uh, falling off the map is the solution. Could be, you know, we never know, but like that's just like my 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 theory, my postulate here, you know. It's possible that it isn't. Yeah, I've been everywhere here. We checked over here in this we already went over here. Uh, we we did all this. It's not in there. The spoilers? No? What do you mean the spoilers? Uh, no, there's no spoilers in chat. Oh, good. Okay. Mm, let me go do this. Okay, so I need to find out where the hell another thing is. Oh, maybe they went uh, for themselves because they came to chat. Oh, true. Well, I can't block that. <laughs> uh, it has the category of uh, stream that I'm streaming under. <laughs> uh, so, any... Ooh, damn it. So, unfortunately, any, any spoilers that you incur popping my stream... Out of the fault of my own. I've tried my best. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay. I mean, I've already gone through all of this. I've already done all of this. This is where another one was. 
Yeah. And then we just went back here. Am I blind? I, I feel like I must, uh, I, I must be. Where the fuck am I? Sorry, guys. I feel like this part was inspired a little bit by Tinnick. Oh, it had to be. Oh, it had to be for sure. Which is awesome. I mean, uh, two, two, you know, uh, like minds, you know, great minds think alike, you know, so. I call it, it could also be totally independent, but. Oh, this? Oh, I didn't even see that. Can you even see it? How do I get there? What the hell? Oh, I guess from where I was. Okay. All right, let's bed bridge. Is this bed war, guys? So bed bridge up here. Oh, and then this. Okay, then this is it. Okay. And then now we use beds. Okay. Dude, the amount of... <laughs> Dude, I love... This is so funny. All right, there we go. And I need to break this open. I don't think I've... Have I ever broken a... Oh, I wonder... You know what? I wonder if I can, like... Yeah, it, it's very not obvious to the eye. Um, so we plot boom here. Okay. Let me do it like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna... Summon a boulder at the top here. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh new problem. It just stacked it. Um. Okay. I probably have like a rock breaker thing here. Oh my god. What am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Need to press X. Oh, Alunatic, uh, please don't back please. Uh, I didn't see that there. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, now we come in uh, this roof. Nice. All right, so that's the fifth one. Nice. All right, here we go. And that's all of them. Okay. My friend shared some of their power with me. That wasn't a lot, though. <laughs> that was not as much as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought we were going to get a full new level. All right, let's get back to your world now. Okay. I guess no boss. Well, yeah, I guess no boss. Uh, Zelda! Uh, where am I? Last I remember, I was pulled into a rift. Stabby, thanks for the 39 months. Really relieved everyone's back safely. She really did it? The rift, it's, it's gone. We saw it with our own eyes. Oh, this is the small rift. This is the small rift. What's that? Where, where are you going? <laughs> the other facets in the in the in the far corner over here. Yeah. We shouldn't leave the palace unguarded. I must hurry back. Ugh. Yeah. Huh. 
Sick them, boys! What happened to me? No. A set? There are two of you? Chief Sierra, Captain Dona, what has happened? We're wondering the same. How did you get here? I was looking into the rifts here in the desert. And then, oh, oh yes, I was pulled into a rift. I see. <laughs> That's the whole like, huh. Where's the emergency button when you need it? Chief Sierra. I recommend extreme caution. She came out of the rift after all. She could be some kind of monster. Yes, that's it. You don't actually think I trust you, do you? Ah! You're not going anywhere. Ooh. Where did she go? She vanished? So she was a fraud after all. My set made many questionable remarks ever since the rifts appeared. She spoke of a legend that promised defeating monsters would eliminate the rifts. Eh. Burying the entrance to the sanctum was also her idea. Uh. She only suggested it when she heard that the rift in the forest had been eradicated. Now I reflect upon it, she must have intended to keep Zelda away from the rift. Uh. But why? Uh. Because she didn't want the rift to be fixed. Uh. Zelda, although we were deceived by the false facet, I apologize for how we treated you. You have provided permission to restore the entrance to the sanctum, and you have my blessing. I know it's selfish for me to ask, but you must use your power to help me and my people. Ooh. All right. Ah. Thank you so much, Chief. Oh. Entrance to the sanctum sits at the base of the quicksand flow in the southern desert. The cave that drained the sand was unplugged, causing the flow to submerge the entrance. Oh. Go speak to the guard at the cave and tell her what has transpired. Oh. Yes, Chief Sierra. All right. And then we go into the big rift and fix it. That's cool. <laughs> Once you are ready, please head to the Sanctum. We're counting on you, Zelda. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's finally go to the Rift in the Gerudo Desert and hopefully fix it and close it. I was like, I was like, oh, we got like a little bit of like the 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 tri power, but or the tri force. <laughs> um. So I was like wondering what was happening. This was like no boss or anything. I was like, oh, that's actually, it was just the small rift that we cleared here, uh, but not the large rift. So let's go clear the large rift now. Uh, I've informed of the situation. The plug stopped from the, uh, I've been informed of the situation. The plug stopping the quicksand is just through here. But the place is swarming with monsters. I haven't been able to get past them. To think that all uh, needed was done to pull the plug, to think all that was needed to, to think that all that needed to be done was to pull that plug to drain the sand. Nailed it. So we need to pull the plug so we can get to the rift entrance. Let's go Zelda. All right. Let's go to the sanctum. English is hard sometimes, man. Uh, hello? Who? What the hell is you? Um... Okay. Um, what can I do here? Uh, let's try uh, Camaradillo. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, you you click that with your um, nice, awesome. We did it with your beak. Oh, that worked out really well. Awesome. Oh, so, okay. Uh, we have a key there. We have a lot of blowers here. Okay. So, let's get our boulder out here. Oh, uh, let's go to the first entrance here. Let's go to the first entrance. Didn't mean to do any of that. That's cool. I'm just gonna call this one. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I like. 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 I was like. Mm, I know exactly. It's just like. I. I I'm, I'm just. Okay. Don't even worry. Big parrot. Thanks for the nice six months. Don't even chat. Don't even like. It, ugh, God. This, this is like the worst gameplay you've ever seen in your goddamn life. You're like, oh, poker. That's my streamer. Yep. I'm your streamer. That's it. That's me. I. That's me. I am your streamer. I right, sometimes just like not placing where I want it to be. Hello. 
Okay, so it's the same deal here where you just place these. I wonder if I can, like, kill one of them, though, so I can receive it. Okay, that's rude, actually. <laughs> Let me try that. I want one. So what I've from what I've learned of this game, you can do it if you wanted to. Okay, no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe actually not. Um, well, actually, maybe yes, you can. If I have a GUI, maybe. Oh, you can. It can. Okay, because it's, it's the eyes on top. Maybe. I don't know. I want you to attack this one, please. Oh, oh, we did get one. Nice. Uh, you learned the Pathblade Echo. This monster charges ahead, spinning its sharp blades, then returns to its starting point. Its unending motion blocks paths. Uh, this is great because we have added another thing to our Beyblade collection. I fell, I fell again. Right, then we go up. Okay. Uh, can I do this and then... Uh... Actually, I can just go over here. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm super good at this game. Look at me go! This Pokedex is crazy. Oh, yeah. What, what can I say? I'm not going for 100% of the game, but so far, we're, we've gotten a decent chunk, I feel like, you know? Which, which makes me, like, really happy about that. I still feel like I, I I still feel like the the bed strat where you get up and then sleep and then get up and then sleep, right? Is just so funny. It's just hilarious. Yo, Pia, thanks for the uh, hundred euros. Oh my god, did I get that right? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, where does this game experience rank so far? Meeting expectations are completely different. Above expectations. Really good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So these are uh, mummies. Um, well, you know what to do when mummies are, are here. We send out beef. <laughs> That's it. Nice. All right. Mummy. The Gibdo Echo. I love it. A banished monster that can stop foes in their tracks. It's weak to fire, though, and will flee in panic if exposed to it. Oh, gotcha. Good to know. So uh, let's just let's just do the weak to fire bit uh, here, because I, I don't think I've uh, really explored too much of, like, a weakness, kind of, uh, you know? I can just do that. Okay. Uh, or you just destroy it in one hit. Nice. Yeah, it starts running away and everything. That's cool. Feels like uh, Tears of the Kingdom menus. Nice. All right. Uh, you got a small key. You can open a locked door. Cool. Um. Yeah. Uh. Next time. Yeah. Next time mods. By the way, uh, if we can maybe put. Um. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I think a lot of people for some reason just don't know what backseating is, which is like fair. I guess it's like slang. Um, if we can edit these, uh, the pins and say no spoilers or help. Uh, that might be a little bit more clear. All right. Go beef! No, I appreciate you wanting help, though. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Let's go beef! Dude, I, I, dude, what? Dude, crazy, crazy. I hope we get a beef level two. That would mean the absolute world to me. I really hope we get a beef level two. That'd be so cool. All right. Us. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, and that's uh, that's where we came out of. Okay, cool. That's like the least helpful uh, boulder I've ever spawned in my life. 
Is that okay? Yes. Thank you. All right, here we go. Entrance to the Sanctum. I've already drawn the perfect beef. Oh, did you put it in uh, Discord or Twitter? This? Oh, yeah, okay, this is covered. Right down here. You grow content in Discord. All right, let me check it. Um, okay. Micro content. As long as there's no spoilers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Actually adorable. Alright. Uh, how would we... I mean, I can just like, run. I haven't figured out a way how to defeat this yet. But so, what I'm thinking here... Like, I do this, and then do that, and then we're good. <laughs> Honestly, kind of based. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of sick with it. So how do we do this? Hmm. I have a couple of ideas. How we can do it. Okay. Uh, I don't really think I care about this pot. Do I? Oh, it's a fairy! Fairy on parents! Oh, it moved down. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So how do I, how would I do this? Okay. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I'll pop boom here. Okay. So if I do this and then I can do this. Oh, okay. We go here. Wait, 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 wait. Release this. Okay. We go. Oh, is the timing just like that? Oh, no, it's good. Oh, okay, fine. Fine, fine. We have to do it the, the, you know. Okay, cool. I didn't mean to do that. Dude, I, I don't know why it keeps doing something like that. Okay. okay, maybe a bed? Okay, it won't allow me to... What? Why? Maybe a trampoline? Okay. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's right there. Please. Please. Damn it. Okay. Yep. Okay. I just need to get on top of this thing. That's the problem. You know? Right. Here, watch this, watch this. Oh. oh, it worked! Somehow, for some reason. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, that works. <laughs> 
All that for 20 rupees. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. I didn't mean to. Oh, it cancels it out. That's cool. I don't think that's how that actually works, but you know. Uh, all right. So we need a. To... Uh, let me just on you, and then okay. Uh, and then I have made uh, I've made an error here. I've made several errors here. Big boy guy. Put you here. We do the same exact thing. The bed by the old guy. Nice. What? 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 Uh. <laughs> uh. I have... Not messed up the game, but... <laughs> Maybe I can get... Okay. Oh, I crushed it. Whoopsie. That's really funny. <laughs> How am I on this ledge? Yo, yo, Zella's calves must be crazy, man. Look at this, look at this one pixel right there. That one pixel of the foot makes us so we can actually stand on this. Can I put a bed on this? So funny. It's so funny though. <laughs> oh, that works. Right, here we go. Nice. Hey, right, great solution, right? This makes it so fun because all the solutions that, to these puzzles are just like wild. Or at least like I'm finding them wild. What the hell are you? Yeah, this is a Gibdo, but it's like a different Gibdo. New guy. Second, guys. So you guys uh come here. Okay, cool. Nice. I, I need it. I... Uh this is a gift of level two. Awesome. Terrifying and driven by vengeance, this bandaged horror transforms into a redead when set on fire. Whoa, that's cool. Uh okay. Well, this is this is a cool puzzle. You just pull this, right? <laughs> awesome. And that, I believe, is, yep, the entrance to the sanctum. <laughs> That's fun. That's really fun. I love the, I love the 3D, 2D kind of vibe there. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad you guys are having a lot of fun with this. Let's 
game's definitely pushed in the last year of the Switch. Oh, for sure. Uh, I'm excited for the Switch, too. Okay. Let's go to the Sanctum now. And see what's inside this rift. Here it is. I can create an entrance here. Let's do it! The Garuda Rift. Hey. Link! Oh, it's going to be an evil Link, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be an evil Link. Person a green tunic. Zelda wasn't that Link. Yeah, but the last time we saw him, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't himself, you know. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun dungeon, isn't it? Okay. Nice. Uh, all right. I do like the uh, traditional 2D platformer segment of uh, of Echoes of Wisdom, and I really love how they're also doing 3D, like simultaneously, back to back. It's so cool. All right, this is the beginning of the dungeon. It looks like and that was kind of like a little intro to it. Yep, the waypoints recorded. All right, let's see how uh, how I can solve this. Hey. Enemies. Oh, I can learn these tiles. Oh, this is the tiles that the, the, the one person was talking about. The flying tile echo. Oh! Uh, this magical floor tile uh, flies at any who come near. If you stay on top of it, you can briefly fly with it. Mm -hmm, cool. Do I just have to destroy all the flying tiles or something? All right, just dodge all of them. Cool. Nice. That's all we needed. Okay, so let me go... Let me Let me, let me take a look at this. Uh, new echo that we got. Flying tile. We can actually step on it and fly. Oh, whoa. That's cool. All right. That's pretty neat. Uh, I feel like we can definitely use that for some things. I don't know what yet, but we can. It's like our little, yeah, a little skateboard. Oh, we can definitely use it for this, something like this. Uh, what is this? Okay. So these, oh, these are the entrance to open. And then we need to find a way to get across there really fast. Uh, well, <laughs> you'll never guess what we just got. Nice. Uh, already a great use. Okay, so we can do this. Probably open it. Yep. Uh, let's go left or right side. Let's go left side. Read left or right. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. We got here. Probably a key. It is. I love dungeons. I specifically love Dun Dungeons and Zelda because they're so always like intuitive and you kind of like generally know what to do. It's just so, they're so well paced, you know? I, I love games like this. Because I'm not like rushing through these, but you can definitely like, you know. You can definitely speed it through them if you know what you're doing. All right, what is this? We got a cobra. Uh, the snake statue. Okay, what is this? Uh used for uh for running statue with a raised head and a coiled tail it's cool to eyes stare into the distance okay so this is probably just used as like a paperweight kind of deal we'll see how that goes fairies fairy enemies okay oh this is our first wait i didn't even know this a gift of level two is our first four uh try enemy cool it doesn't do much it just has like a lot of yeah uh, yeah so it looks like it doesn't do much, but it does have a lot of health, which is very important. Or, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it can't be beef. Okay, maybe it can be beef. These, okay. These fairies are crazy. I, okay, maybe maybe just early game, you know, uh, beef's good. But my god, it, it's getting tough for late game. You feel me? Like, beef, beef, beef cannot take much damage, is what I've learned. You know? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. okay let's, let's learn what these things are. These little fairy creatures. The Mothula. Mothman is real? 
This insect creature blasts through the air when it spots an enemy. While fast, it can't stop quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how, that's the, that's the, uh, that's how you defeat it. That's a little bit below it. So if, if it's going fast, then, uh, then we can pin it against the wall or stuff, you know? Yeah, so it's going to, it's going to like speed towards me and then break against the wall, but we can just also use beef. Nice. Okay, so it looks like with this dungeon, uh, because of the things poking out here, first off, warp stone right here. Second off, this is the boss key. We probably have to drain something down, so that's probably on the first floor. Uh, so that's kind of cool. All right, so this is a fire puzzle. Sorry, give me three to five business days. There it is. Okay, we're gonna do this. Right, we're gonna do this, we're gonna lift you, and then we'll throw you, and then you're on fire. Cool. Nice. Cool solution. Oh my god, I missed the apple! Oh damn. Alright, back to a 2D segment. So it seems like uh this really makes oh hello, all the 2D segments and 3D set. You are doing a lot of damage to me. Gamer, excuse me. All right, one second. Hi, Maisie. How's it going? Eric, you were in my dream last night. It's like you called me to watch your stream. Hey, anything for a viewer, you know? Anything for a view. I'll enter your dreams if I have to. Some call them nightmares, but, um, you know, anything for a view. Okay, let me go whole mill here. Get a hole in here. Nice. Open this. Okay. Golden egg. Uh, and then run down. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Uh, what is this? Okay, so first off, uh, warp stone. That's good. Uh, so we can always warp back here if we need to, but, um, whoa. Uh, seek two distinct tributes. Clues to the desired tributes are recorded somewhere on this floor. Uh, okay. They're probably in echoes. I'm going to try something. It's probably not going to work because I probably don't already have them. Uh, where's the last learned ones? Yeah, snake statues is what I'm, like, initially thinking, but I doubt it's actually that. Yeah, okay. Let's go left first. Whoa, what are you? It's a Poe? <laughs> hey, gamers! You know what we're doing here! Okay. All right. Come on. No. Okay. Maybe I have to do damage like this. Oh. I didn't realize uh, how uh, damaged I was. That did so much to me. All right. <laughs> One second, guys. Do I know I can eat a smoothie, but I can also just do this. <laughs> God, this is such a cheesy strat. I love it. All right. All right, wake up, chat. Wake up. Here we go. Like, I'm, I'm predicting that I have to maybe do this. Mm. Okay. Okay, nice. Got it. Not too bad. Got the Poe. Okay. Let's learn it. Uh, learn the Poe Echo. 
Uh, it's another four. It's another four try. That's great. A, mis uh, a mischievous a spirit that uses its lantern to set things on fire. When chased, it can slip through walls to escape. That's awesome. Uh, we got the dungeon map. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, and the still world. So let's check this out. Uh, dungeon map. Okay, we're going pretty linear so far. That's not too bad. Uh, we, yeah, we have another tool to make fire, which is great. Ooh. Hey, look. Yeah, we're outside the... That's where Link is. Okay. Uh, it's got to be Link. Where is he going? Uh, I guess we'll follow him. Doesn't hurt, right? I mean, it definitely does, but like, we'll, we'll follow him. Also, there's a... God, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, what's in here? Ah, oh, rupees! <laughs> yeah, we got it! I love that strat too, by the way, of using the platform and then uh, hooking onto it. Like the reverse hook onto it is actually such a great, like awesome strat. I wish I could like have favorites on, on the menu here, but uh, unfortunately you cannot. So I just go by last used. <laughs> Push it all the way off. I love it. That's great. What what a fun game this is so far. I'm having wait. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Okay. Uh, let's see. We gotta still go over here. Oh, the, we'll just use the expensive beds. Cause I got it like that, guys. Is something I moved to the side. Yeah, I think I know. Neato. All right, so so far so good. It's pretty linear, so it's going up. Yeah, I can't wait to watch all the uh, YouTube videos of the the top ten echoes that you can get early game to improve your, you know. Very funny. Uh, okay. Let me go. Oh, in this case, once again, really funny. Just platform, right? X, R. Oh, it's not going up. Oh, it is going up. Great. And then we're off to the side. Then we're good. <laughs> it's such a fun strat. I love that. Nice. Okay. And then we got this. Right. This is the outside. A point's been reached. You now warp here using that. Okay. Uh, the other use... Wait, actually, I want to try something. The other use for it is if I go here, right? Nice. Did it work? Oh, it did kind of work. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what's actually better than this? Um... Uh, we'll we'll try we'll we'll keep beef on here, real quick. Yeah, actually that's 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 pretty that's pretty bad. Uh, we keep beef there, but I think, dude, I mean, dark nuts getting just it's just even better, you know. Especially when it comes to the Gibdo, like the dark nut, it just can't take sh like anyone's shit, you know. It's just too good. All right, and then while you're doing that, uh, I'm gonna be a uh, a great passenger princess and go heal up. <laughs> keep keep going, my squire. Keep going. No, you got this. Oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. But not in bed with me. No, 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 I'm gonna go over here instead. You know, thanks for the help, but not not that much thanks. Uh, all right, let's go. Grab the wind cannon here. Ah, awesome. We got a monster stun. Cool. It's over here. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> Yo, it was inside of the building and then spawned behind me. Excuse me? Uh, rude? Beef, please, please, please. I need you, Beef. Thank you. That's so mean. All right, push them off the ledge. That's nice. That's not a skill issue, guys. Uh, what's over here? Seems like something special, so I'll go check it out. Okay. Also mean, also so mean and rude and uncalled for. Girl! Fucking what? Okay. At least I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting like a lot faster at using this, you know? Uh, all right, let's do this. I need to just need to get on top, I think. So let me, let me grab this. Okay, all the way down. Oh, I guess I I, I had to prompt it. Oops, like that. Cool. Uh, let's go over here. Nice. Uh, right. I, okay, those are gibdos. Those are gibdos. Those are gibdos. Those are gibdos. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm gonna go. Um, uh, just, uh do this real quick. And then now he's the dark nut over here. And then uh and then go back. <laughs> and then I do nothing else, and then we're all good. I'm just gonna wait for a bit here, you know. Don't worry about it. Uh How's the brain? Oh, thank you. Fire? Nah, why use fire when I can just like, you know, have my dark nut kill it? My squire. Like, isn't it going well? Five years later? Yeah, but we can also just like vibe, you know? How's it going, guys? How you guys, uh, how you guys liking stream? Fun, beautiful, okay. Wish you would read chat. You're crazy, but I don't think if you don't, you're crazy, but you don't think I read chat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, here, sleep. <laughs> All right, so I think I have to do the same thing for this one, but I need to find the jumping off points. All right. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, it's just I need to grab onto there and then move to the left here, I think. Yes. Got it. Or to the right. It was the same thing as the other one. I like this dungeon so far. Uh, well, I think it's great. What is this? learn the hawk statue oh that's one of the statues okay so we got the cobra statue and i think of the hawk statue i think it's one of them yeah yeah yeah. 
Uh, a pointed statue with folded wings and a hooked beak. Its sharp eyes stared into this. Oh, so we have both of them now. We have both statues. Oh, okay. So I knew... Okay. So the cobra is definitely one of them. Um, but the hawk is the other. That's great. That's great. Yeah. The, okay. You guys are cooked. If you eat hawk to a statue. Oh, guys, it's the hawk to... Oh. Get me on talk to it, you know? It's what the people want. How do I get across here? Oh, I can still maybe make it. I can't make it. I can't make it. Okay, let's try this. Eric, when will you be on Fortnite Friday? That's a great question. I'm just not popular enough, you know? Not popular enough. Nice, right, got it. Easy. Easy. Oh, wait, this is the other statue. Wait, there's three statues? There's also the Cobra. Oh, maybe I have to choose which ones? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right. Um. The best way to do this is with a dark nut, it looks like. Okay. And then uh, for funsies, because I have the extra fry with me. Let's go nab. I'm going to use. Uh, let's go cost. And then let's go grab. Um... I don't know, keys. And we'll just say, keep spying the keys while the dark nut, like, you know, it's hit. <laughs> and we'll be all good, you know? Nice. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to have that other keys there. Okay. Real. Great. All right. We're going to, uh, we're going to. We need to give a name to the Dark Knight. Oh, what should we name the Dark Knight? I'm thinking Squire. I like Squire. Like a lot. Like Squire is kind of great. D's? Okay, get. I get it. I get it. Because it's the Dark Knight. Yeah, I understand. Doesn't mean I like it. So in this, we got another statue, the cat statue echo. Um, it's cutting eyes staring into this. It's, all right, so we have three statues, but we had two. All right, we'll see where to go with this. Can I push you? Keep, I, I keep printing I can move things like this. Of course. Nice. Good warp there. This is a big dungeon, man. It's a big dungeon. All right, here we go. I love it. I love big dungeons. Whoa, okay. There's Link. Where was the red eyes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, killing it. There it is. There it is. All right. Uh, what's dropping from the... Okay. Uh, honestly, P-Hat, uh, Beef, you got this. Mm, you're being blocked, though. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> beef, <laughs> beef uh, put him into the caverns! That's awesome! All right, I can twirl to, to get rid of the... Uh... It looks like if he shoots the arrow at me, I can twirl to, 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 to get rid of it. I missed it, though. 
Nice. First phase done. Yeah. Oh, is there not a second phase? Oh, there is a sec. Oh, that, there's actually, it's like three phases. There's three of them in a row. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Oh my dear God. There's so many. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to have the sword fighter here. Okay. Nice. We got one. Okay. Oh, close. Come on. Come on, beef. We got this together. Nice. Got it. Woo. Are there going to be five of them next or something? No. No. Wait a second. We get the bow? It's like what happened with Facet and your people at the castle. Link was taken by the still world and replaced with an imposter too. Maybe you can help the real Link by fisting the red. We get the bow? Awesome, the bow of might. Now you can fire arrows by pressing X when the sword fighter phone. That's so cool. I love that. That's actually great. That's so good. All right, we're going to just sleep real quick. Don't worry. All right. Nice. I can't wait. That's so cool. Wow. There's so many awesome things in this game. Uh, so in this case, right, what I would normally do is it just gave us a thing, so we probably should be able to use it. We just use X here. And then we just uh, beat it like that. Oh, that's so... Wow, that's so neat. <laughs> I love that. Uh, same thing with with this here. Uh, we want to uh, shoot across. Nice. This game just makes me happy. Like, it's just satisfying. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Skateboard? Why skateboard? When I can bed. Come on. For real. Why does your energy meter go down slowly? Well, when you wake up in the morning and you're full of energy, do you have more at the end of the day? Next area. Can I? That's not going to turn off or anything. Yeah. Uh, okay. So... Imagine if a wind could affect this. That'd be cool. It doesn't. So. Um... Well, I wonder if I could, like... Can I just skip this puzzle? Theoretically, I should be able to technically, right? If I do this, then we go here. And then up. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, skip the puzzle, that's great. And we got another statue to learn. It's an elephant! Elephant statue. All right. Uh, press the statue with long trunk and polished chest. There's no eyes staring in the distance. Uh, all right. It's like, um, I'm good. Like, once you have, dude, once you have that, it's, like, I, I don't even know how to get past this. But I actually, I, I'll be real, I don't need to. I already found a speedrun strap. That's a lot of skipping in the game. So, which I wonder if you can get it off the side here. Oh, no, there's... <laughs> there's a ceiling. Uh-huh. Oh. 
Okay. Well, we already got a. Okay. Mm, I shouldn't be backtracking here. I should be backtracking, actually. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm correct. I'm correct. Anonymous, uh, thank you so much for um, uh, gifting us up. I appreciate it. You're weird, though. You should know that. Okay. All right, here we go. Dude, this is... This is... Oh, what a cool dungeon. All right, so then we go... Whoa, 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 whoa I missed it. It's up here. Yep, there it is. My strat is to just summon as many beds as possible, and then it kind of works. <laughs> Am I wrong? Move meeting to 8 a.m. Thank you. like a false wall. It is. Ah, he's too good. Also, chat, I know you guys uh, um, really want to help out and everything. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, just a reminder to not backseat help or spoil. Thank you. It's more fun if I figure it out myself. You'll have a more, exp uh, you'll have a better, t a better time as well. Yep. Oh, I can move. Things. Okay. Now uh, let me go. So you can turn it like that, okay? If you want to. I'm going to get as far as possible for this. That's pretty good. Oh, I can't move it. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to turn it off. I'll turn that one off too. I want to spew fire this way. Okay. Let's figure this out. But first off. Yeah. I can turn it that way. You, you turn on fire. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, it spews fire in a, a semicircle when it does that, right? Then how do I get this far thing on fire? What do I have at my disposal currently? Because there's there's this fan on top of this box, and I need the box to go away. I wonder if a floating tile would do it. Like I can I can uh, put the floating tile. And it'll hit the box. Nice. Awesome. Okay. And then, chat, what did I, dude, what did I just say about backseating? All right, here we go. We turn that way. Nice. 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 Over here. Then one more time. Oh, whoopsies. I fell off. Then I need to do this again. Will I reach that far? No, but what I can do is this. Okay. Yep. Yep. And then we go off this way. 
I fell, but it still worked. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Nice. We got it. Fixie, thanks for the eight months. Uh, it rests. It rests its wings atop a tower. It bears sharp eyes and a strong beak. I already got it. <laughs> I already got it though. It's a helpful clue. <laughs> well, all right. We go back. That's the boss key and everything. All we need to do now is just solve this. Um, what? Yeah, we have elephant statue, hawk statue, and cat statue, and then also the snake statue. I don't know which one to use though. Yeah, this is where we need to go, right here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back here. Oh, not outside view. Uh, I wanna go right here, warp. Okay. Warping in dungeons is actually so based. Oh, uh, I got news. Um, okay. The uh, winter doodle plushie uh, is officially sold out. Uh, he just sold out. So, um, woo! Uh, yeah, the only, uh, other limited edition plush that is available right now. Yeah. <laughs> Why show it then? Well, because the only limited edition plush that's available right now, um, and won't be back again is, or at least we don't have current plans to bring him back, is the, uh, pumpkin doodle. So, um, he is not sold out, but he is the last uh, limited edition that's available currently. So, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, seek two distinct tributes. Lose the desired tributes and record somewhere on this floor. Oh, it tells you which. Okay. Well, the thing is, is like, okay, one of the required tributes is the hawk statue. Right, obviously. But then, like, we have four others to choose from. Is that the one? No, that's not the one. What about the elephant one? Like, we can just, like, if you know one of the answers, you know the other one. Okay, nice. Because <laughs> you just guess all the other four. Like, permutations. So you only need one clue to solve the puzzle. You only need two. Right, here we go. Nice. And that's where the boss key is. Whoa, what is this? Okay. Well, that's where the boss key is, and the boss and the boss door is where we want to go. So this is the key here. Okay. Uh, grab this. Okay. I put that key in the lock, and then I just have to grab this with a uh, bind, right? Move it to the to the to the right. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
So it's not gonna move cleanly. Wait, what? Why is this one moving now? Move to the side here. Oh, I guess it's the last one. Oh, I guess that makes sense because it always moves 90 degrees. No, I got it. All right, we're good. Sorry, it had to cook a little bit for me, but we got it. Cool. Because it, it moves the outside first, and then you were left with the in, and then the inside you have to turn for 90 degrees to use vine on. Yeah, obviously. All right, big key. Nice. Let's go. Uh, awesome. All right, and then we uh, let's go to the boss. That's a cool puzzle. That was a really cool puzzle. I like that a lot. Let's do it. On we go. Yeah. Okay. So the, the four statues are here that we uh, picked up over the course of the dungeon. What kind of boss are we dealing with here? Giant mole man. <laughs> Mo Griff. That's cool. Okay. So how do I damage you proper? Um, you're never gonna guess what kind of thing I'm gonna pull out for this guy. Okay. Oh, okay. And then, so we want you to dive into statues. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Let's go, beef. He's helping. <laughs> uh, okay, so if I want to do some special things here, then if I want to do this like right and like actually, yeah. So let's go. Let's put another statue here if I want, and then I'll, I'll hide behind one of them. Then you go attack the statue. Nice. We got that. Cool. Come on, beef. Nice. All right, second phase. Whoa. Oh, it's all quicksand now. Okay, okay. I see what we have to do here. I see what we have to do. Okay. They're going to fly a little bit. I'm going to grab some more sword fighters just in case. Um, and then we're going to place some statues uh, on the solid ground. Uh, I don't know where I need to be. Don't put them. We're getting rid of them. You're going to start swimming around. I'm just going to be around this guy. Nice. That's great. Okay. So then perfect. So then I'm going to summon... Uh, where's Squire? All right, Squire. You and me against the world. And we're going to wail on this guy. Nice. Okay. Me and Squire. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, it's a mole griff. Right. Yeah, yeah, because it's a it's a mole in the griffin. It's awful. Right. Can I get the sword fighter? Okay. We didn't lose too much health. Good. All right, I'm gonna hide behind here. All right, here works. It worked. It worked. It worked. It did work. Okay. Uh, let's summon. Actually, let's summon. Let's summon beef. Nice. Let's go beef. <laughs> Together. Together against the world. <laughs> oh, I love that. Put him in a blender. Spat him right out like a smoothie. Ha <laughs> ha. And all comes back together. There we go. And we save Tri's friends.
did it! So pretty. My friends shared some of their power with me. Level three. Let's go! Yes! Did you get another one? I feel like I can do even more now. You now create echoes at a distance. Damn it. I wanted another... I wanted another... <laughs> another... Another triangle. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Echo at a distance by pressing and holding Y to charge power. Oh, that's still fine, though. That's, that's kind of cool. All right, echo at a distance. That's pretty neat. Uh, you got five might tries from Fry. Or might crystals from Fry. Uh, my friends told me something while we were mending the rift. They said that the monster captured them. It's the first time something like that happened to them. And since you defeat the monster, they can get back to work. There's not really anything else to do in the still world for now. Let's get back to your world, Zelda. Let's do it. At the heart container. All right, number seven. That was the first uh, or second dungeon that we've done. Second dungeon. Pretty fun. All right, let's return to our world. Uh, I like these dungeon layouts. They're really cool. Uh, the puzzles are very satisfying and uh, well put together, especially with like normally when you have a game like this where you have like multiple different ways to solve a puzzle, one normally presents itself as like the best way to just solve the puzzle as easy as possible. Uh, but in this case, uh, it seems like you're still using a lot of different tools, especially because it's very restrictive. Unlike Tears of the Kingdom, where it's like everything's open world and kind of like you can kind of do whatever. And which makes it be like, okay, you rock it towards the end, whatever. But in this case, it's so limited that you have, you have so many tools at your disposal, but the area is so limited and you only have so many units to deal with. So then you can actually uh, experiment with different solutions. Uh, pumpkin puppy, uh, pumpkin puppy. Thanks for the three months. Uh, all the rifts are gone now, including the big one that was here. You did it, Zelda. Everyone in town is awaiting your return. Come on. Let's go together. Uh, Time to celebrate the rifts going away? Come on. It's on me. Uh, You're going to come crying to me help you pay the bill again, aren't you? <laughs> Just at that moment, a faint shadow of a warrior rose out of the darkness. Oh, God. <laughs> Looks like everyone has conveniently forgotten that it's time for training. <laughs> oh, come on now. This is a time for celebration. The rifts are gone. Training can happen tomorrow. I facade, look, look, facade is so, is so nice now. You know, we love facade here. Everyone is in good spirits. Love it. Love it. They really are. Uh. Zelda, allow me to express my deepest gratitude. Thank you for helping us. Huh? Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Zelda. Yeah, you guys, I guess you could say facade is multi, multi, uh, faceted. Thank you so much, Zelda. Uh, because of you, we took the decisive action uh, and the desert is saved. Uh, I must thank you as well, Dota, my daughter. Your determination and your love for our people have saved this town. Oh, mother. You've grown so much. In fact, I think you are already capable of being chief. Uh, what? Not yet, right? I mean, there's still so much I have to learn. But thank you, mother. Feels so good to say that. Uh, Zelda, you intend to continue traveling and fixing the rift, yeah? Yes. I'll pray for your success. Turns out your father wasn't here either. There's still another rift to check out. Yeah, so I was predicting that we would find like General Wright, the King, or Link in the dungeon, but we found actually none of them. I mean, we found Link, but you know, like Link's actual body, not like the, the echo. Wait a second! The we can create echoes, right? Like our tri tri power and everything. The void things are the echoes of Ganon. So he's using the void world, right? The rifts, and uh, anytime something goes into the rift, that is his echo. Now we already know all of this, but the fact of it is like what it specifically is it's his echoes 
So ours are the echoes of wisdom, his are the echoes of powers, you know? That's sick. There's still another rift to check out. It's far in the east in a place with lots of water. So let's go take, that rift, uh, take care of that rift now. All right. We did the rift in Gerudo Desert. Isn't that right, cat? Yep. All right. And so now what we have to do left uh, is... Wow, we've discovered so much already. Uh, we're going to go check out this one uh, in Jabu Waters, um, which will be a lot of fun. I'm excited for it. I'm excited. It's going to be cool. So in order to get to Jabu Waters, it looks like we have to head out over this way, up through here and over around. Uh, and I think we go do that right now. Uh, there's not much left for us in the Oasis. Actually, there's one more thing. We found the flying tile. So let's go talk to the girl about the flying tile. All right, let's go get the uh, flying tile. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, over to you. Yes. Hello. There it is. Whoa, that's what you wanted, right? Is this the flying tile that Facet spoke about? You gotta show that to me again. Show it to me a bunch. All right, now that I've seen the tiles with my own eyes, I can share what I've learned with my boss. Thank you. You've been a huge help. Please take this as payment for your assistance. There it is. 50 rupees. My boss is a leader among the Gerudo. With her responsibilities, she doesn't leave town much. She does make a point of researching in the ruins, uh, looking for useful things to bring to town. She's so incredibly selfless. I aspire to be like her. Nice. We did it. We did it. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, oh, uh, there is one more thing. I know I uh, should probably probably split VOD here for uh, editors, but I want to check out this pathway real fast, and then we'll go and do the Zora stuff, you know? Right. All right, let's go beef. I want to beef level two because it seems like beef level one isn't 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 really hacking it so much anymore. I mean, hey, beef's doing his best, right? You know, beef's doing his best. But I'm just saying, you know, beef could be doing a little bit more work. You know. Oh my god. See, uh, like, the amount of damage Beef is taking. I mean, I guess it's kind of like a glass cannon, you know? Does a lot of damage really fast, but uh, also takes a lot of damage. You know? Alright, one more. One more enemy here. Nice. Good job, Beef. Good job. Let's go. Okay. Alright, what's down here? Alright. Couple of these scorpions. Another outpost here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Five warm peppers. Also, we've been streaming for about seven, seven and a half hours already. It, it does not. I don't know about you guys. It does not feel like seven and a half hours. Oh, we got a new item here. What is this? Uh, monster guts. Nice. <laughs> I love the shape of the heart and everything. That's cool. Um, okay. I'm going to summon you one more time. And then... Oh, uh, please. Nice. Okay. You just got to uh, hit the boomerang guy again, please. Nice. Awesome. Oh, I can't get that. Nah, it's not that worth it. Okay. Uh, then let's go do... Let's go heal up real fast, too. How is the soft bed not in my most used? That's crazy. Mmm. I love Monster Guts smoothies, you know? Okay. In fact, it does not feel that long. I know. I Whoa! What are these guys? Oh, we got some new enemies here. Are these like moblins? Like, like level two moblins? 
Oh, you are you you have the uh the fun the fun privilege. Okay. Of uh Ooh, these are dangerous guys. Oh you did two and a half hearts, my god. Oh my god! I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die today. <laughs> Alright, I used my fairy. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That's always fun. Uh let's get the dark nut out here. Yeah. We might be uh able to do something here. And then and then while that's happening. Hold on. <laughs> um damn it damn it all right we're all the way back here oh my god all right let's beat these guys first uh, I could have used my smoothies there uh, to live, but I thought I could do it without it. So. All right. So if I do this, uh, you'll forget about me. So I'm going to go over here, put a dark nut down, uh, and then let's try this again. Then I go to you. Put you there. Okay. <laughs> I love this strat. It's great. Uh, okay. The Dark Knight's not doing any damage, though. Um, because of the... Oh, but the Dark Knight can do damage here. And then I, I turn to Sword Fighter for him and hit him from the back. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We do this. Okay. Sword fighter. Nice. Good strats there. Good strats. Hello. All right. And then we get the Club Borblin level two. This desert dwelling warrior wields a club and a shield, fiercely territorial, over pursue intruders dodgingly. Okay. Okay. a lot of damage. Oh my dear God! All right, back up here. No, 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 no. Okay. Spawn. Oh, oh, I lost. I lost it. Oh, are you kidding? Are you, dude, I got, <laughs> dude, it was a stray shot. It was a, dude, it was a, literally, it was a straight, it was a, okay, all right, all right, all right, what's the, what's the way to, all right, club, club Bor Borblin versus Borblin, I guess. Now let's deal with you, because you're annoying. The boomerang one's the worst. Alright. Cool. The uh, boomerang borblin level two echo. No shake. Thanks for the five months, by the way. Appreciate it. Nearly half a year. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't read it, by the way. Uh having mastered the boomerang, this borblin has a deadly aim. Its sharpened boomerangs are quick and accurate. Needs uh like one more. Okay, here we go. One. Nice. <laughs> I was like, go. It's like Pokemon. You're just watching them. Hopefully they'll win. Go team. Hell yeah. Cool. And we got the monster guts. Cool. All right, what do we get for defeating you guys? 
Whoa! Okay, we got energy glove. If you're not sure what this glove is made of, it'll increase the likelihood that more energy will appear when you defeat dark monsters. Oh, cool. If we ever need more spirit stuff, that's great. Uh, for our, um... Uh, for a sword. That's awesome. Glad we got it. All right. Uh, so, uh, we did the entirety of Gerudo, or at least most of it, uh, enough that I'm satisfied with looking at the Gerudo Desert. I mean, hell, we did so much. This was fantastic. Let's go and attempt to do the uh, Jabul Waters. Uh, all we need to do is uh, warp down here and head on up, and then I think we got some... Uh, I think we get close to more rifts. Let's do it. Uh, there's the, the, what they were mentioning earlier. There's Sea Zora and River Zora. Two different Zoras. I'm excited to see that. All right. I'm going to let uh, split the VOD for my editors. All right. The VOD has been split. Let me go upload that footage really quick so they can work on that while I'm live. Okay. And then let them know. Um... Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. Ah, uh, have you guys have you guys seen this Zelda? I don't know if I've seen her. How long you streaming for? Uh, probably another two hours, two and a half hours. So, a lot of fun. Oh, and then I'm streaming uh, Pokemon after this. All right, let's go. Yeah, I think we want to go up right here. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go upper right. Uh, let's find out the, the the Zoras. Figure out what they are. I still love how this is everywhere. <laughs> Man, thanks for the 50 months. I appreciate it. Oh, we're in Hyrule Field. Whew, this field is so big. At least we finished putting up the water posters in the west, but nobody's seen Princess Zelda yet. First, we were ordered to save her, and now we're ordered to capture her. Doesn't really sit right with me being treated her like some sort of villain. I mean, it's weird to me too, but orders are orders and all. Looks like they got out of the jail cell. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, we learned nothing out of the east. We, we learned nothing out east in Seaside Village. Let's patrol here for now, I guess. All right, let's go to Seaside Village then, because um, <laughs> I, they didn't find us there, so. Uh, Hello, it's me, Zelda. I know they told us to find the princess, but the world is a big place. She could be literally anywhere. Yeah, I don't know where she is. Okay. Uh, five jars of floor nectar. Capture? No, 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 no. It's capture so we could be executed. It, it, I'm not saying... I, they, that's literally part of the... They said that we would be executed if we were found. Um, all right, so yeah, let's go up and around this way. All right, I think uh, Hyrule Castle's up. Seaside Village is to the left or to the right. I can't, I don't know my left and right, so I'll be with you guys. I'm really just kind of guessing half the time. And so that means that half the time I'm, I'm right or left. Take your, uh, pick your poison, you know. Uh, all right. This side should be up. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, have you perhaps seen the great fairy around here? There's great fairies? The great fairy? The great fairy is a divine being known to grant people mysterious powers. After poring over old writings about her, I have reason to believe she's hiding here at Lake Hylia. In these writings, they say she's beautiful enough to take your breath away. That she'll steal your heart the moment you lay eyes on her. And give anything to catch just one glimpse of the great fairy. Okay. Uh, we. This is Lake Hylia. Wow. Okay. Um, and this is a pretty big rift. All right. All right, let's go in. The water seems to be fine. <gasps> There's new guys here too. All right, can you beat these guys in the water? No. Okay, so these guys are drowning. There was a there was an enemy that's that skates on the water, isn't it? So, go by cost. I think it was. Hmm. Which were the guys that skate on water? I think it was the Tektite. Nope. 
Uh, let me see. Not the sea urchin. Some of these guys were on water, was it? Octorok is one of them. No, there was one that's in the water. No, 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 no. I remember this. I remember this. I'm not wrong. They skated over the water. White flammables. Walls of ceiling. Great numbers. Oh, uh, they hop across the surface of the water. Oh, but I, I spawn them underneath the water. Oh, that's what happened. That's what happened. Okay, I understand now. All right, let's spawn an Octorok, though. I want to get one of these guys. So if I can get one of these guys, then I can uh, have a water creature now. Awesome. Uh, The Tangler Echo. A uh, nearly spherical and always scowling, this angry fish charges directly at any foe it sees. Awesome. Glad to have it. Is that another... Okay, is this fish, like, like targetable, or are you just, like, a random fish? I think you're a random-ass fish. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we might take a little detour before we go to Zelda. Oh, wait. Before the Great Fairy? Okay. Yeah, it's right over here. Uh, because they said the Great Fairy might be near here? Yeah. I'd love to see the Great Fairy. Okay. Seems like the Great Fairy might be here. Hello. All right, I have, I believe, two, uh, I have one bottle for a fairy. Okay. Hello. Pretty. Oh, I love how they did the great fairies in this. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. And then the, the, the music. Oh, are you the one that woke me up, dear? Hmm. Let's have a look at you. Yes, I don't know who you are or where you're from, uh, but you are a diamond in the rough. Hmm. And with just a little bit of polish, you could be as diamond with the stuff. Hmm. What approach to take? <laughs> I've got it. What if I increase the number of accessories you can wear? Yes, we must be bold. Daring, are you ready to begin your venture of style? Okay. <laughs> Make me more stylish. How can I refuse your most heartfelt wish to be more stylish? Uh, but I won't insult you by doing it for free, of course. The trouble with a free service is you're always waiting for the bill. Hmm? I don't believe in waiting, so I always collect my fees in advance. Okay. I'll need a... Fine. I'll give you 100 rupees. Uh, how I adore rupees. <clears throat> As promised, I will enhance your style. So what does this mean by enhancing my style? Your accessory limit has been raised. Oh, that's huge. That's actually amazing. Okay. You go out of the world and show off your accessory success. Wow. Make me more stylish. So give me another... Oh, 300. I'm poor. Okay. Uh, one, uh, you know, um, one more... Uh, one more Twitch Prime. And maybe I can afford uh, more accessories for Drip. You know, all right. So we definitely want material appearance up. Uh, extra energy, maybe. Seems good. I think. I think we'll do the heart appearance. That's a more general case, so we'll take it. You know, we'll take that for sure. And by the way, if you guys do enjoy the stream, I've been streaming for almost eight hours. Um, if you like the stream and you want to be notified of when I do stream more of this, um, I have two more, two and a half more hours uh, of streaming this, which is great. I'm so excited. Um, uh, feel free to follow the stream uh, because it's free and you'll be notified of when I do it, which will most likely be, I think, uh, 9 or 10 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. Um, so it'll be fun. Really excited for it. All right, let's see what's down here. here we go. Yeah, see, the tektites are there. They're across the, the water. Okay. 
All right, then we unlocked more of this. Let's go over by the rift. I want to see what that's more of. Wait, 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 wait. Can I dive here and then use this and then go across? Oh, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. I can go up. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what a cool puzzle! There's a there's a boulder blocking the material. It's so cool. Yeah, the water looks really refreshing. All right, and here's one of the rip. Oh, wait, we can go in the rip. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. And create an entrance here. Let's go in the rift. And enter. Yeah, uh, follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. I'm streaming on both right now. Whoa. I can see my friends here. They're trapped. Uh, three areas. Okay, so we have three of them. There's another, like, kind of look around and see where they are. Ah, uh, this is cool, though. We got little boxes of water. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right, so... Uh, oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to... Uh, go inside. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to... You guys are dangerous. Wait, what if I, like... High key? What if I, like, took a boulder or something, you know? Like a rock and then threw it. That work. It does do damage. <laughs> it, it's actually working. I think this is iconic. I can't really tell. I'm right, going to dive really quick and grab you guys. All right. That's the first one. All right, there's two more. There's two more. There's two more. All right, yeah, okay. I have to get down here. The poor fish. Well, you know, they had the, they had it coming. Uh, all right, let's get bed here. Guys, out of uh, after watching like a, a decent chunk of this, what's your favorite echo? I mean, I got my favorite echoes, obviously. You know, I feel like that was that, that's pretty. That's pretty clear of which one I'm like, like down with, you feel me? But I'm curious what you guys are vibing with. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, I can do this on. Okay. Hello. Hello. Well, you use one of these beds. If everyone doesn't say beef, they're wrong. Well, I don't know. Maybe soft bed is like the one for you. Like, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't judge, you know? Real. Nice. A little sleepy time. Easy. A very funny strap for healing. Well, I'm glad we found it, you know. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the bed, um, the the plot boom bed strat, you know. Okay. Let me do bed here and then plot boom here. Oh, dude. Okay. Come on, go up, go up, go up. No. Come on. Nice. Okay. This is like very, very precarious, but I think we got it. Can I make it? 
<gasps> Imagine. Oh, we didn't have to. We got it. Let's go. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, he's actually insane. What a skip. All right, that's number two. Uh, all right, let's go down here. And then I, I'll be real. I don't want to deal with you. So you're just going to die. Nice. Yo, Kelso, thanks for the five gifted subs on Twitch. I appreciate it. We're making moves. Dude, I'm telling you right now, bed strats are like the way to go. Like 95% like of the time. It's too good. It's too easy. I just jump across. I can. Okay. All right. We got one left. Uh, one area of friendship. I'm assuming it's probably something like down here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right. Dive here. Okay. Raise. Oh, wait, wait, we dive underneath here. Wait, look at that. Yeah, we got it. Okay, okay, okay. That was a little hidden. That was a little hidden. We got it. All right, that's the last one. We found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Let's go do it. We got it. Uh, my friends shared some of their power with me. All right, we'll take it. Not too bad. I'm assuming level four will give us another uh, try, which I'm really excited for. Speaking of which, we should probably uh, level up our sword. We have 17 mighty crystals. We might as well do that. Hello, Poker. My favorite echo is Old Bed. What is your favorite echo? I like beef. This is my guy beef. Wait, wait. That's not, that's, that's not it. This is my guy beef. I like him a lot. He's really cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So we uh, we cleared the, the, the rift. That's great. Uh, so that gave us some more like levels, which is just good overall. Cool. All right, let's go level up our sword real fast. Game looks really fun. It is really fun. I'm having a blast. All right. Let's go upgrade your sword. Let's do it. Hello, hello. Uh, let's go. Here. Let's, oh, my, oh, I can also do my bow. All right, let's do sword though. Wow, we have so many crystals. Okay. All right, um, sword of might is now level two. Uh, what do you want to enhance? All right, so we can actually, um, I can't enhance it any further right now. All right. Uh, well, we don't have enough uh, for anything else, but uh, sword level two. We'll take it. That's fantastic. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. I'm fine. You know what we're going to do? Um, that was really cool. Uh, we probably need some. Well, actually, there's some more over here. Ah, uh, let's go back here. Let's go back. Do we go to Zora? Uh, yeah, we'll do it in a sec. Uh, 
Uh, I uh, want to discover a little bit more here while we're at it. Like, I'm taking a while to do things, but it's because I'm really trying to enjoy the game while it's here, you know? I don't want to... I personally don't want to rush things out for content. Like, yeah, we're trying to edit the video as fast as possible by, why, by editing it while I'm live. But the main thing is, like, I want to make sure it's good, you know? I really want to just, like, enjoy it. <laughs> Go across here. Oh, we found a stamp! Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Stamp number four! I, that was great. Dude, I was just vibing. I didn't even know. Oh, my God. That's amazing. That's so fun. Tamp party. All right, let's go grab a uh, let's go grab cow and then go to the Zoras. Also, uh, Maisie, I hope Linkus is uh I haven't talked to Linkus because he's busy doing his own stuff, you know. Um, but I hope he's enjoying the game as well. He seems to be uh having a fantastic time from um what I've heard. I was making progress without effort. Welcome to my life. Sometimes I'm like, how the hell did I get here? And it happens. Actually, never mind. Not welcome to my life. The amount of effort I put in every single day is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> and now it's like now that I actually like retroactively like I I take that one back. <laughs> no. oh, I love Cow so much. He's so cute. Look at him. And you like never stops working. It's impressive. I mean, the thing about it that I personally love is that, uh, I don't know. I enjoy it so much that it doesn't really feel like work. All right, here we go. All right. Thanks, Cal. Appreciate you. I'm going to leave you right here, Cal, and we're going to explore everything else on foot, but I, pre I just want to let you know. Even the birds on this path, watch your valuables. Okay. We're aiming to go... Oh, we want to go to the right this way, actually. Never mind, Cow. We still got a job for you. All right, let's go, Cow. The Seaside Village. I know this isn't towards Seaside Village, but I just want to check this out. See where it is. Cool. Back to Lake Hylia. Okay. Yeah, we got some crow enemies here. Uh, some more armadillos. That's great. Oh my god. Look at this. Well, I love this pathway because it, it, it's like all of this. They they definitely took the, the map of Breath of the Wild and were like, alright, let's like tweak this around. And I think that's kind of cool. They're like they're taking stuff and then building upon it, and I think that's kind of iconic. Alright. Beef target. Thank you. A crab. The sand crab echo. The crab-like monster attacks with the powerful claws as it skitters to and fro. Oh, and we got a bubble kelp. Cool. Uh, can be used to recover hearts, but more effective with a drink. All right, we'll have to do some smoothies later for sure, though. You know, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I have not forgotten about the smoothies. We will be doing smoothies. Oh, Seaside Village is literally right over here. All right, let's check this out. Thanks, Beef. Beef are killing it right now. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, nine shawl. Thanks for the nine months. Uh, you can now warp here. All right, cool. Uh, seaside's right here. It's so pretty, Jabal Waters. Never mind. This is not seaside, but it's close. Oh. God, they did such a phenomenal job with this game's visuals. Yeah, that's great. We need to find a spot where I can make an entrance into one of the rifts. Uh, how about we try to find the giant rift I saw near here and search there? Yeah. So our goal right now, uh, you know, our goal right now is to go over to this rift. So, um, let's do a little, let's do a little recap in case you guys are coming in for the first time. Luffy, thanks for the, uh, Prime Gaming. I appreciate it. 
Uh, let me do a little small recap, right? Uh, basically, all you really need to know about uh, the current objective and also all the objectives in the game is that we are currently... Um, there's a bunch of rifts that have opened in Hyrule. And they've been doing it for ages, but eventually they close, right? But recently, they haven't been closing and they've just been growing bigger and bigger and bigger, trapping more people inside. Once you get trapped inside, you eventually disappear forever. That's just kind of what happens. Um, and so it is our duty after having... Um, General Right, uh, Minister Left, the King, and also Link, um, I, I get spirited away into these, uh, rifts. It is our job to find them and then close the rifts and then also defeat the monster, the blue monster, it's Ganon, uh, from creating more rifts. Uh, so currently we are tasked with going around the big rifts in the world, um, and closing them. We've already done the Gerudo Desert and the one in the Southern Forest. Uh, so now we're going to Jabal Waters and trying to close this rift and seeing if any of our friends are inside. Hopefully that makes sense. Davi, thanks for the tier three, by the way, for 39 months. Oh my God, upgrading to a tier three. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Uh, and I want to say hi to all the YouTube chatters as well. I hope you guys are doing well. It didn't work. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go explore Jabal Waters. This is a real mess. I've never heard of Lord Jabu Jabu acting like this before he's out of control oh my god we got jabu jabu that's uh, awkward time uh hi there welcome to seaside village okay so this is seaside village the region is jabu waters okay lord jabu jabu is a great spirit who lives in jabu waters uh he's usually quite calm but he's been in on a rampage lately i think it all started when a rift appeared in his den that's the cave where lord jabu jabu resides you'll find it across the bridge to the east can't miss it the entrance has a specific design Zelda. That might be near the giant rift that I spotted in this area. Yeah. Stamp! Yes! I love the stamp guy so much. Hey! We got five stamps. Hello again, Stamp Guy here. I've loved stamps since I was a small fry. Now I'm Hyrule's biggest collector. You found five of my stands and filled your stamp card. Here's your reward as promised. Milk! <laughs> yeah! Imagine, imagine if I'm like, hey, my editors. Love you guys. You guys are doing great, by the way, on this video. Um, you know what? In lieu of anything else, you found all of my footage. Whoa! You want some milk? Whoa! Yeah! Oh, God. Uh, what do you think? Like that stamp rally? I mean, I think it's okay. Uh, don't you worry. You keep on stamping and you'll catch the spirit. Sure. Uh, everything's gonna, everyone's gonna see how fun stamps are. Uh, that's why I'm traveling the world, spreading the news about my big stamp rally. I prefer money personally, but what about stamps, cat? It'd be stamps, though. Okay, Mel, you want... Do you want water? <laughs> how, how about some pistachios? <laughs> Really could go, I, I'd say, I'd say honestly, you know, we'll work for pay, not milk. God. Yeah, sure. You can get a salary or something. <laughs> I'm, exposure! Maybe exposure. I'll shout you out live on my channel. That's worth so much money. You can even, you can definitely eat with exposure and, and everything else. Oh, uh, I want. I, can I have more than milk stamp guy, please? I was expecting, like, I don't know, at least some clothes. Uh, that's why I'm traveling the world, spreading the news about my big stamp rally. Uh, though you're the only one playing. Oh. Anywho, here's your next stamp card. Now I feel bad. <laughs> oh, look at the dog! We've got the exciting stamp card. It's the stamp card earned by stamp rally intermediates. Uh, the back is soaked through with various colors of ink. Uh, okay, all together now. Ready, set, go! Stamp Rally! The fun continues, and of course, you can look forward to the next reward. That's 
That's really funny. Okay, all right. Well, we got we got stamps. All right, let's check out the rest of the the the, the, the town here. Uh, Eddie the nerd, thanks for the 19 months. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Uh, and also 2D he the bar, thanks for the five gifted channel memberships uh on YouTube. I very much appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you can now use emotes on YouTube. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, hello, cat. I love your how you're chilling. Oh, so cute. I love how you're chilling next to the fish. Hello. I was out at sea when Lord Jabba Jabba attacked all of a sudden. I barely skipped with my light. He attacked. I was on the waves, minding my own business when he hit my boat hard. I've been too scared to go back out to sea ever since. Interesting. Oh, well, hello there. Uh, with Lord Jabba Jabba working habit, our village has few customers. I miss having visitors. Just sad on top of more sad because we can't go fishing on our boats either. Huh? Here, I'll buy something. I, hey, what am I? I'll support the local economy. You don't have anything I want. Never mind. <laughs> it needs to be like demand, guys. Like supply also exists. Like I understand, but. <laughs> uh, wow. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, no, not really. I'm sorry. Well, okay. Let me check what you have. Fine. Um, recovered hearts and energy. Ooh. This one's just hearts, and this one I, I assume is just energy. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Is Beetle in the game? Uh, not that I've seen. But I will say the stamp guy's in the game. Hello, child. You have way too much energy. They say I can't leave the village because it's dangerous, but I want to play with the Zora. Uh, the Zora are the Zora. Uh, some are up in the river, others are on the sea. They play their music great. And their chiefs are always squabbling. Yeah, because there's the river Zora and there's the sea Zora. And there are two different Zora. No even told. Hello. Uh, soldiers came here looking for that princess. What's her name? I guess she escaped him. Huh? Wonder if I'd get a reward if I turned her in. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't really. Yeah, we can just stay here. Hi, cat. God, they're just so I'll dive here. This real quick. Nice. Yeah, I've never seen that guy ever again. Okay. Uh, is he coming home? Nope. Still have to get milk. And that son of mine always doing things his own way, isn't he? Oh, didn't mention to grumble that loudly. My son, Anub, Anube, Anube, Anube has in, hasn't come home in a while. That boy's surely sleeping in the woods to the north again. Why did I bother making him a meal? Well, if you're headed that way, could you take some grilled fish to him? I'll get it for you. Wait right here. All right, uh, woods to the north. Uh, so that's probably what we're gonna find like after. What the dude, brother and bear? Like if my mom cooked something like that, I would not be leaving. <laughs> Damn. There was a lot to carry for him. I wish he didn't make us go through all this trouble, but I forgot to tell you something important. Uh, they've There have been hungry monsters lately in the woods where he naps. Watch out. So you're more concerned that he doesn't have food rather than the... All right. Hey. not I'm not parenting your child. Uh, but I do stream on YouTube, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Uh, all right, let's take this fish. Oh, wait. If we go to the woods to the... Oh, it's probably these uh, woods to the north. I was I was, I was was expecting something like here. Um, all right, so we're going to put this fish down here. And then we'll probably go deliver... Wait. Actually, wait. One second, one second, one second. I don't actually have to lift it and give it to him, right? I, I can just, like, echo it, I'm assuming. This isn't YouTube. I'm multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. There we learned the grilled fish echo. Uh, perfectly grilled flaky fish can uh, instantly incite certain monsters with entice certain monsters with its irresistible savory aroma. That looks really good. Uh, all right. Cool. So whenever we see the uh, the sun, we'll just echo. Wait, if we can echo food, I mean, I probably should have realized this earlier with the whole meat that we got earlier. Like, 
like at the beginning of the, the whole game, you know, right here, this meat. But like if we can echo food, did we solve world hunger? Are we being selfish? All right, this is the father. I can hear the nice things about living here is that uh, the Zora perform nearby. Uh, the sea Zora play music that's graceful and the river Zora play with real gusto. I'm seasick a lot of the time and the Zora music helps me feel uh, a little better. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to be playing for you real quick. Yeah, can you eat an echo? Like, what are also what are the ethics of eating an echo? Like, if it's alive or not? Like, like can you echo a corpse? And if so, does that like bring somebody back to life? Like, I don't, you know, there's so many things here. Uh, okay, so it looks like up here is where Jabu Jabu is with the rift, and then down here is where. If this is sea, then this is river, right? So this seems like where the rivers or are, and this is probably where the seas or are so oh there's a uh, little thing down here another mighty crystal neato you deliver an echoed fish i don't know but i'll try uh well everything's leading me towards the north so i think i'm gonna go there uh we can come back down to the the seas or later Let's go along the river here and see what's up. <laughs> Let's um <laughs> see what's up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. I I'm I've been killing it with puns today. I've really been killing it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what's over here? Oh, smoothies! Yes! Okay, alright. I really stepped in it this time. I really don't want to uh, have what I, what I need to open the shop. Are you a customer? Uh, well, I'm gratefully dropped by. This smoothie shop is not open yet. I ran out of bubble kelp because, well, it doesn't matter why. I'm not sure what to do. It only goes in the sea and sea water doesn't agree with me. I suppose you have three pieces? I got them. We picked them up a lot earlier. Uh, never mind. I lied. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. All right. Uh, you probably have some bubble cap on you guys. If you guys want to drop it. Who also works there. You've indeed been killing it. And by it, I mean, let's say my will to live. Oh, true. That's a, uh, that's a loss. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to make. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, hello. Wait, are you one of the Zora? Oh, look at the Zora. Hello. Oh, hey, can you go away? Sorry, Beef. One second. Okay. Hey, Beef, Beef, Beef. We got to talk. Hey, they're, they're a little scared of you. I'll introduce you later, okay? Okay. Hello. Hi there. So I I love the Zora. They're looking so cute. Are you out exploring? I love, the, I love this art style so much. If you happen to be looking for our village, simply head south of here. Look for the island that's uh, topped with a statue of a fishtail. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I won't be doing that yet, though. I know it's right here. Um, but I am being kind of led upwards. And so I kind of want to do that a little bit more before anything else. Uh, Tangler here. To deal with these guys. I'm not getting many monster parts and stuff. That's a little disappointing, but... Where's my sexy fish husband? Tsukuro is first off, touch grass. Second off, um... Uh, I don't know if Sidon's in this game. We'll see, though. Maybe you like. Maybe you can settle for Jabu Jabu. Nice. All right, so we got another... We got two bubble kelp. All right, so we have three total. Okay, nice. Here we go. Uh, I have three pieces now. I mean, I have two pieces. I can't count. I lied. Whoa, what's over here? I'm just going along here because, I mean, there, there has to be bubble kelp. Like, they drop from the crabs. Whoa. Okay, I can't access up here yet. Looks interesting, though. Okay. Hi, uh, Speeder. Thanks for the eight month resub on Twitch. I appreciate it. All right. 
Uh, I guess we'll go north. We will have to come back for the smoothie shop. Sorry about that, my guy. I'm sorry about that. What's up here, though? Right, I keep going along the the least traveled path because I think it is more fun this way for me. The game is so pretty. Did the, the water looks just like absolutely delectable. I would love to eat it or drink it. You know, the things that you do normally. All right, we're going to go down here. Unless these guys have like uh, uh, the bubble, the bubble stuffs, the bubble kelp. No bubble kelp. Okay, no worries. Nice drinkable water and swimmable water. One of the two. Both. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. The Crossflows Plaza. Ah. I've come to Crossflows Plaza. You got a question? Yeah, what is this? It's where all the Zora and the Lord Jabu Jabu come together to be. So, and, and it's where all the Zelda and Lord Jabu Jabu come to be together. The Sea Zora and the River Zora join here to play music for Lord Jabu Jabu. That's how they ask him to keep watching over these waters. But lately, Lord Jabu Jabu is on the rampage, and the Zora chiefs are squabbling in the worst way. It's all gone wrong since that giant rift appeared in Lord Jabu Jabu's den up north. All right. Yeah. Can I... Oh, I can't access this yet because I can't go up. Oh, wait. Unless I can, like... Oh, swim, please. Imagine. Here we go. All right, so we have to go up this way, I think, uh, to go to uh, Lord Jabu Jabu to figure out what's going on. What's happening, man? What's happening? I also gotta know. Um, who here's played Ocarina of Time? Uh, I'll be real. It's a fun game. It did not like it, 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 it pioneered so many cool things. It did not pass the the test of time. You know, it it, it, it does not hold up the way it used to. All right, so the giant warp is right here, the rift. Okay, and Lord Jabu Jabu is probably in here. Uh, that's the giant rift I spotted earlier. Let's investigate. Uh, okay, there's also, we can go this way too. <laughs> I kind of want to see what's over here. Oh, uh, before we go investigate. Actually, yeah, here we go. <coughs> Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't pass the ocarina of time my reasoning for this is um the controls are a little bit clunky and everything but they're amazing at the time with the camera and everything especially with coming out with us Mario 64 and it was awesome right the story i still think is amazing it's really good it you know but with the limitations that it had with the console and everything compared to that of the current modern zelda franchises just uh isn't isn't like a, a 10 out of 10 experience anymore like a five maybe six you know and uh, if you say it's amazing and beautiful and it's blah, blah blah for the time hell yeah but currently it just hasn't held up um so i just that's just my opinion on it uh you know if you still like it and everything that's that a little different all right let's go see jabu jabu oh hello Echo, Echo. Oh, that's why they call it Echoes of Wisdom. <laughs> ah.
All right. Checking out what's in there. Uh, I can make the rift entrance back there. Okay. So we just need to get in there. Let's go farther inside. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. It looks like this place got swallowed up bad by the rift. Hmm? Hold on. Who's this? <sighs> it's the old Zora. Uh... I know we are. He's been running wild all over the place since the rift spread in his den. Yeah, we got here fast as we could to see what's going on with them. Yeah, so these are the old... So, okay, so, so this... <laughs> this is so cool. So, the, the river Zora... Or the sea... The, sorry, the sea Zora is the Zora that we're used to in, like, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, etc., right? But this, the, the river Zora are the older Zora um, from uh, older Zelda games. Uh, and they're both in the same game. That's so cool. I love that. It's like how the Rito look different as well. Uh, per different games and everything. They put two of them together. Um, yeah, this is from, uh, what, Link's Awakening, right? Uh, we got here as fast as we could to see what's going on with him. Oh, you want to get in his den? Oh. To open the door, the chiefs of the river and the sea clan must play music here together. Damn. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. They're they're fighting, though, okay? Can I, can't I play the music, please? <laughs> Oh, come on. The River Clan? Oh. We're the River Clan. You know, us being River Zora and all. Our village is up north of here. Yeah, you should visit us river, uh, up river sometime. Oh. Uh, anything else? Uh, okay, well, the Sea Clan. Ah. Uh, sea Clan are all Sea Zora. You might guess they're Zora who live in the sea. The village is south of here at an island with a huge fish tail sticking straight up. Oh. Uh, anything else you want to know? Nope. Ah. All right. If you want the chiefs to play music here, you'll have to go to each village and ask them. Uh, but I'm, uh, uh, we're in a hurry. Uh, well, all right, let's go hurry then. Yeah, that's really cool. I love how they put both Zora designs into this. Because, uh, you know, one of the fan questions ever is like, okay, the Zoras always look different. Or like the Rito always look different. Or the Garuda, uh, the, the Gorons look different. Um, so it's kind of cool that they have uh, just both designs and they attributed them to just different places in the game. Oh, okay. There's the, uh, uh, this is the, this is the guy. Uh, this is the sun over here to the left. Here we go. All right. Well, uh, first off, let's beat these guys. Uh, but the sun's up here, uh, with the, the fish food. So we'll go, uh, we'll go give him the food in a second. It's literally Pokemon, the regional variants. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, we're actually we're actually so good at this. And by good at this, I mean uh, we just ground a guy for his uh, money. Okay, cool. A seahorse, a river horse. Sorry, my bad. Not a seahorse. Those are different things. Uh, let's go with a soft bed here. Uh, get up here, dude. <laughs> Or, or wait, I started old bed. Classic. All right. Uh, let's go and then give you a grilled fish. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> mm. Smells good, but not like mom's. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. So we do have to bring it all the way up. All right, let's do it. Let's let's uh let's escort it. So okay, so canonically also, by the way, echoes apparently just don't have the same flavor or taste. Uh, I just got sent the next two thumbnails for the vod channel uh, on the Ironmon um, vods, and they're really funny. I think you guys are really going to like it. Uh, okay, let's go. Give me, give me a fish. Mm -hmm. Hi. Sneak peek. Uh, you have to subscribe to the uh, VOD channel to check it out. All right, let's go. <laughs> Escort quest. All right, so if we just go around here, we should be fine, right? 
All right, it's not too long. It's not too long. Uh, we just have to release here and then uh, get our beds here. My body is a machine that turns suffering and pain into Kyrie's oh, iron on thumbnails. Thank you, Seagrass. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There it is. There's the fish. Hmm. Uh, yum, something smells amazing. Uh, my mom's grilled fish. You came all this way to bring it to me? I got you. Thanks, I'm starving. So, uh, is is this like, like, so do the Zora, are they like, like offended by this or something? I, you know what? We don't have to go into the social, political, you know, or ethical and moral implications of us being a fish in front of fish people. Um, Crispy, salty, juicy, uh, perfect in every way. The grilled fish is the best. So is my mom. Aw. Aw. Delicious. My tummy is satisfied. Uh, tell my mom thanks. I'm going to get in a nice post-meal nap here. Awesome. All right. Now we got to go back and uh, tell the mother that we delivered the fish. Uh, hey, guys. A uh, question about Zelda game. A little late to the party, but recently started the Breath of the Wild and loving it. But saw that online about Hyrule Warriors games. Is that a must-have for Breath of the Wild or not worth it? Uh, it's a different kind of game. Uh, I would recommend playing Breath of the Wild and the Breath of the Wild DLC. If you're looking for a little bit more of like the lore and kind of like want some, uh, you know, some more context on what happened with Breath of the Wild, it's good for that kind of thing. It's a different gameplay. It's not really a Zelda game. It's more like a beat em up kind of uh, sort of other thing. It's Hyrule Warriors. So uh, it's like Dynasty Warriors. Have you ever heard of it? So it's, it's cool. It's, I would consider it like a spin off kind of game that adds context for the first one. Um, so it's really up to you on like what you think. I enjoyed it personally, but I also enjoy like a lot of games. There's only like one or two different kinds of games that I'm not really into. Uh, one of those being, uh, um, I don't really like pure puzzle games uh, too too much. Uh, those like not too fun for me. Um, it's very rare. I also uh, same thing with 2D platformers. It's weird because I'm kind of playing this. It's kind of 3D, 2D kind of uh, isometric. Uh, but uh, straight 2D platforms aren't my jam either. But uh, I would I would I would recommend it um, if you if you like it. And then Tears of the Kingdom for sure. All right, did you deliver that grilled fish to my son? Thank you so much. Uh, he went back to sleep after eating it. <laughs> that boy, I swear, he spends the entire day just sleeping or eating. Dude. Uh, ah, sorry, thinking a lot again. I'll get you a reward for your hard work. Please take this. Yes. 10 pieces of bubble kelp. Oh, we can make smoothies now. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to go make smoothies like we've never made smoothies before. Uh, all right. Hello. I need three pieces of bubble kelp. Uh, I got them. Can't thank you enough. You saved my bark. I've learned my lesson. That's the last time I snack on the ingredients. I'm pleased to announce that the Zora Cove Smoothie Shop is open for business. So thank you and celebrate the big day. Here it is. Thanks for the 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place unless it's here. Uh, I feel like I've overturned a new leaf. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's make some smoothies. Uh, first off, a river horse. And some grapes. Yum. Can't, wow, that's great. Can't wait. Uh, refreshing mixed smoothie. Is that new? I think it is, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, let's go some kelp and some, and some warm peppers. We're gonna make 20 of these, I believe. Never mind. These are not. He's not good anymore. Okay. Uh, milk and river horse. Oh wait, it's kind of cute. Aw, I love it. Swim speed up. Ooh. Uh, river horse and uh, floral nectar, maybe. Alright, here we go. Mm. 
Nice. Uh, okay, so we made another rapid smoothie. No, it's a milky rapid smoothie, and this is a regular rapid smoothie. Okay. All right. Uh, rock salt and river horse. I'm just going to make a lot of river horse stuff because uh, why not? We might as well, right? Echoes of Wisdom is out. The amount of people surprised that Echoes of Wisdom is currently available and out is hilarious to me because I feel like uh, Nintendo did absolutely uh, no uh, marketing for this. Uh, not Monster Guts. Uh, let's go Chili Cactus and River Horse. Well, Chili Cactus and... Let's go... Maybe... Maybe... Uh, here. Yeah, what happens if we do milk and milk? We can do two of once. I didn't know that. Is this Erewhon? Yeah. Uh, that'll be uh, $34.99. And 99 cents as well. A milky smoothie. Yum. Uh, let's go a golden egg, maybe. And also a tough mango. Your smoothie. Whoa! A golden tough smoothie! That's great. Wow, we have so many hearts. 15 hearts? How many hearts can we get in this game? Jesus. Oh my god. We're barely... I feel like I'm going through this game really slow. <laughs> uh, just a regular tough smoothie. Okay. A good feeling. Yeah, for sure. Uh, radiant butter and I've already done milk. Uh, let's go bubble kelp. Do it. Okay. So many smoothies. Uh, just a regular radiant smoothie. Okay. Let's go apple milk. Do you guys like apple milk? All right. Mixed. The fuck is apple milk? I just made it. Come on. Keep up. All right. River horse, river horse. Let's do it. Have you ever tried carrot milk? No. That sounds awful. That sounds horrible. Uh, just a regular rapid smoothie. I don't have any more space for smoothies. Can I sell the current ones? Oh, all right. Um, I'll make some, some more smoothies after using the current ones. All right, so we got to go uh, chat up the River Zora and talk to their chief and be like, hey, can you stop fighting with the, uh, the Sea Zora? We, got, we need you to sing real quick and then help the Jabu Jabu guy. You know, that'd be sick. You know? Really cool. All right, let's go. Yeah, all right, what's over here? New cave. I love the caves. Um, they're very fun. You have to serve the bomb fish. I can't read. Nice. <laughs> All right, nice. We got bomb fish. Uh, this dangerous fish explodes at the slightest impact and is capable of breaking weakened walls. Love it. All right. Uh, well, let's then... Uh, let's use it. Four? You take four? Damn, okay. Can you, can you go attack? All right, 
Then I need to get up here. Surface. Got it. Uh, Alrighty. Alright, so yeah. So this is a bomb fish sort of. Alright, how do I activate you? There you go. Just by moving it. Like, basically just interacting with it is pretty good. Oh, whoops. No beds underwater. Right, put you over here. Trend? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, uh, we're at least a die. Okay. Oh my dear God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <gasps> All right, we're fine. All right, we're all good. We're literally all good. Please live. I need. I need to survive. You lose so much health in this game. Yeah, but you also have a bed that you can spawn anywhere to gain it back. I mean, literally, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. There we go. Ta-da! And now we sleep. Good night, chat. Oh, I need to use my smoothies. <laughs> You're right, actually. <laughs> I have collector's anxiety. Oh, what can I say? In huge open world RPGs, where there's so much to do. Uh, okay. That did not work. Okay. Uh, so then let me maybe do a fire thing. I killed him. Um, I do this. Let me try this. Uh, bomb fish. Yeah. Nice. Got it. I was like, we have to like bomb it and then oh, like climb up the ladder and then go. Nice. All right. That was really good. All right. And we got a golden egg. I wonder what a golden egg and a golden egg would be. Nice, we got back. So worth it. Hello. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Right, thank you for that. We're just going to go up here. Uh, unless, well, mm, seems like there's something over this way. Maybe another thing or two? No, there's nothing over here. I lied. I'm assuming there's an easier method other than what you do. Probably. But uh, I like the method I choose. It's very fun. The way I solve things is uh, super entertaining to me. All right. So this is the River Zora City. This is the River Zora, this is the River Zora City. Uh, welcome to the River Zora Village, where friendly hellos and good times flow. At least normally, Lord Jabu Jabu has gone berserk. Now we're all just here. You know? Whoa, okay. So, what is this, actually? Zora flippers. Flippers that resemble Zora fins. You can swim faster while wearing... Oh, I want those! 
Okay. Uh, can I sell you things? I don't want to chat. Sorry. Um, I like to sell. And then I just got a golden egg, actually. Chat, how much was it? It was at 350. I can sell my drinks, actually. Just 350? No, okay. oh, but I want my unfortunate smoothies. Cool. All right. Uh, Zora Flippers. Yeah, it was 350. Okay, we got it. Nice, Zora Flippers. Oh, that's gonna be super helpful. Uh, cause uh, any any movement speed is gonna just be like a mom will pick up. Cool, Zora speed up. Yeah, look how fast we move now. Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hello. Uh, Jabba Waters has been full of trouble lately. I'd like to eat my favorite foods at times like this. Gotta keep my spirits up. Resuming. All right, another big rift over here. That's fine. That's all good. And then we go... All right, let's check out more of these Roar Village while we're at it. All right, hello. Oh my God, it's a little baby Zora. My friends can all swim, but I can't do it. I really want to practice, but the water is kind of scary. Oh. <laughs> Night. Okay. A child. A uh, really big rift opened up recently in Lord Jabu Jabu's den. His den is a cave inside down the river. It's got some bold designs in inside and out. I get worried about all the strange stuff lately, like Lord Jabu Jabu being out of control. I'll have to figure that out. All right, let's go up here. Oh, we can swim down. Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> I love the basement that they have in there. That's a cool little detail. Uh, something bad's going to happen with all these rifts. I just know it. My, it may come return to our waters before it's too late. I love that design. Cool. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, I want to play music too. Uh, Bross, uh, boss Drad says I have to wait until I'm a grown-up. No. Drad? So, Dr okay. Drad is the Zora village... River, the, the River Zora Village Chief is at the end of this path. He said that playing music is like a sacred duty. Little minnows like me can only watch. And the boss is up here. Awesome. Hello. Let's go inside. Oh, whoa. I like your mustache. <laughs> Our people are scared, boss. That huge rift opening. Lord Jabu Jabu on the rampage. You're not. I have a plan. When have I, the great Drad, have ever let you down? <laughs> First, I'll get Lord Jabu Jabu nice and relaxed again. Good thinking, boss. But how will you do that? Uh, with music, of course. Oh, perfect. We need you for this. A river music. That'll stop his rampage. We're just that good. And then that no talent Kushar will finally bow down to my superior skills. Okay. Well, maybe it might be a little bit more difficult than we thought because we have to get you both to play together. Uh, so Kushara is the chief of the Caesora, it looks like. Uh, hold on, boss. Uh, why are you still squabbling with the Caesar chief? You two usually make up right away. It's really dragging on this time. Squabbling? This is a big deal. She mocked my music. I'll never make up with her. Uh, bah, I'm not going to just sit around. I've got real problems to deal with. Nawa? Who are you? Huh, doesn't matter. It's got to wait. Okay, okay. Uh, Diver some. Thanks for the prime gaming. Did you need her cheap for something? Uh, sorry, Drad is busy. The boss has a lot going on right now. Uh, it doesn't help that he's having the worst squabble ever with the Caesar chief. Their flights are their fights are usually small, but then just fizzle out. This time, it's blown up completely. They usually get up along so well too, but the fight's gotten really bad. I wonder if there's something we can do to uh, change that. Oh, what's the hold up? We gotta get to Cross Flows Plaza. Come in. Sorry, the boss calls. Yeah. 
All right, squabble. What a strange word. I don't understand what it means. It's like a fight. <laughs> I do know that we'll never reach that rift until the two chiefs ever hear our request. Hello. Um, all right, where'd he go? The crossbow's plaza, and that's the squabble. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. All righty, all righty. So we're looking... Well, first off, there's there's something fun and mysterious over here, so we're going to go check it out. But it uh, looks like we're going to go to Crossflow's Plaza and see what the River Zora... Yeah, oh my god, look at the maracas. Look at the uh, look at the horn. I love that. Yeah, they all play music. Yeah, I want to check it out from here, and then we go to Crossflow's Plaza, you know? Oh, we go... <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Behind the waterfall. Oh, that's so cool. And some more Zora over here. Hello. Uh, my papa and I found this rift on our walk. It doesn't look too dangerous. Can I touch it a little? No, please don't. All these rifts everywhere. I just want to calm to return to Jabba Waters. When? When? Can I just go on a good stroll again? I know the economy these days, man. I'm, I've been telling you. I smell a stamp around here. I don't know why, but I feel as if there's one. Mm, a stamp. feel like it's here you know if there would be a stamp it would be here you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you guys get what i'm putting down what do you think the riffs taste like that's a great question chat what do you think the riffs taste like Cotton candy, Laffy Taffy. Actually, both. Both great options. All right, so what's up here? Okay. I I swear to God, there's like a... I swear there's a stamp over here. It just feels stamp worthy. You feel me? Like, I'm on to you, stamp guy. Also, there's a... Blow oh, rock bomb with the... Oh, these are our bombs. Stop moving away, though. Nice. Great. It smells like... It, it, it tastes like great medicine. Honestly, I can see that. Yeah, what's over here? Why don't I believe there's nothing of note here? Oh, because there is something down here, it looks like. But we can't access it until, like, after the rifts are gone. Okay. Gotcha. But I can head up further to the left. Almost nine hours stream? Yeah, we're almost nine. Wow, we were just almost seven hours in. Wow, that was fast. God, I'm having so much fun with this game. I'm glad you guys are too. Here we go. All right, we want to go up here and then up more. The, the, I mean, there's probably something that ah, I see the you see the piece of heart up there. I see the piece of heart up there. This old bed um strat with the platform is actually like too good. I mean, it's just too good. I'm so glad we got it. Right, there's nothing up there, but there's a fairy and a piece of heart. Great. I'm always glad when I'm rewarded for finding things. That's so cool. That's so fun. You know, okay. Piece of heart acquired. Um, let's go. Let's go up and around this way. Actually. Love how they encourage exploration. Yeah. All right, so let's go here and then X and then follow. Cool. And then the right. Ooh, dragonfly, new enemy. Please get. Okay. I, I don't know if I can access up there. Okay. 
I, <laughs> I have to get this thing, but it's way up here. <laughs> That's, dude, the fact that we can do it like that is so fun. All right. Uh, Needlefly Echo. Uh, highly intelligent, this large insect is a master of finding the perfect moment to attack. Once they gave us that, that platform, it's been all over, you know. Stamp! I told you there was a stamp nearby! I Did I not say there was a stamp? Yes! Oh! I knew it! Yeah, but ever since we found it, like, it's just so satisfying to just do this. X, R, and then we just move up, and then we press B, and we're good. Like, that that strategy has to get you into some weird spots, you know? Like, there's no way it doesn't. Okay. Uh, let's check out down here, actually. Yeah, let's check out over here. And you know how we do that? <laughs> Whoa, you'll never guess. Uh, okay. So then down here is where I want to check out. Oh, there's a rupee. <laughs> cool. Oh, wait, this is a new guy. New guy. Hello. Uh, I think for, for Coblin Spear 2, looks like? Maybe? Oh my god. Why Why is he up there? My brother and bear, how did you get... <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like they're, like, this, the speedrun of this game will turn into Microsoft Flight Simulator. I, I, like, I just have a feeling about it. Nice. New one. New guy. Uh, the Spear Moblin, level 2 Echo. This Moblin throws spears relentlessly, keeping foes at bay. Its arcing throws can reach even distant enemies. Love it. Right, there's another enemy somewhere around here. It is you over there. All right. X, R, and B. <laughs> uh, three might crystals. Well worth it. Uh, now we have 11. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, I got the fang. So, all right, anything else down here that I would like to explore? Maybe, maybe not. Mm, just another rift this way. Too much else. We've explored a lot of this. Cool. All right, great. Wow, a lot of lot of a uh, lot of Zoras explored. Uh, let's go to then. Uh, well, this is the rift. Uh, we have the Crossflows Plaza next, where the uh, the River Zora Chief is playing music. Uh, we gotta get the Sea Zora to play music as well for Java Jabu. But yeah, hello. Uh, hey boss, tell me again. What's the plan for calming down Lord Jabu Jabu? Well, play music. Okay. Uh, traditionally, you play with a Caesar too. Uh, I mean, working with Kushara. No, we play we perform this by ourselves. Doesn't look like they're gonna play pay any attention to us. Maybe we should try asking the other chief for help. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go to the Caesar now and see if they can do literally anything. Um, fingers crossed they can, but we'll see. Do a couple uh smoothies in the meantime, I guess. Uh, and obviously we do Monster Gut, Tough Mango. You know, that's my smoothie. I, I prefer Monster Gut, Tough Mango smoothies, personally. I think that, that's the one for me. Whoa, what is this? Uh, a Tough Potion. All right, we are, I think we already have... No, we have a potion. It's a potion. It's a potion. This is a monster part. 
Uh, rock potato, uh, warm pepper for sure. Okay. Your smoothie, warm rock potato smoothie. Uh, chili cactus and grape. We haven't done. This and that, easy. Ah, oh, okay. We've already made a refreshing mix smoothie, I believe. Yeah, we already have this. Here. Uh, bubble kelp and floral nectar, maybe. Maybe that sounds good. We're not going to be able to get all twenty, especially like that. But uh, worth a shot. To grab some new ones. Bubble kelp and monster thing. Maybe I'll get a smoothie tomorrow as a treat. I should grab one tonight, actually. That's a great idea. A bubble potion. What does this do? Drinking this potion helps you hold your breath for longer. Oh, I like it. Okay, cool. I wish I could check how many smoothies uh, I've made. Um, yeah, I guess... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen. I need one more. I need one more, and then we have twenty. Is it twenty more that we need? So like thirty total, or oh, we'll figure it out. All right. Um. Go river horse. River R river horse bubble cow. Have I not made that? Yeah, okay, so we have made something similar. Okay. Alright, no worries. Alright. Uh, and then I will actually just do swim speed up. Well. We're gonna go fast. Oh, we do swim. Oh, oh, new bird just dropped. New bird. Nice! New Pokemon! Alright, what is this? It's Albatrog Echo! Uh, a patient hunter of the air, this monster can suddenly dive even to the water to catch its prey. Cool. Um, yeah. Need it. Alright, so let's go take, uh, take a look at the Seizora. Oh, we're already basically here. Yeah! Whoa! With but where are the sea? Oh, they're underwater. Oh, that's so cool. The entrance is underwater. Uh, underwater. This wayboard uh, has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. I don't know why I keep reading that all the time. Hello. Uh, hi, Lane. I'm impressed you were able to swim all the way here. Do you have business in our village? If so, you'll find the entrance down there. That's so cool. All right. So if we dive here and then we can go into the village. Ha <laughs> I love it. Oh. Welcome to the Seasora Village, our underwater paradise. Need to job the waters area? Uh, we're the Seasora, the Sora that makes our home out here in the waves. Uh, Chief Kushara and the River Zora Chief are having a big tiff. It's going on forever. The longer they squabble, the harder it'll be for them to make up. Uh, you have kelp. Okay, I don't want any of your wares. Hey, thank you so much, but it's not for me. Uh, I love all the I love, I love all the musical instruments too. I mean, like look at this. It's like a little marimba, uh, and then we have a horn here, and then I don't know what the hell this thing is. Like it looks like a weird like music box. I guess. I don't know. Uh, all Zora everywhere. Uh, love music, and so does the great spirit Lord Jabu Jabu. Uh, that's why we and the River Clan get together to offer our music to Lord Jabu Jabu. Right now, he's behaving so wildly, it'd be difficult to stage a performance for him. Uh, hey, well, we've got to try anyways, honestly. Uh, guess what? My friend went off on a play adventure. Why'd stay here? I want to play too. Lord Jabu Jabu is always graced the sea with his blessings. We take excellent care of the sea. So why would he go wild now? It is very odd that he didn't manage just like to go wild. We do know that like, you know, if there's some, there's some probably weird rift shenanigans, especially because like when we were over in Gerudo, 
um facet like uh, you know like there was an evil version of facet so maybe that happened with jabu jabu where jabu like the actual jabu jabu got you know swallowed up by the rift and then this one's being replaced we'll see so pretty this is a grave situation first that rift now lord jabu jabu going wild lord jabu jabu is the spirit of all zora but it falls on us to come this crisis is without equal, and now it's time that I, Kushara of the Sea Zora, resolve it. Chief, what inspiring words. Please, tell me how you plan to do it. Huh? Lord Jabu Jabu loves our sea music, so I need to only get him to listen to us perform. And then Drad, that tuneless buffoon, will have to applaud my performance. <laughs> I take it that you haven't resolved your latest quarrel with the other chief yet? <laughs> yes, Aww. you know. Why would I? This quarrel is one for the ages. I'll never speak to him again. I don't know about that. You know, we'll see about it. Insult my music, I will not tolerate his presence. It's like he lives to provoke me. Oh, it would be fine if he agreed that I was more talented. <laughs> Never mind all that. We have to leave immediately, Ragma. Oh, greetings, Hylian. I'm on my way out. Your business will need to wait. Okay. Uh, did you have a request of our chief? Sorry to say that until she's resolved our problems, she won't have time to help. Uh, if our great crisis wasn't bad enough, our chief is quarreling with the rivers or her chief. They often have their little quarrels, but we'll always make up quickly. Not this time. Uh, such nonsense. Well, stranger, I shouldn't burden you with our troubles. Hi. All right. Crossflows Plaza. Oh. It is. Hmm. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Okay. So now we have both chiefs in Crossflow Plaza trying to play their own music for Jabu Jabba. Um, so we'll join both chiefs and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's also like, there's this down here, which I also want to check out. I'm assuming we're probably going to check that out later anyways. So we're going to go to Crossfoot's Plaza and then maybe uh, see about that. I need to know if this game's worth it. I have been enjoying it a lot, personally. Uh, I normally save my full review until like after I finish the game because I want to give something, you know, uh, to make sure that everyone knows. But uh, personally, so far, I'm really enjoying it um, as it stands. All right, here we go. Let's talk to the two chiefs. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> you shouldn't have come here. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll take care of Lord Jabu Jabu myself. Get lost. My thoughts precisely off with you. Grumble, grumble. Okay, hey guys, calm down. <laughs> no, stop fighting. <laughs> hey Kushara, you can stuff your plan. Aww. We of the Caesar will bring calm to Lord Jabu Jabu. Our music can quiet his rage. <laughs> Ridiculous, we'll do it, not you. Next, they're at it again. It's only a matter of time before these two exploded, but not here, not now. And the way you play, you just enrage them more with your crude honking. So we'll play. Insults, always insults. It says more about your music than mine. But sure, let's do this. Your playing is weak, it's puny. It won't have any effect. What, now you've done it? There's some things you can't take back, you know? It's time we settle this. One last performance to see who's playing is superior. No problem. On the count of three, we both play. The best player wins. I don't know if that's how, kind of like how that works, you know? It's not like you get a whole orchestra together, like, you know, 40, 50 people, and be like, all right, whoever plays better wins. Like, that's not going to fly. What? Perform better together in this state? My chief, with all due respect, you can't hope to put on a great performance this way. It's no use. There's no stopping them when they get like this. All right, let's listen to it. Oh, boy. Oh, a harp and a saxophone? Wow, mon ami. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> they didn't play in time with each other. Not at all. Oh, hey, Jabu Jabu. How's it going? Oh, Lord Jabu Jabu. You came when you heard my performance, didn't you? How'd you like it? Oh, boy. Uh, we met at TwitchCon. I told you I wasn't, gonna get the game. Uh, I wasn't going to get the game, but now I'm convinced. Hey, Nintendo, you hear that? Can I have my videos back? Um, I'm selling your game. <laughs> okay. There's no question that my playing was what brought him here. I uh, shut up already. He seems happy. That's like joy, right? I don't know. I really can't tell fish emotions. 
The boss, watch out! Chief Kushara, get back! Oh no! Ah, I love the I love the little bow tie the 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 Caesora has. Sorry, this is not the same. Emotions are weird. This is okay. Jabu Jabu, no! <laughs> like imagine you're getting sucked into a giant whale, right? He's like inhaling you, and someone's like, "Hey, that shirt you got on, you're killing it." <laughs> sorry, sorry, wrong tone. Okay. How can this be? Gulp down the both of them. Uh, there's no time to delay. I'll go in pursuit of Lord Jabu Jabu and rescue Rogma. It's just like, I, I just noticed Rogma's bow tie. That's, you know. Uh, no swear. No head starts. Our friends are in danger. Forget this talk of head starts. Me first. Hey, you cheater. <laughs> this is getting out of control. We still haven't been able to ask them what we need. They've gone to open the door of the den for this. But that'll never happen at this rate. Yeah. What a mess. Hmm. Uh, Lord Jabu Jabu went up river. Do you think he's headed towards your village? Uh, I bet you're right. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. All right, let's go to the village then. Has anyone said rog my balls yet? Nope. But you were the first. Anyways, let's go see about <laughs> Javu Javu. Uh. Boss! Was that the River Zora Chief? It came from over there. Alright. Uh, yeah, over to the right. Let's check it out. Oh, he's scared. I was about to start my swim practice when Lord Javu Javu raced behind me. Oh, I always tell everyone the water's scary. See, I was right. I'll never swim again. Oh. Hey, man, it'll be all right. Oh. Oh. Wait up here. Oh, my papa and Drad. It's all right. I'm here to help you. We'll find your father in chief. Something awful's happened here. Uh, they're highly in. Hello again. Uh, Chief Drad and I followed behind Lord Jabu Jabu as we rampage towards here. Uh, Lord Jabu Jabu wasn't himself. He struck my poor papa, who fell into the rift. That's when Chief Drad and I got here, only to see the rift suddenly grow. Drad saved this child from being caught, but then was swallowed up himself. I can't tell where Lord Jabu Jabu has gone, but Drad... Oh, it's all too terrible. All right. Well, we got to fish him out of the rift here and fix this one up. All right, I can create an entrance here. Let's do it. I love saying instead of saying Papa, like like Papa, I love saying Papa. I don't know why. All right. Here we go. Whoa! I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we got to check it out. So let's go. So there's five different areas. Um, one is probably up here. You're right. Um, and by your right, I mean, I'm right. Haha. <laughs> Look at me go. Hey, if you don't talk to yourself when streaming, are you really streaming? I mean, that's literally what streaming is. So, all right. We got one already. Oh, there he is. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> Uh, he'll go back to normal, just like the others, if we can fix this rift. All right, this is one of five. Uh, oh, and there's another one over here. Oh, and this is the uh, this is his uh, his 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 guy, his little um, what's his name? I know it's Rogma and what and and Sugma is I think is the other one. It's Rogma and something else. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we have these. We have a bomb fish. We go. We can go over to the left here if we're proper with it. Honestly, we probably could. Never mind. I, I didn't mean to go all the way up. 
I can't tell if it's bait. No, I mean, like, Rogma is the actual name of one of the Zoras, but I don't know the other name, and that's what I'm wondering. All right, so I'm going to go here. Oh, not like that. All right, up here. Oh, I didn't mean to go all the way up. Yeah, okay. So let me. Oh, anyway, do this. Uh. Okay. Wait, I want to go over here. Okay. Release. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Tried it. All right. Anyways. That's a little bit too far. There we go. Riff music is my favorite. It's weird. It is very odd. Nice. I'm very much enjoying a lot of these uh, puzzles as well. They're very cool. I just like them. Oh, there's another one down here. We found it already. Oh, there's a new jellyfish enemy too. Awesome. Hey, hey, I can't move. Okay, thanks. Two birds with one stone. Let's go. All right. Is number two of five? Let's see. Uh, I'm curious for anybody playing this game. Is anyone watching and also playing about this uh, at the same time? Uh, uh, you know, I used to do that uh, a ton of, uh, when I was a little bit younger, uh, where I would like play a game and like watch somebody else do, like with it. Oh my God, there's another one. That's fast. Are you 100% of the game? Just watching. Oh, that's awesome. That's crazy. Came out. Oh, I guess like, wait, how did you 100% it? That's so fast. Uh, the Beery Echo. Uh, Osmode. Gotcha. Uh, Electric Charge. This floating creature zaps an area around itself. Its field reaches further in water. Cool. Nice. All right. So we got, uh, two. Uh, we got three of the five now. Right. <laughs> I love, I love just doing this. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Yeah, it seems like there's a decent uh, chunk of people uh, playing and having fun. That's great. I love to hear it. Uh, stilled upper zora. Let's see. Uh, so we haven't gone up here yet. We're down here. Pong, thanks for the prime. Let's dive down. Oh, nice. Another one. Wow, these are these are a lot easier to find than the other ones. Okay. We got four or five. One left. One left. Will we play it, though, 100% again? I have a couple uh, challenges that I already think uh, I would love to do with this. Seems like a very fun fun game to do. Uh, some challenge runs. Or just like, a, you know, even 100% or speed runs of. I feel like speed runs, any sequence breaks in this would make this such a fun run. In my opinion, at least. You like in the lore? Oh, that's fun. It's great. It's very entertaining. Uh, we found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this roof. Feel like you're gonna have a blast with min echoes. That'd be really fun, yeah. The least amount of echoes you can beat the game with. I did that recently with uh, Min Colors for, for Dears of the Kingdom. That was fun. My friends shared some of their power with me. How much are we getting? All right, not too bad. I'll take it. 
All right, two more crystals. All right, let's go back to your world now. No more min colors. It was fun. For a bit. Uh, uh, me. Of all Zora, swallowed up by a rift? <sighs> My goodness, Drad. Don't be so precious. Now, thank this Hylian. Uh, who's calling who precious? You, with your frilly gills? Uh, boss Drad, what was wrong with my papa? Aw. You probably can't speak anymore, right? Oh, no, he's fine, he's fine. Caught in the darkness, swallowed whole, can't breathe. Uh, what's wrong with you? It's like he's stuck back there. Then I will unstick him. Yeah, it really damages your mind. It's 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 like a surprisingly dark. Aw. It's like a surprisingly dark take on this. Did that help? I'm I'm. I'm okay now, thanks to you. Cause like being spirited away into the, into the rift, and then having like a main component of your being be taken away with you, like how Link can't speak anymore. He's crazy. And then the king slash, you know, Ganon possessing the king with his echoes or whatever, right? Um, saying, hey, let's execute Zelda is insane. Music of the sea, Zora lures frantic thoughts into the deep calm. Mm. Oh. That performance, good as it gets. Wow. A compliment. Oh. Chief Kusara. Okay, yeah. Where's Jabu Jabu now? Uh, He's in Zora Cove! All right then, let's go. All right, wait for me! Oh, I almost forgot about you. Kushara said you saved us. Who are you anyways? I'm Zelda! I know I've heard that name. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. there's a lot of there's a lot of Zeldas in, in um in Hyrule. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Uh, well, Zelda, I owe you. A, I owe you a big thanks. Oh, that's gotta wait. Uh, I need to catch up with Kushara. I owe her big time too. Ooh. See you around. Uh, there they go again. That music she played was pretty nice. She performs better by herself. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's. Hey, sometimes you're a little bit too honest, okay? Sometimes you're a little bit too honest, uh, um, Fry. Like, my God, okay? All right, we get it. We get it. Damn, the shade. All right, let's go uh, down here to the... I'm assuming this is... Oh, this is Zora Cove over here. Okay. Alright, here we go. What I miss is a crazy command. I mean, so many people ask, what is this? What are we doing? Etc. That we have the command for it. So it's pretty easy to, you know, catch people up. They wanna be involved in the stream. Pretty awesome. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go to Zorico. I think you did a good job. You did a great job. Uh, okay. We're in Zora Cove. But I'm assuming they're talking about... I'm assuming when they say Zora Cove, they're probably talking about the Pirate Cove over here. I mean, you know. This seems like it would be a spot where Jabu Jabu would go. Let's check it out. He had Go take care of him. Thanks, Beef. Yeah. I love how it's, like, just a surface thing. Can I go underneath it? Uh, no, I can't. All right, maybe it's not just a surface thing. I like the way they did it. Really cool. Whoa. A shark! Hello. Hello. 
Oh, wow, you took one full bomb? Two bombs? The shark's crazy, man! Oh, there we go, wow. Damn, the Chompfin Echo. Uh, this jagged tooth bully rules the water, chomping and spinning with a slap of its tail. Yeah. We haven't seen this thing yet. Cool, though. Neat. Um... Oh, is this the cove that I'm supposed to go to? No, this is where I just was. Sorry. Um, uh, surge down the Zora Cove. I was here, though. Maybe it's over here. Doing a little wandering. Just played 11 hours this game. I'm so happy to see you enjoying the crap out of it, too. Yeah, it's so fun. We're nine and a half in today. Got a little bit more to go. Could be over here. Where they're looking. Oh. Oh, maybe it is. Hurrah! That was Drad, wasn't it? Yeah. What was he groaning about? Yeah, he's over here. Oh, what? Uh, this is too heavy. Oh, you again, Zelda. Uh, yeah, you can kind of tell we're in a real jam here. Uh, my son, uh, Chief Kushara, they're both trapped in this cave. My son wanted off, and I'm just come here to find him when Lord Jabu Jabu stormed in. Chief, uh, Chief Kushara was nearby. During the confusion, she sensed my son was in the cave. She darted inside to make sure he was safe. Uh, then, wham, this pile of rubble fell here. Smack dab in front of the cave. Uh, what am I to do? Ooh. Don't worry, keep calm. I've got this. Never met a pile of rocks I couldn't move. Okay. Easier said than done. Maybe there's another way inside. <laughs> Me went like, yeah, I can carry that heavy box. I hope it's lighter than I thought. Um, he's not going to hear a word until he moves those rocks. Maybe he'll listen to us if we get this rescue done first. Can I just do this? No, okay. Is that needs to be another way to get in? Like over here? Nice. <laughs> wow. I think we found it, guys. I've moved every single pile of rocks I've ever seen in my life. It's relatable. Whoa, lit up. Oh, it's about to get dark. Oh, you know what? I, ju I have just the smoothie for this. Yeah, there we go. I have just the smoothie. Also, this is a new, a new fish, new angler fish. All right, what is this thing? Uh, the Tangler. Uh, level two, Echo. Oh, that's so cool. So this is the Tangler, and this is the level two, but it gets a little, uh, a little head-mounted lamp on it. I love that. Or just straight ahead when you do. That's kind of neat. All right, 10 pieces of bubble kelp. We'll take it. We're rich. Oh, we're rich. All right, this should be... Oh, we, we found our way inside. Nice. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Help is surely on the way. You promise? Oh, oh he's so cute. He's adorable. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. uh, you, the Hylian. You truly managed to swim through all those monsters to reach us? Huh? Uh, yes. Quite the capable one, aren't you? <sighs> We'd hope to get out through here. Uh, 
I can't the, I can't take the child into those waters. We need another means of escape. Uh, there's that exit, but it's blocked by a pile of rocks. I can't push it or pull it. Well, I've luckily I've never met a pile of rocks that I can pick up, you know. Hmm. Hard to ask, Highland. Is there anything you can do to help? I got you. Yep. Move it to the right. Oh, just move it over here. Wow, we did it. Oh, oh the rocks. Nice. Huh? You moved that pile of rocks. Now we might be able to leave this place. Hmm. Uh, what's your name, Hylian? Hmm. Uh, Zelda. That sounds familiar. No, it doesn't. Uh, well, you have my thanks. <laughs> did you just move those? Uh, yes, please. He, he did. I said you're safe. What a release. Brad, what are you doing here? I was paying you back for saving my friend. Aw. Wait, Zelda, when did you get here? Oh, I swam. Oh. Aw. You're all right, son. Look, we can easily go outside now. Uh, huh? You're a safe child. There's nothing to be afraid of. Aw, isn't he cute, chat? Uh. The poor kid's frozen to the fins. Too scared for words. Aw. Oh. How's that? He does kind of look like Sonic. You're not gonna lie. This did this did like take me out of it. I'm not gonna. Uh, it's I'm I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyways. Oh look. How's that? Much better. Thank you. Ah, he's adorable. The river is Zora music is pure oomph. It'll get anyone's fins back in fighting form. Yeah, the Zora designs are great. Ah, your sound was superior. I'll admit it, Drad. That performance was magnificent. Who could have guessed that your music could help one of my people? Ooh. Don't forget, you helped one of mine too. Just repaying a debt. I didn't get the chance to say it, but the way you played was great. An honor to hear it. <sighs> well, you know, it was nothing really. Ooh. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? We never trade compliments. Hmm. <laughs> Every now and then, Dread. Huh? How we put our squabbles aside and try to help each other out. I was about to say the same thing. Friendship. <laughs> then we're agreed. And when you and I work together, we're a strong tide that lifts all. Mm. What's that? You need us to perform at Lord Jabu Jabu's den? Your name was Zelda, yes? We're indebted to you, but we must focus on finding Lord Jabu Jabu. Ooh. Zelda might have the right idea, though, going to his den. Mm. Oh, really? Oh. I saw Lord Jabu Jabu swim back north while you were stuck in there. Could be that he's uh could be that he's gotten tired after his rampage and gone back to his den. Hmm. That would make sense. Lord Jabu Jabu rarely moves around this much. Huh? We'll grant you request, Zelda. Let's be on our way immediately. All right, let's <laughs> do it. This is so fun. Oh, friendship. Hey, don't forget to compliment your friends. Huh? Chat. Do it. Thank you for saving my boy. We wish you well on your travels. <laughs> Thanks, Zelda. All right, nice. Oh, we're still glowing. Look at us. All right. Uh, let's go now to the... Oh, uh, there's so much I want to explore down here, too. I'm going to do that in a bit. Oh, look at this. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Lord Jabu Jabu's Den. All right, play for Lord Jabu Jabu so we can open up the uh, area so that we can go into the rift and fix it all. Please. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Zelda. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Lord Jabu Jabu did return here. Mm. Got to get through this door, right? Mm. We normally perform here to open the way, but it's not so simple now. Uh, one of the altars upon which we perform is broken, likely by Lord Jabu Jabu. We can't play together until it's repaired. Mm. And both have rubble on them. We have to get the altars ready. But how? Mm -hmm. I mean, clearing the rubble is the easy part. But then putting it together uh, seems like the harder bit. I mean, honestly, like, but for us, it's it's actually, like, super easy. 
Because all you need to do is... Oh, actually, now that I think about it, this isn't like the full story. Uh, we got one here. There's two other pieces of rubble that we're missing. Uh, one's down here. Let's go up here. Uh, up here. And then... Oh, this is the last piece of rubble. We got it. Oh, not too bad. Easy. Ah, we can perform now. You helped us yet again, Zelda. We need a little time to set up. You just sit tight and enjoy. All right. Get your snacks out. Let's do it. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three, four. Off cue, don't worry. It's so pretty. I love that. That's so awesome. Hey, Chad, thanks for playing the musical instruments in there. Thanks for playing along. Ooh. Woo! The way they played that Crossfloors Plaza wasn't anything like that. Yeah, it wasn't, Try. Right? Why'd it sound so different? I don't know. Friendship. Magic. Ooh. Playing in time with each other. Who knew that'd be so fun? <laughs> Kushara, you were fantastic. Oh, well, you weren't half bad either, Drad. Playing in time with each other. I don't get it. They played together last time, too. What changed now? It seemed pretty happy. Try, that's called friendship. Drad. I'd like to apologize. Uh, I've behaved terribly. I hope you can forgive me. Ushara? Uh. I feel the same. Sorry for everything. Hi. We didn't mean to hold you up, Zelda. The door is now open. Oh. We never have uh, gotten this far without you. We owe you big time. Huh? Let's go see Lord Shabu Jabu. Ooh. Yes, together. Let's do it. Ah, oh, he looks friendly. <clears throat> Lord Jabu Jabu, we ask that you return our friends to us, please. Uh. Our friends are very dear to us. Please. It's <laughs> 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 a crazy time for an Amber Alert. <laughs> I was like, is that part of the game? <laughs> oh. He's got two. Yeah, it's for it's for child missing. So I think I know where they are. <laughs> Big fish. Mouth. Uh oh, I have an idea. I bet we'd get him in a better move if we perform like we did earlier. Who? Then let's play our best. Ooh. He's still angry? That doesn't make sense. Something's off here. Huh? A little? Things have been a lot ever since he started acting wild. The way that big fish looks, Zelda, that'd be another imposter from a rift. I was so afraid. Oh, I'm so glad they did this. I was so afraid it was going to be something like uh, Tears of the Kingdom, where... You know, you learn in Tears of the Kingdom. Very important knowledge. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it just in case. Blah, 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 whatever. You learn very important knowledge. And you're like, oh, oh my God. There's an imposter, right? And then and then the rest of the game, they're like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Could be anyone, right? And you're like, I, we already know. We learned this in the first dungeon, right? And then the, the other rest of the dungeon, they act like they don't. But this is so cool. It's the bare minimum, admittedly, but like, we already know that that's an imposter. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, that would explain everything. So Jabu Jabu's an imposter just like Vasette is, you know? Who said anything about an imposter? Round thing next to Zelda's thinks that. Right, right, Drad has been in the rift. Uh, but Kushara hasn't, so Drad can see, uh, try. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about, but. Well, I'll take your word for it. Wow. Let's show this fake fish you can't mess with the Zora. 
And I bet giving it a good thumping will fix all of her problems too. Yeah, so I wonder... This actually makes it replayable. Because I'm wondering, what if I went to this rift before I went to the Gerudo one? How would it play out? Let's all dive in on then. We get different dialogue options. Here we go. All right, we're right behind you. Let's go. Oh, come on. What's this? We're cut off from Zelda. All right, here we go. I can make an entrance into that rift directly behind that big fish. But not until that creature is out of the way. Oh, we have like a mini boss fight now? Okay, so we have to get him out of the way here. How, 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 how? Oh, he's out of the way now. Okay, nice. Okay, no, he's not. I gotta I gotta figure out something here. Um something I can do. Let me dive here and then maybe like use you. Oh, I can control him. Or I can like I can Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a bomb fish, don't I? Yeah, I can put the bomb fish in the water. And then maybe you can swallow it. Yeah. That could be a good idea. All right, I'm going to dive a little bit here. All right. See if I can, like, pull him. Mm, that doesn't work, really. Okay. All right, bomb fish. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. He got the bomb fish. It blew up. Nice. Nice. Okay, and then I take this and I probably move him away. I don't know. It didn't seem like it worked very well. Okay. I dive here. But that seems like the, the way to go, you know? Ah, damn it. Oh, I spawned it outside before it blew up. Oh, no, still got him, though. Still got him. Um, can I do this and then still hit him? I can't hit him. Okay. But the, the bomb seems to be doing work, you know? <laughs> it's one of the... Fa it's the fried fish. She ate one of them. Will that do damage? It does do damage. Okay. Okay, that did a lot. Nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna do this. Okay, all right, that's what we should be doing. Nice, we got it. Okay. What, phase two now, I guess? Get out of the swordsman here. All right, the bomb fish really is coming in handy here. I say that as if, like, immediately just does it. That's all right. I put bomb fish in there. Okay, does that? Oh, and then let me, let me wait. Let me do this. I wonder if this will work. Chomp in, and then we hit. Uh, okay. Yeah, chomp in might be actually like doing in some work here if we can with him. Then if I do this and pull him back, oh, I didn't work very well. Okay. All right, so let's do the bomb fish again. See if that is, it, it, it's, it's gonna be better, you know? So we have that, swallow him in, we do this, and then we're gonna bring, hey, you know what? You know what? I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta do it. Where is he, where is he, where is he? His last learn cost, most used. Let's bring in beef. Let's bring in beef. For the end. <laughs> Look at that family photo. <laughs> there they are.
Uh, boss, that was terrifying. And now I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all this. Uh, I'm sorry too, Ragma balls. All this because you leapt to my defense. I'm sorry too, Ragma. All this because you leapt to my defense. Oh. Seeing you safe brings me great joy. Think nothing of it. Hey, boss. Looks like you and Kashara patched things up. Ooh. Boy, you missed a lot, didn't you? We ended up helping each other out. Huh? We couldn't have done it without Zelda here. Ooh. That's amazing. Way to go. Ooh. Yes, delightful. How fortunate that we were able uh, that we were gulped down by Lord Jabu Jabu. So this Lord Jabu Jabu was an imposter. Where in the world is the real one? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. I'm sure he's been swallowed by the rift. Mm, the rift, huh? There's not much we can do. But hold on. You saved me, Zelda. Can you rescue Lord Jabu Jabu? You seem to be our last hope. Please, save him if you can. All right. I gotta, I gotta figure out. It's like uh, nine hours, forty-five minutes of stream. You know, oh god. Either I finish the 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 dungeon or I end here. I gotta think. You know, oh, about ten hours of stream. My god, look how much we've done today. Look at this. We've done so much. I'm assuming um, what will probably happen is that we'll probably do, like, these other two. And then probably this middle part. Like, like these other two. Like, it's, you know, I I'm assuming that Rift's going to appear here and Rift's going to appear here. And then we have to, feel, uh, you know, finish out the game here for another two. Um, and that would be it, honestly. Uh, fun time, fun time. Uh, do you want to know if you're close to the dungeon or not? Uh, well, Nance, uh, all I want to know is can I finish it within, like, 30-ish minutes, I guess. No, probably not. Maybe like an hour. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm going to... Uh, chill here. Um, alright. There's a little more we'll go before the entrance. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, let's save. I have not saved a single time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, all right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end, end part one off here. Don't worry. Um, I will be live tomorrow. If you, if you're on YouTube, I will be live tomorrow at one, at, at 10 a.m. Pacific time for another 10 hours. Um, we're gonna stream more of Echoes of Wisdom if you like it. Um, I'm going to be live. Don't worry. I'm going to be actually still live another hour of tonight going live, uh, and keep staying live on Twitch for Kaizo Ironmon. Um, it's a Pokemon challenge that I've yet to beat, And I have promised you guys that I'll stream Kaizo Ironmon at least once a day daily, uh, you know, every single day for the rest of my life until I beat, uh, the challenge. So I gotta go do that. So I'm still going to go live on Twitch. I'm going to end on YouTube. But if you enjoyed this, feel, feel free to subscribe uh, because I'm going to be live again on both Twitch and YouTube at 10 a.m. Pacific time for more Echoes of Wisdom. And if you're like, wow, I don't know where you're at. I don't know what's going on, everything. First off, on YouTube under the live tab, you can watch the rest of what I've done uh, for today. But not only that, um, I'll have a small recap at the beginning of tomorrow. Uh, so then if you want to check out tomorrow's stream and you still know what's going on, then I'll kind of recap everything that we've done before, uh, so far. Um, and then uh, we will... Uh, do uh, the Jabu Waters and then uh, this other, you know, uh, area and then this other area and then probably the middle area. And that's what I'm assuming is probably going to happen, right? So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to end on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for being here. Um, I appreciate it so much. Um, do you want us to raid YouTube chat into Twitch if we can? Um, do whatever you'd like. <laughs> um, up to you. Um uh, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, mods, can you, can you, on, on YouTube at least, can you, uh, do me a favor and, um, uh, uh paste my Twitch channel. It's just twitch.tv slash point crow, uh, and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end on, I'm going to end here on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. 
And uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks so much.